I'm just gonna reset. <clears throat> uh, Halo, Halo, three hat. Halo CE has five missions, and then they just reuse the same missions over and over and over uh, each time, twice, right? And it's it's very much the same thing of Halo three. It's a Halo thing, honestly. It's why it's why I think hey, I like. I like Halo Infinite in that regard in some ways is like it is a giant open world that you just backtrack through here and there. And then they have a lot of nostalgic, you know, repeated structures, which is one of two things. One, it's out of laziness, not laziness. It's more out of uh, convenience and timing time. Instead of creating entirely new forerunner structures every single time, they reuse some. But some people don't like that. I personally think it works because that's very much a Halo thing, right? Like, if it was another game, if it was Gears of War, I would call that super lazy and boring. But because it's Halo, like, that's what they've done in every Halo, right? They just reuse entire missions. Just make you go through it again. Oops. So where are the troopers? Mm, negative, sir. Copy. Uh, I gotta get back. One day I'll get back to doing those Halo damageless runs. My damn computer is dying. This is why I need this new PC, man. I really do. I haven't thought too much about it, honestly, because I've been playing Infinite on my console because I can't run Infinite on my console and my, uh, or on my, I can't stream and play Infinite at the same time on my PC. Just can't handle it. So I've been playing on Series X, which from what I hear is honestly the best way to play it anyways. I'm hearing a lot of people are like having, struggling playing on PC with a lot of crashing and stuff more so than ever. Um I see movement outside the structure. Oh, I didn't activate. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Oh, you suck. I had it, man. I had it. Uh, I needed it because I got I got, this is a long long uh, checkpoint for each time. So I watched. Bye, Mojo. I guess I'll see you. I don't. No one knows what you're talking about. Mojo is the thing. Is no one could tell me what that symbol means. I don't know what you're talking. No one knows what you're talking about. That's why. What what symbol are you talking about? I don't think that's you're not you didn't clarify you just said no one's gonna tell me what the symbol means what symbol no one knows what symbol you're talking about Son of a bitch, man. Oh, I can't be struggling this early on in the run, man. I can't be struggling this early on in the run. Why are you whipping like a psychopath? Jesus Christ. I don't know how I'm supposed to say. No, 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 no. Not, 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 not
son of a bitch. God damn it, man. Oh, this isn't bad luck. This is just me sucking. Oh, my fucking god. I... Mm, it's... Mm, it's so frustrating. There we go. That's right. That's perfect. See, where are you going, man? Okay. We'll take it. Hey, Gavis, how you doing? Oh. But yeah, Mojo, you still here? We can answer your damn question if you clarify a little bit. Oh, well, that's gonna be a whole thing. See, this is what I mean by drama, by the way, Grey Wolf. I don't want to deal with this. Now I'm gonna have to wait till Mojo comes back in and then make sure I mention and be like, hey, man, what the hell are you... Nah, now I gotta... <sighs> hey, Gary, how you doing? Is this Reach? Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, Cash. I forgot. I keep forgetting to change my damn game. Might have done that too early. Ouch. Hello? Please? You, son. <laughs> Alright. So not the fastest, but also not the worst I've ever had. We'll take it. You know what? We'll take it. Wasn't super fast. Wasn't the worst I've ever had. So, I apologize. Uh, so someone asked me the question, uh, what was my favorite? Uh, oh, no, yeah, we already answered. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really like the Halo Infinite storyline. I do like the Halo 4 storyline a lot, obviously. Um, but then Halo 2 is pretty damn good. Like, I guess the, because I mean, I'm guessing I'm looking from the perspective of like, what's the best story? Because it's the same thing, like I just saw someone talk about uh, No Way Home. 
I just saw someone talk about No Way Home and be like, I didn't really like No Way Home. And it's okay to not like the movie. I think that's insane. I don't know how you don't like it. But they were like, if you're not a Spider-Man fan, like the story and stuff wasn't that good in it. And I'm like, I don't... I'm guessing people just aren't paying attention close enough to some of it. Because, I mean, it is one of those that by itself, like if you just... If you had never watched a Spider-Man movie and went into Spider-Man No Way Home, it wouldn't make sense story-wise. But, like, Spider-Man No Way Home is a perfect culmination of the two... Not not even just every other Spider-Man movie before it with the other guys, but also, like... It's the perfect finish to an origin story for Spider-Man. That's why they kind of did a memory reset and everything like that. It's a perfect origin story for Spider-Man. Three movies was the was was that's what it was. It took three movies to do an or a Spider-Man origin story, and it's I don't know. I was I was just thinking about it. And that's why I want to talk about it because I was like someone mentioned like it just didn't have a good story. And I'm like I don't. This is the first. This is one of the very first ones that we actually saw Tom Holland Spider-Man mature as an adult right like the very first movie was him wanting to be a superhero because he's a suit he wanted so badly to be an avenger so badly that he goes out of his way causes a lot of issues and then at the end of the movie ends up saving the life of the person who tried to kill him he saves the life of the villain and his foe because that's who he is the second spider-man movie he wants nothing more than to leave Spider-Man behind and be Peter Parker. That's what he wants. He wants to be Peter Parker. Like, he wants to be Spider-Man, but then he also wants to be Peter Parker. He wants to live that life. He wants to live this double life that he's... And, you know, he's basically... Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. He's basically learning that he can't, right? It's the whole idea is, like... He just... Oh, come on with the grenades, man. Alright. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. It's all bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, but then the second movie, he wants nothing more to be, but to be Peter Parker. And then he ends up watching after, and this is after he lost his father figure, right? After, after saving the, the universe, well, the galaxy, I guess, and saving the, the galaxy and watching his mentor and his father figure die in front of him. He then proceeds to get another father figure who ends up betraying him, you know? And he... And unfortunately, he ends up dying, but he doesn't even do anything to help him. After the very... It's in stark contrast from the first movie, where after the first movie, he goes out of his way and risks his own life to save the, the person trying to kill him. He's now been betrayed so much that he's okay watching his next villain die in front of him and then this third movie is him still wanting to live this double life and then earning they spent three movies earning the great power comes great responsibility line that's what it was they spent three movies evolving it to that point where he's shown he's had power he's shown that he can save people's lives when he chooses to be chooses to And they spent three movies building him being him. Oh, what the fuck? Really, man? What do you what even hit me? I don't even know what hit me. No, they're not gonna patch out the tank gun. Hey Ken, thank you so much for the reset BB. You know I love you. Thank you so much. Um no, they're not going to patch a tank gun. Here's here's the best way I can put it to try and make it as simple. They've never patched out campaign glitches and tricks. They've never, never purposely, I should say. 
inadvertently, and they've patched some out because it was because it was a multiplayer bug on top of it. But no, like they they've they've never they've never purposely tried to patch out glitches and stuff, so why would they start now, I guess? Shit. So no. Yeah, if it's it's one of those if it did something like that, what parents said, like it's causing like game crashing and stuff like that, they might patch it out. They're more likely to patch out the ground pound uh, clip than they are than they are um, the tank gun because the the ground pound clip is affecting regular players and causing them to. All right, hold on. If I walk here. I can maybe get a checkpoint? No. Alright, well this sucks. This is gonna be a little bit of a... Nailed it. Awesome. Alright. They are patching it. Why would they? It's just people don't... People just... I get it. But... Why would they patch it out at this point? And I'm not saying they won't. Maybe they, they'll start. Maybe they'll start patching out glitches. I doubt it, but... Again, they like speedrunners. They like to support speedrunners and stuff like that, so... I don't know why all of a sudden they would start patching out tricks that benefit speedrunners. But, hey, who knows? too far. Okay. I was a little... Okay, come on now. Alright, I'm just gonna run. But yeah. Anyways, long story short, that's my take on Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, and uh, I met, forgot to mention, yeah, no, he tries to actively kill the villain in uh, No Way Home. Spoilers, but, you know, there you go. Sorry if you haven't seen the movie, I realize, but hey. Oh, the yeah, man, I know people love the pug emote, let me tell you. The pug emote is my most used emote by, like, a lot. I'm not good at- oh no, I didn't nail it. I'm not good at doing the double shot. Cool. Ever get 152 yet? Nah, I'm, what, 4.5 million XP? I've been working at it again. 4.5 million XP away, so. That's pretty good. I'll be honest, that's a pretty good Oni. I actually got the Hunter Skip first try, which it took me a little while to get over the thing, but do I know which dinosaur had 500 teeth animators? No, I actually don't. Sounds awesome. A Leoplorodon! That's what it is. Seen it? If not, yeah, has it been a month yet? That's my rule, one month. 
Like I said, if you haven't seen a movie in one month, now I'll give it. I'll give. I will say. I'll give. I'll give the the uh, the thing that like. Okay, maybe maybe with COVID and every it's it. it we're out of quarantine. <clears throat> but if you haven't seen a movie in one month. Uh, you clearly don't care that much about the movie that you couldn't take three hours an entire month to go see a movie. You don't care. You you shouldn't care that much about spoilers. If you do, man, I'm just saying, you're being an asshole to everyone else who wants to talk about the movie and discuss it. Ouch. I'm dead. This guy's chasing me down. Yeah, you're being an asshole to everybody else who wants to watch, who wants to talk and talk about the movie and discuss it. And you're, you're the one who's holding everyone else back. I'm sorry, but if you haven't seen it, one month. If you haven't seen it after one month, it's no longer, it's no longer other people's problem that you haven't seen the movie. Oh shit. I don't know what to do. He's like, he's right there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> You don't, and again, if it's one of those, well, I've been busy. If your life is so busy that once again, you can't take three hours and an entire month to go see a movie, maybe you shouldn't care about spoilers. <laughs> if you're that busy, you got more important things to, to think about than spoilers in a movie, you know? Not a month yet? Okay, well, not a month. I don't know. It's tough, but... Am I a fan of health pack system in early games, or you prefer having a shield? Um, I don't know. I I actually, I'll be a hundred percent honest. I think I like the health pack system better. To to be to be honest, I actually really like the Halo CE and the Halo Reach health pack system. Uh, I it allows me to keep track of exactly how much health I have, but in a in a multiplayer sense, it also forces you to change how you play a little bit right like you can choose to just fight with being absolute one shot or you can go quickly grab a health pack and then come back to it right it, it forces the players to not camp the entire time is what i'm saying if you know the other team are actually fighting you properly but Cap, are you seeing this Have I done the whole run, though? Or is this the first time? This is the first time anybody has done a Halo Reach through Infinite Run. Never been done before. So, we'll see how it is. But yeah, I'm not 152 yet. I've been playing Halo 5 again. Um, mainly because goddamn skill-based matchmaking. Um, but also, like... Once I finish all, I still gotta do all my weeklies. I've been doing all my weekly challenges in Infinite, and then I've been doing 152 because I, I've kind of just been hanging out, you know, easing, easing it. I don't want to burn myself out on Infinite too fast. Uh, I did play Hades yet. Dude, Hades was, I gotta play more Hades. I played last night, I'll be honest. It was one of the reasons, might have been one of the reasons why I decided to delay the stream a little bit is because I was uh, <clears throat> playing some Hades late night. <laughs> Oh, invisible walls. Three fifty-five, not bad. Sub four. Laptop has some crazy delay on it. Azure. Oh, that sucks. But well, welcome. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I actually, so I will say, I, I didn't mention it before, but I do plan on actually taking this run. I'm not- I'm gonna try and avoid being my stubborn self. Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid being my stubborn self. Cause, uh... Um... Yeah, because I... I know I get the thing where I'm like, I'm going to do this trick. It might save only 10 seconds, but I'm going to do this trick no matter what. I'm going to try and avoid that because I'm actually planning on submitting this run to Halo Runs. Uh, they actually do have... Uh, 
I was trying to do a, a vehicle, a chair swap. They don't have that in this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they actually have multi-game categories now, and no one has submitted a run for a full series speed run yet, and long story short, I want to actually have a baseline. I don't think this is going to be an amazing run, but I want to have a, at least a decent run. If this is like a 20-hour run, I'm not going to submit it. But if it's like, I want sub-15, ideally, but, you know, again, compared to, uh, Compared to, uh, you know, other people, Sorks and shit like that, they, uh, man, they are so much better. They make me look so bad. When they have Halo 1 through 3 done in on Legendary in, like, four hours, I'm just like, yeah, man, I'm, I get it. I'm bad. <sighs> no ghosts this time, which is nice. Copy two Lima four bombing run heading two two four point six permission granted out. Yeah, it'll be have nice one one run submitted, but yeah, I'm still going to do like again. There's there's certain ones I can't avoid. The two betrayals skip like that's the that's the scariest one. I'll be honest, out of all the tricks, the two betrayals skip is the scariest one because I either hit it or I mess up and I lose so much time it's irrelevant anyways, right? Like. I either have to decide not to do the trick right off the bat, or I go for the trick, and if I do go for the trick, I'm committed to it. Oh, that's not good. Oops. No, this ain't gonna... Oh, come on. You suck. Guess that was enough to kill me. I'm not getting a checkpoint, which is not happening, which is not helping, I should say. A lot of times if you come here you get a you get a nice little checkpoint like that. I'm so bad at video games, it's just not even funny. <laughs> One more try. One more try and we're out. This is what I mean by stubbornness. I could have been done with this area already. Yeah. Fuck this. <sighs> I'm bad. It's alright. Take what we can. High value target. Auto clamber in this game? Nah. Clamber's nice and one. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Whatevs. The maps in this game aren't as designed for it, you know? Mm. Oops. What's my favorite Halo YouTubers? I'll be 100% honest with you, Devil Dogs. I don't watch Halo YouTubers. I don't watch a lot of Halo YouTube. Again, pretty much the... I guess my favorite ones would be the guys who are, like, my buddies. And, again, they're not all... 
some of them are more Twitch streamers than they are YouTubers, you know, like, again, Nick, Nick is just a good buddy of mine, so he's, he's up there, I guess, right? But it's more, mainly because we're friends than anything, so I support him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't watch, I do like, I will say, I do like the Rocket Sloth boys, I think they do a good job. Um, I mean, I did used to watch Naked Eli back in the day. But, yeah, I don't watch a lot of Halo YouTube. In fact, I don't watch any. <laughs> I don't I don't watch Lord. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Dude, I don't know where I'm getting... Like, that's the second time this game where I've just been getting slaughtered by ridiculous shots. I don't know where that Wraith... It's the, the Wraith one. <laughs> oh my god dude these hunter this is like halo 5 hunter shots how how are these guys hitting me their bullets don't travel that fast oh my god dude that's annoying as hell Checkpoint at least. Ah! Wait! <laughs> Why was it throw him off the edge? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I expected to hit them and it was gonna slow me down, but they both died before. Hello? There it is. Eh. Oh, this is the wrong side. That's okay. Need a lift, Spartan? No biggie. Spotted some nasty business in the canyon on the way down. What did it hit me? The hunters. The hunters were sniping me out of my chair. Yeah, I don't know. Do I watch it? I don't watch a lot of YouTube in general. The only, literally the only channel I watch regularly is Rooster Teeth. I watch the Rooster Teeth, like the Achievement Hunter guys, and that's it. Um, I guess I've been watching the Pokemon, the uh, Leonart, who's a, a pack breaker. So he does like Pokemon pack openings, card pack, trading card openings. Uh, I watch Jeremy Johns. I do watch Mr. Beast, I will say. Uh, I watch Jeremy Johns. Um... Don't do it. Oh, that's gonna. Yeah, I watch him for like movie reviews. I watch every single one of his because I like to know what movies are going on. That's it, I think. Who I watch regularly? I watch one or two Marvel Strike Force guys, but I haven't done that in a long time, honestly. I guess I listen to the podcast they do for the the weekly news update that they do. Um, that's it. I don't watch a lot of YouTube in general. I really should do more of that. Yeah, I'm more of a Twitch guy as well, but I, I don't even watch a lot of Twitch streams anymore. I really do stick to just kind of my, like... I like to have a Twitch stream. I typically have, like, a Twitch stream, like, pulled up. Oof. I do I do typically have like a Twitch stream pulled up in the corner and it's usually someone again my, my go-to is Anthony Kong fan um, and he's he's pretty much been my go-to for the last like 
four or five years. Um, but then I, I do pull up like a Halo streamers typically. I do like to pull up just random Halo streamers quite often. Um, Nice, sub 11. I'll take it. Not bad. Oh, I could have been sub 10 if I didn't die like tw thrice in that one part. Ugh. I'll be honest, I didn't like his Squid Game videos. Uh, the, the, the Squid Game video he did was kind of meh. Like, out of all, all the stuff he's got. Um, I was a little meh on that one. I guess, I guess the reason why I'm thinking that is he could have made that into, like, a series. I think I would have been more interested if it was a series. I mean, the way he does videos, which is the way in the YouTube setting is the right way to do it, right? The way that he does his videos. Um, very short, 15, to, uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most videos. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did I miss every single shot, man? Okay. Dude, holy shit. This guy is insane. I've never seen someone die. What the fuck? He can't be damaged. <laughs> what the hell was that? Man, that was insane. He dodged two entire clips of my Magnum perfectly. I just couldn't hit him. That was, that was crazy. Fucking jackals. Gotta hate jackals. Oh, shit. Hold on. Give me that. Well, some plans are too good to say no. Yeah, dude. Lee was on X Sweat. That was crazy. That'd do, Thick. That'd do. What gun would you want brought from other Halos to Infinite? What gun would you get rid of Infinite? I'd get rid of the Ravager and replace it with the actual grenade launcher. I really like the grenade launcher from Halo Reach. This mission sucks a lot. No, I actually like this mission on Lasso. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, Lasso. The beginning part is the worst part. Understood, Cub. Noble Six, these sabers have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Rendezvous at Anchor Nine with oh, I, Yeah, I like Mark Rober. I, I tend to I tend to watch just like kind of select videos from him. I'm trying to think. Do I watch any other YouTubers of any sort? I don't know. Da, da, da. Da, da. Is this chronological or release? Chronological. Story order. Half the mission on last. So that's true, I guess. Yeah, man. Skyboxes. Man, let me tell you. That Bungie has... That is the one thing... I think that is the thing that Destiny is best at. Is skyboxes. Like... Uh, Bungie... Bungie's skyboxes are the best in gaming. I don't think there's I don't think there's a game company that makes better better skyboxes, honestly. I missed. Shit. It's okay. Come on. All right. Come on now. Hit him. Hit him. You sons of bitches. Eh, that's not as quick as I would have liked. No. No. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
Vulture's detected. Fighter class. Heads up, Steven. Saber teams, use your guns to take down their shield. You have to hit them with your missiles. What are you doing way back there, man? What are you doing? Eh, it kind of worked out anyways. How's the new mouse feeling? I'm liking it, man. It is very clean movement. And I'm not getting stuck on the mouse wheel at all. It's great. Yeah. Spartan laser? Bro, the skewer is just a better Spartan laser. <laughs> No, don't do that. Just kill me. Just kill me. If you blow me up, just blow me up. I guess I can... That's probably quicker. Alright. See this up getting the Halo 4 speedrunning title back? I've talked about it. Eventually, maybe, sure. I don't know. It's. I just don't care about world records anymore. That's the thing. Is like, I'm down to do it more for just the challenge of being like, Hey, I want to try and get the record down lower. But I don't, like... If you're asking me if I plan on ever, like, trying to... Oh, my God. What the fuck? Doing it so that I hold the world record and I hold it for a while? No, I don't give a shit. I don't... Like, Corey can have it. I don't care. I don't care about world records anymore. That that part of my speedrunning career is over. I just... It, it just... It, it's unimportant to me. It just doesn't matter to me anymore. Bro. Okay, let's just... Jesus fucking Christ. I'm trying to get it so that these fucking seraphs don't shoot me. They're just... Doing nothing. Is there any place the Covenant isn't? Anchor 9 to all UNS fucking ships. Hell. Station defenses are back online. Clear the lane. Light them off. Okay, all right. There we go. I heard a few blow up. <sighs> God, there's too many of them, man. don't need the record back yeah well it's just it's just one of those like i just don't like getting a world record now i care more about getting a personal best than i do world records and as i said speed running i just don't enjoy speed running i still enjoy speed running but i don't enjoy it the way that i used to right like it's just not as important to me right anymore so and i I, I wish it was. I miss it a little bit. I miss the feeling. But, like, the last time I got a world record, I was like, yeah, we did it. Okay. So, anyways, I'm going to go play multiplayer now, I guess. I don't know. Like, I just, I, yeah. I just don't have the, I don't, I don't get the same feeling from getting a record or anything anymore that I used to. All right, come on now. How many more are there? Where are all the enemies? Should be soon. There it is. Oh, come on now. Oh, fuck off. Dude, fuck right the hell off, man. Seriously? Seriously? Shields, shields, shields. This one seraph is going to kill me. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I, I, I don't know. I can't imagine I lived through this. There it is. Right at the end. 
very last fucking second that it could possibly have been. Dude, this... Ugh! This Seraph! That pisses me off so much, man. I have no idea how much I'm annoyed by that once... This fucking Seraph, man. Ouch. Ouch. I hate this. The run is fine, by the way. Should I have done two hours? No, the run is fine. I'm still on pace for two sub two hour fifteen. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just annoyed by this one seraph, man. I'm annoyed to just the beginning of this. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. That's it. That's all I had to do. Ugh. <sighs> It's just one of those things, like, they always seem, you know, you know how I talk about how they always seem to be in the exact right place to kill me? That was one of those moments where it's just like, how is this Seraph so perfectly in line? If he was anywhere else on the map, I would have been fine. But because he was right there, right in the corner, it was the only one I did. Why is the AI so aggressive? It's never, never got that. It's a, uh, oops. It's a, uh, Jesus, what's wrong with me? Um, it's, uh, it's got to do with the, the increased FPS. Basically, the AI does, because of the increased frame rate, the AI does more, uh, checks. It basically checks the, uh, checks the player more often like this this is why i'm gonna die this is why i'm going to die oh my god fucking hate this game is they check for the player more often so it it basically it just makes it so you can't be as stealthy in this game there we go that's all the banshees dead pretty much and we have all these seraphs who are but it also it's why it also allows you to cause the enemies to run into the the it causes it allows you to cause the enemies to run into the the wall or the the frigates and stuff easier is because they keep checking for you and they keep trying to chase you down so There we go, there we go, yeah, yeah, kill them all, kill them all, hell yeah. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol, I go to. You don't let any of them get away, Sabres. Kill them before they bug out and warn that... No idea, Woo! my god! No idea about doing it. Yeah, those were the Banshees. Oh god. Alright, it's two blown up. I got three more, but I don't have a lot of health, so... That's three. Uh, that's one and last one. Done. Okay. All right. That could kill me. Scans indicate a structural weakness around the top of the vessel. Well, Long Night Solus always is a bad mission. This area, is, this area is always rough. Because it, it's just... The, the worst part is the checkpoints. The checkpoints take so long. Oh, come... What? Ooh. 
Well, you were supposed to actually help me, but... It's fine. Ow. That's not ideal. I was really clean, actually. Six, go for those shield controls. I'm Where's mission in each Halo? Oh god, I mean, I have to think, and that takes a lot of brain power when trying to do a speed run. Um. Okay. Uh. Oof. Uh. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. The package or yeah I'm gonna go with the package in this one I think it's the package I'm thinking I come from a speedrunner's perspective so it's really what's like the worst mission to in my opinion to speedrun this one's not great I enjoy this mission though um, Oh, ah, shit. Woo! Thank you so much, Bradex. Welcome back to the Insanity's Lobby. Be of you, you know I love you. Thank you so much. Alright. Full series run? That bet. What do you. It's happening. I don't know. What are you betting me for? It is happening. I've said it's happening. It's happening. I don't... I don't... That's the second person who said it. It's like, I don't think you guys know what bet is used for. It's ha... Like, I don't... I'm not gonna take the bet. Like, you would win that. Because I'm doing it. I don't... I don't... What? Man. Why are we betting? Why are we betting? Hey! Hey, children. No gambling. Alright? Gambling is a... Gateway to uh, I don't know. It's a gateway to something. There's Bob. Is Bob gonna f this up for me? Bob, are you gonna f this up for me? Bob's effing this up. He's causing the enemies to not spawn. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just that guy who was effing it up. Yeah. Wasn't allowed to play in HCS for a certain amount. Yeah, we're not allowed to play in any official Halo tournaments for one year. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Oh, that was a good checkpoint.
But yeah, we're not, we're not, oop. Yeah, we're not, we're not allowed to play in any official Halo tournament, compete in any official Halo tournament for one year. Um, for being part of the group. Not like I was planning on being a, a Halo pro anytime soon, so. You know. The only people, like, it affected people like Vetoed and Nated and those guys, so. Never understood bet. I get it. It's just the. It's the. It's the. Uh, bet is just another. Hey, sub 20 at least. It's just another way to do. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you won't. It's just another, another way to say you won't. Or a shorthand frame, or I bet you wouldn't. When do you think the first DLC is coming to Infinite? I'm guessing not till end. Honestly, I think we'll get one yearly. I think we'll get a, a story DLC once yearly. So I think end of 2022 is when we'll get uh, first the first DLC. So, um, let me think. All right. So worst missions in Halo is a. Uh... No, bet is not. Bet is not. Uh, not the term for saying nice. Let's go. Bet is for saying, is for sure. It's short for saying I bet you won't. Right. It's for challenging someone. That's the meaning of bet. You guys don't even know the meaning of bet. Why do you think it's called bet? Why do you think they use the word bet? What? It's not for saying let's go. It's basically short form of saying 10 bucks says you won't do it. That's that's what it's for. What are you guys talking about? Copy Kilo 40. Firing FPF1 at your command. Alright, I got a max out needler. I like that. To catch them all? No, it's not. That's the equivalent of saying YOLO is a catch them all. It's like, yeah, I guess, technically, because YOLO is a fucking made up word. That's now a real word that we've decided to create. Any word can be a catch em all if you just decide to use it for whatever the hell you want it for. Which in this society is exactly what we do. We just determine, hey, we're going to use this word to mean this thing now. Sounds good? Words don't actually have meaning anymore. They're just whatever we want them to be. I could be like, you know. You know, there's a great bit on Scrubs about it. Swa! Or recognize. It's like whenever someone does something cool, you better recognize. It's Aziz Ansari. Scrubs. Whenever, whenever someone disses or challenges someone, you recognize. It's not what recognize means, but it, we've decided that's what it means now. How have I not healed at all? It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, we're evacuating a group 
for civilians on the floor below you. As soon as they reach the cargo port, I'll send the elevator back up. Okay. Everyone find some cover. Stay sharp. We need there to hold is. this I position. Got it. Drop ships. Took me a second, but I got it. Watch your flanks. Different, a hundred different situations? Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, and lit was just an iteration of fire, and fire was just an iteration of it's hot. It's so hot, it's fire. That's, that's like... Pop culture, baby. Didn't know that was going to be enough or not. Oh, God. So I'm kind of out of ammo. Shit. Shit. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, I, need, I need to get the... It's fine. It's fine. I need to get the... Uh, I need to get the, uh, the rockets anyways. So it's fine, actually. <sighs> Are there any words that people in the UK use that you don't understand? Uh, no, because I, uh, I, I watched, uh, there's a lot of words, but that's because I don't, we don't know a lot of UK words, but, uh, what, Gavin from Rooster Teeth, they had a whole thing, Ready, Set, Show, where he would use... British, British slang, and we would have to, and they would have people guess what they think it means, and so I, I learned some of it from that, but yeah, I don't know how to do words, it's kind of tough, so. Fire, yo, that's fire? I don't like it, but is how it'd be. Finding out languages are different. Yeah. I mean, evolution, baby. I don't know why I grabbed that one. I know there's one on, on up here. Da, 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 da. We will be doing re uh, uh, infinite any percent, by the way, so we're not gonna be doing all. We're not gonna be doing every mission in infinite. I know it's a long way, and I'll mention it again when we get there. But just, just want to let people know. Rooster Teeth's really boring now. I love them. I actually got back into them. I've been loving Rooster Teeth. Eh. Love those guys. I still be... I know it's many, but I think I would mesh so well. Be a dream to work, work at Rooster Teeth. But what do you mean is Rooster Teeth dying? I think they're just switching how they're working as a company. If that, like, I don't know if they're dying. What, what gives that impression, I guess? Like, they just hired a bunch of new people. Typically, hiring is not a sign of a dying company. But, you know... What do I know? Just throw my DMR. 
I guess it's one of those perspectives of like... Maybe it's dying to you because you don't watch them anymore, right? I mean, like a lot of things, I think the same thing. I'm like, oh, this show's probably gone downhill because I'm no longer... Like, I stopped enjoying it, so it's probably... And it's like, oh, wait, no, it has more viewers than ever. Interesting. Wow, no one died there. Well, yeah, Ryan was a scumbag, and they fired him, but, I mean, that doesn't mean it's dying. Like, they've had scandals, I guess, but they're not dying at all. And they just hired a bunch of... It, that's been, that was, like, two years ago. Uh, I guess it was a year ago. I don't even know. How long ago was that? That was a long time ago, the point is. Yeah, I don't think they're dying at all. No, Ken, I'm not pausing for nothing. We had it in hand. Minus, like, two pods? I love, I love the, I listen to a lot of the Rooster Teeth podcasts. I listen to the Tales of the Stinky Dragon, which is the, uh, Squad Team Force. I still hate that name. But Squad Team Force's, uh, D&D podcast, uh, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, Fuckface, which is Jeff, Gavin, and Andrew Penn. Uh, Face Jam, which is Michael and Jordan, and Eric, pretty much. Um... I also listen to Red Web, which is Trevor and Alfredo. I listen to Off Topic, which is just the Achievement Hunter guys. I listen to the RT Core, RT Podcast. I listen to a lot of their podcasts. I mean, it helps that I'm I'm working, right? Like at my work, I just throw on me, I throw on a podcast, and that's all I do pretty much all day. Uh, is I just do my work while listening to podcasts, and it's awesome. I love it. So it helps that, but no, I uh. Don't get me wrong, I actually don't watch a lot of their- I, I will say their Minecraft content is kind of meh. Their GTA content is still pretty good, because, like, I never get tired of seeing Tron or... Offense, defense. I never get tired of that, but their Minecraft stuff is kind of very bleh. So I, I haven't liked a lot of that. But I love them doing all their other games. I, I don't know, I love Rooster Teeth. I, I've, I've been a big fan of them since forever. Of course. I hate this. Oh my god! Really? This is what causes people to lose times, man. They lost most of their old fan base? Eh, same thing can be said about Halo, though, you know? Jesus Christ, what a garbage checkpoint. Holy shit, this is so bad. Fucking hell. This is really bad. Jesus Christ. You get on that Falcon. Make sure those transports make it out in one piece. Yeah, I mean they put out so much content. Hey Yak, how you doing? But they're they're doing fine. I don't know, like I think they're doing great. I think they're doing better than ever. Um From what I hear, I think they actually had more subscribers during COVID than ever before. So Or at least are are you know, first members. They had the most amount of first members they've ever had. So. Bernie stopped being on? Eh, fair enough. I think I started listening once Bernie left. Not that I don't like Bernie. I love Bernie. I just I just never was big into the podcast in general. I never really listened to any of the podcasts. And then now I've been really into podcasts as of late. So I listen to podcasts now. Franco Connor sub 343? Yeah, I think so. As far as I know. I don't know what they're doing with Red vs. Blue. I, I say they just kill it. Like, I'll be honest. I think our... Red vs. Blue should just be retired, honestly. It's... I don't know what the hell they're doing. I still like Ruby. Uh... I don't watch... I, I don't watch that many of their animated shows. I love their... Their more... I love their more, um... Live productions, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Like, uh... Their... Their Camp Betrayal or whatever was awesome. I love that. Uh... I love... I love all their... Last Laugh has been... So, I love Last Laugh. So good. So. I don't know. It's just a lot. Dude, see, this is the problem. Is they Banshee Bomb you and you can't even see them. You can't even see the Banshees and they're Banshee Bombing you. I liked... I mean, I kind of stopped watching. Season 9 through 12 were so good. And then, yeah, I kind of... I kind of stopped watching, but I was obsessed with the season. I still watch those. I still, I still, I have them on my phone. I bought them way back when on Apple, and I still, I still fucking go watch them on the occasion. Thank 
kill him? I don't know if I killed him. I don't think I did. But yeah, they yeah they do so much. It's ridiculous how much content they push out these days. But I love, I'm loving, like, I love, uh, Kai and Black Crystal and Logies are the new, uh, god. I wish. It would be my dream. If I could work for the, the Rooster Teeth, like, Achievement Hunter guys, it would be, be my absolute dream job. Because they do. I'm just saying they did a pack opening. I'm just saying that I always seem to be ahead of whatever content they make. Like, and I don't mean that like a, look at me, I'm just bet, I'm just more on the, on the thumb about this stuff before the Rooster Teeth guys are even on it. And it's like, no, 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 it's just like, the fact is, is the, the, the I have the exact same idea of the kind of content I want to make that's in line with exactly what Rooster Teeth does. Or specifically the Achievement Hunter guys. All the time. Like, they, uh... Alfredo has been super obsessed with uh, Pokemon pack breaks all of a sudden. And they started doing it on Rooster Teeth. And I was like, see, this is what I mean. I just started doing it myself. This is perfect. And I didn't do it because of them. No, that's not good. Shit, man. Oh, bad checkpoint. So it's just like... Oh, I just know I haven't meshed well. Because I, I just think that, you know, board game... They're doing board game streams and that's something I, I've talked about. I talked about it six years ago. I wanted to do board game streams. I've always wanted to do them. But that's what I mean. It's just like... I'm just in line, baby. Stop it. Oh, come on, man. What the hell? Why is... Uh, this is... This is... These are those moments where I'm like, how does everyone else do this so perfectly? And then I get the... Why, why do I get screwed? Why do I get screwed in this? Whenever I watch anyone do a Halo Reach run, they never have this issue. They never have this issue with this Wraith. This second Wraith never comes down and kills them. Ever. So why is it killing me? Why, why am I the one that it kills? <sighs> so aggravating. Ever played Hero Escape? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't pick that up. That's cool. Fuck it. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go for it. I guess maybe I don't kill the Wraith. Maybe that's maybe that's the, the solution is I just need to make sure I don't kill the Wraith. Oh god. That fear rod almost hit me. Woo! Not great. Not a great Exodus run, honestly. Oh, did I pause my timer? Is my timer paused? Did I accidentally pause my timer? Oh, shit. Wow, that was a really bad... When did I pause my timer? Shit. That's my bad. All right, well... Hopefully it wasn't too long ago. I don't... I, as I said, I don't know exactly when it was, but... Alright, I got one. Hopefully it won't matter. Report Charlie 27 to command. Request immediate assistance. Go ahead, 27. You're at the Byron Telecom. Put your wings back on, Lieutenant. We're flying this Falcon. Covenant have deployed comb jammers in high rises across the city. 
When I find them, you hit them hard. No banshees whatsoever, huh? Cool. Stand by, sir. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got this isn't frustrating at all. No, this is this is this is fine. This is fine. This isn't frustrating at all. Luckily, I got that, so now I just have to get the hell up here and then. Mark the location. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. No, slow down. This sucks. Not good luck, man. Not good RNG. I got no good Banshee spawns. There's three possible ones, and I got zero of the three of them. This has been awesome. It's been a good run so far. Good RNG so far, all day long. Will you stop? Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Covenants have deployed home jammers and high rises across the city. When I find them, you hit them hard. Alright, this should be easy. It looks like they're gonna just fly straight, so I just. Stand by, sir. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got. Luckily, got the hospital, but. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. They're gonna boost. I gotta wait for these ones, and if I just wait right here. Come on, man! I don't understand how... I don't understand how the Halo Reach guys do it. Stand by, sir. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got hit. I'll mark the location. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. Oh, okay. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I don't want to, like, I could restart and try and get a better set, but I don't want to do that. Man, really wish I had a grapple hook. <laughs> God damn it. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got hit. I'll mark the location. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. That's all you have to do. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Yeah, dude, grapple spoiled us for sure. Alright, I need to make sure I go low enough so this turret doesn't hit me. I did get a checkpoint, right? I look pretty good. 
But uh, Hero Escape is your favorite board game, Devil? Sorry, I know I'm a little behind on chat, so. Um. Uh, yeah, uh, my favorite, Secret Hitler and uh, Shadow Hunters. I like social deception games, man. That actually helped. Sort of. Now, please move. Please let me move. Please let me move. Please let me move. Holy shit. How long was I just shut down for? Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Am I screwed? Am I fucked? Have I soft locked the game? I think I soft locked the game. I don't think I got down here quick enough. Bitch, dude. I don't have time. I can't. I like. I, this is a fucking seventeen-hour run. I can't just restart the run. God damn it! All right, hold on. Let me try something. Fuck. Okay. I just didn't. I got out too late. That's that's exactly. Oops. Oof. <laughs> that was scary. I'm not gonna lie. It's very scary. Oh, we got Bok Luck too. RNG has been so good. Uh, softlock basically means you can still play the game, but you can't progress any further in the story. So, like, it's not always that nothing spawns. Uh, so, but yeah, softlock is basically you're still playing the game, you just can't do anything. Um, So, like, for instance, if I actually got stuck in that building and I wasn't able to get out, that's a soft lock. Because I can run around the building and do whatever I want in the building. A hard lock is, like, a freeze. It's a full-on, like, the game freezes and you have to shut the game down. So. A soft lock, sometimes you can work your way out of, like I did there. I was able to actually make it work so that I didn't... I got out of the soft lock. Yeah. I guess I need to make sure things despawn. I gotta stay in the Banshee until things despawn, and then I can go. So, but am I a fan of Harry Potter at all? Yes. I apologize. If, by the way, if there's any questions I missed, by the way, and I didn't answer it, please let me know. Um, I know I've I've missed. I've probably... I've missed a lot of chat. I've been in focus mode. I haven't even eaten my burrito. I haven't eaten anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Harry I just rewatched all of the Harry Potters recently, honestly. Shit. G 
Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Unlucky. Bad RNG still. Missed your $50 donation? I don't think there was one. Was there? No, there wasn't. I would have heard the alert. I know you subbed. Did I see the trailer for the reunion? I did. It's out. Isn't the reunion out? It's out already, right? I plan on watching it eventually. I'm not, again. I like Harry Potter, but I'm not. I don't have any health, which is scary. Oops. Oh yeah, softlocks are real bad. Softlock, if you softlock the game, I mean, it's game over. You have to restart the mission. I think, where is it? Is that, wait, hold on, is that up top? I'm pretty sure it's over here, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know where all the objectives are, but it's like, I'm pretty sure it's over here. smoking too Ooh, I am smoking a little bit I might make the very final area a little bit rough but as I lose my oh no that's gonna fall Bloop. you still with me one niner <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hello? Come on. Hello? Jesus. <laughs> it took so long. <laughs> I have to buy that mouse pad that looks cool. What mouse pad? Hard to believe the infinite speedrun is 36 minutes. Yep, it's good. That's what happens when games go open world. I'm just saying, every like almost every open world game has a ridiculously fast speedrun. Because it's all about sequence breaking. Most of the time, they program games to just... You know, they don't program... The only way in most open world games to stop people from sequence breaking is you have to do a checklist. You have to do the, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. You have to get... Well, no, they even sequence broke that. They they finally were able to get through the the, the barrier, get through the the water wall. They finally did that. Took them like, took them twelve years or eighteen years or some shit, but they figured it out. Um, I'd better chose good so far. It's been we've had some bad RNG, but you know it hasn't run hasn't been terrible. All things considered. Hey, Devil. Oh, my goodness. It has been a long time. How you been, man? Not Red Dead Redemption 2? Uh, I don't know. I've never watched a Red Dead speedrun. I'm sure it's... I don't know how broken it is. Because, again, the only way for, for them to do it is checklist, right? 
They basically, the only way for these, the, a lot of these games to actually stop people from just completely breaking them are checklists. It's like you have to do this, 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 and this in order to actually beat the game. Otherwise, it doesn't work. But even, even that, it's like if you find ways like we did with Infinite to find a way past kill barriers, all of the later scripts work so you can just go to the final missions. But like... If they basically have it where the entire world is open, there's nowhere that's locked behind anything. Oops, missed that one. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Um, yeah. It's just like, you basically have to create a checklist. Whether it's a mission checklist, like, you have to beat these missions, otherwise you just can't complete it, right? Like, Cyberpunk is probably another one that probably doesn't... Like, it's probably a fast speed run, but... You... It's a linear mission setup where... In order to unlock the final mission, you have to beat all the missions before it. It's not like you get to an area and you have access to the final mission, right? All right, but I apologize again. Have I missed any? Have I missed any other? I'm trying to catch up on chat best I can. Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Did I? I just deleted my timer, didn't I? Shit. Well, I just deleted it because I was hitting. I was spa sm I was angry, angrily smashing my keyboard, trying to figure out the uh, if I broke, if I softlocked the game, so I broke my timer. Damn it, man. I do that a lot during these runs. It's the only time I actually need to use the mouse, the, the keyboard, because I have that as my, uh... I should just turn off those as global keys. I don't really... I don't use it that often, so... I know there's another one. Where is he? Come on, man. Cool. Have that one. So this is not a lot of ammo. I'll make do. It'll, it'll have to do, though. I'll make do with it. As I said, I apologize. I'm sure... I'm sure I've missed some, some chat messages. And I will try to be better about it. Try and be better. The run's dead. Run's dead already. all this debris. I don't like it. Uh, my tank's not good at cu going over debris. Alright, we're okay. Oh yeah, someone asked, like, what's the best music? ODST. It's got that perfect chill vibe that completely sets the atmosphere of the game. If not, Halo Infinite, man. Halo Infinite is basically just all of the Halo tracks combined into one. And redone and remastered. It's great. Uh, that was interesting. Ow. Banshees. Ugh. I 
It has some killer. They're, like, that's the thing. With the Halo 2 soundtrack, there's like three songs that people love, right? It's the, the one on... Uh, whoop, okay, that's cool. Um, you know, they, yeah, they basically... They, there's like Breaking Ben... It's all of the Breaking Benjamin songs, which there's quite a few, but, you know, people love the one on uh, Gravemind. They love the one on... What's it called? The, uh, the, the, ouch. Uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? What's the mission? I don't know. Sacred Icon? Not Sacred Icon. What's the one after Sacred Icon? Quarantine Zone? Yeah, they love the one on Quarantine Zone. Oh, I already hit that one. Yeah. Long story short. <laughs> there's like specific there's like four songs that people love in Halo 2 Ooh, who is shooting me what just shot me who the fuck just shot me what the fuck this is my luck today, man. I don't even know what shot me, man. That's so frustrating. Yeah. Was it a banshee? Did a banshee fly by and decide to kill me for some reason? Like, I, I don't... Did I not shoot a turret? I'm pretty sure I killed every single turret. I made sure. I always make sure to kill everything in this area, pretty much. So, I don't, I don't know what shot me, man. So frustrating, though. I don't know. I don't even know. It had to be a banshee or something. Yeah, it had to be a ban. Why? Why are these banshees even here? They shouldn't even be here. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it was a banshee. A banshee that shouldn't even be attacking me. Like, they're not, they're not even supposed to be in this area. I don't even know why they are. That's cool. Yep, I've never seen it either. It's okay. As I said, it's Joker luck, baby. They're, like, just scripted to pretty much fly away, so I don't know why he attacked me, but he did. So, that's the way it be sometimes. Oh, this ain't good. I didn't get the, I didn't get the good spawn. No Bob. No Bob. No Bob. Yeah. Nailed it. Woo! All right. We got a little bit of luck there. Hey, Dragon Slay. I'm good. How you doing? Commander, I'm seeing turrets already in defensive positions. Spartans, you cannot allow the Covenant to break through the door to my lab. <laughs> Noble team, there are four defense turrets to assist you in defending the lab. Get them online and quick. That. When the turrets take too much damage, they'll shut down to recharge. Alright, do I remember the whole route for this? I don't know if I do. Uh, hello? It's fine. <laughs> Recovered. That was bad. 
I don't know why I did that. That was a bad idea. It's fine. We shouldn't need it too much, hopefully. One. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. That should blow him up. There it is. He didn't blow up. One, two, okay. I think vehicles should get tied to player health. You go back to being tied to player health. I love. Oh, nah. I, I think it should be individual. That doesn't make any sense in a actual. You know. That doesn't make any sense. What the. F okay, so the rocket did no damage the last time? Cool. It, it makes more sense this way, it's why I like it, but yeah, I mean, it would be convenient. <laughs> I will say that. It would be a lot more convenient. One, two, three, four, two, five. Now I get a checkpoint, of course. Now I get a checkpoint. Yeah, dude, I am vehicle. I am esports, bro. Ooh, careful. Oops. Ow, ow, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Should be good, right? Right? Did I mess up? Oh, there was one more dude! Ah, shit. Oh, there was more enemies. I didn't realize. Shit. No. Yeah, there was the entire other set of enemies I didn't even realize. That sucked. 
Wonder what the overlap between golf players and speedrunners is after all both are trying to play as little of the game as possible, pretty much. Hold on, Spartans. I'm getting close. Yeah, that was that was on me. I just kind of forgot. I, I killed the other guys and then I was like, alright, I'm good. And it turns out I was not good. It turns out there was another uh Turns out there was another, uh, another, uh, set of brutes and stuff that I need to kill. I killed the first set and I was like, I guess I'm good. Because I saw the checkpoint too. The checkpoint also lied to me and it didn't help. Okay, well, I guess I didn't kill him quick enough. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for that now. Chill out, chill out, Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Joker does... Hitting the tur turret reduced the amount of damage to the Phantom. I've noticed you don't seem to a be aiming for them. I'm aiming for the engines. The engines deal the most amount of damage, so aiming for anything else is uh, a waste of time, I guess, is the best way to put it. And I missed. Cool. All right, Jesus Christ, come on now. I think I killed them all, nice. Thank you. Uh, right here, one, two, three. Uh, I miss, is that gonna miss? That's gonna miss. That one's gonna miss. This might not go so well. One more for good measure. That should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Oof. This area is so stressful. I'll be honest. Again, I'm trying I'm trying to do my best to not be stressed out, by the way. I really don't want this... I don't want to get angry this run. I want to have a decent upload and have a decent first run. So I'm trying to avoid being all upsetty, but... Oh, I'm about to be upsetting in a second. Oh, my God. Package is almost ready. Just a little more. Where'd the other hunter? <laughs> Bro, where, where's the other hunter? Oh, he's up there. Bro, what is this luck? <laughs> What is luck? And why does it exist? Okay. That worked out. Hey, T1000, how you doing? 
I had no clue they had phantoms had weaknesses. Yes, they do. Whew. All right. Well, had one bad reset or a few bad resets. This Honestly, that's what, like, that's been the biggest problem with Halo Reach in general. Is, like, I've lost so much time in Halo Reach simply because I have lost so much time to just, like... Is it gonna auto-split? Is auto-splitter working anymore? Does it even work? It just, like... It should have... It should have done, right? Oh my god, my timer froze again! Oh! Bro! I think I need to switch. I need to... You know what? I'm gonna do it right now. I'm literally gonna do it right now. Because I don't even know... There, I, How long has my timer been paused for? Man. God damn it. This is so frustrating. Oh, this run has not started out well. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see. That one's fine. Pause. It's gonna be the multiply key. First time it was only 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, that second one must have been so long. I don't even know how long I paused for. Okay. All right, well, I've switched the key now so that I won't accidentally pause it anymore. Or I shouldn't. I shouldn't accidentally pause it anymore. It's a lot harder, I should say. Whoops. Excuse me, guys. Just gotta come up. So, yeah, I don't even know how long I paused it there. That's not great. I... I'm gonna have to retime. That's the that's the problem. Is like I don't want to retime. I don't want to sit through 17 hours of retiming. I don't want to do it. So I'll, I'll just have to do some math. What I'll do is I'll figure out when I paused it and I'll add that to whatever whatever the final time is. So yeah, I guess it's not a bad idea either. Is just figure out the timing in between. But I'll just figure out again. It's supposed to be in-game time only's, but. I can just I can just figure out the time that I paused and how long and then add that into the run and then I'll add the first time I pause it I add I'll add like a minute onto the time for that one and then I'll just figure out what the second one because the second one was a lot longer. Yeah! Oh my god, am I actually gonna get the run? Am I gonna get the mongoose run first try? Oh hells yeah. That never happens. I am hungry as shit. I need to eat my food. Whew. All right. I feel bad. Like, I really... I wish I could ideally start this run at, like, 5 a.m. rather than 6 p.m. But me working yesterday, not great. And then tomorrow's New Year's, so I don't want to spend... I mean, I guess I, I technically could do this tomorrow. Wake up 5 a.m. and do it then. But I don't want to, like, accidentally take too long and then go over New Year's. I want to be up and with family and stuff when New Year's happens, you know? So. Enemy no, I don't even need that. I actually got really lucky on the, all that, so. Oops. Oh no, that's not great. All bad. There we go. <laughs> and up on top. Ooh, good. Good ammo spawns. Um, did I not pick one up? Okay, well, good ammo spawns, just low ammo. Oof, oof, don't like that. It's okay. I'll, I'll get more ammo at the end, which we're not going to shoot anything until then. <sighs> Oops. Alright, we have a good chunk of ammo right now. Dude, okay, come on now. 
Jesus Christ. Fun. Just bad at video games. There we go. So we need, again, total, we need five. We got ten. We have so much ammo. We got 15 shots. I think we need 12. So we got like three, three leeway shots pretty much, which is awesome. Because we need five for each one, and then three kind of just randomly throughout the rest of the level, so. <clears throat> Still beat that time, lol. Spartans, over here! This is Captain Keys of the Pillar of Honor. We are tracking you, Noble, and we've begun our launch sequence. Proceed to dry dock. One run in two years? I love it. Ah, shit. Luckily, we got the extra shot. Oh, and we got Bob. Oh, and he disappeared. Could have got even more ammo. I think realistically, you can't really get him on legendary. be all we need for the rest of the mission. Oh god. I don't know what just happened. I'll be honest, no idea what the hell just happened, but it worked, so we're gonna just take it. That was weird as hell. Funky nuggets, bro. Where's a meal? Do I need a meal? No. Do I like having them? Yeah. A little bit. He's got a plasma pistol. Which is good. Do I prefer Pillar of Autumn for Dawn to Dawn or the Infinity? Uh. Uh. I'll be honest. I don't think I care. <laughs> I'll be straight with you. I don't think I care. They all. They're all the exact same ship to me. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I have a preference. Oh my god. Do I have Famine Skull on? What's going on? Oh, that's so bad. That's so low ammo. What? Ah, that's... Mm, that's really frustrating. Keys to Noble Team. We're running out of time here, Spartans. That's not a lot of ammo, man. This is a real annoyance. The mass driver up top. We lose that, the auto has no cover fire. She can never make one. Ah, 
bullet didn't go through. Oh, that's an interesting checkpoint. What the f- What just happened? You guys see that shot? That definitely just went- Like, it just diagonally shot itself somewhere. It, like, bounced off the wall. <laughs> I, it's MC, ever since MCC, man, this, this, this concussion rifle just is weird. I don't know if it's a massive keyboard thing, but, like, it just doesn't shoot as fast. Like, I'm trying to spam my trigger. Spamming doesn't work, I think. It's like, you have to time it, but. Or maybe spamming does work, but either way. Point is, I don't, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. See, this is what I mean. I gotta, I can't, I can't afford to uh, miss shots. I gotta make sure every shot counts. Looking okay on ammo. Man, I gotta rewatch Deadpool. Alright, we're good now. We're good. Alright, we had enough ammo. We actually had more than enough ammo than I thought. Um... Alright, uh, where's the guy? Ooh, there he is. Bro! What?! <laughs> I've never seen a professional aim that good, man. Holy shit. What the hell? I just, I don't, you can't even be mad at that. Through the staircase, man. I don't, I like, wh what do I even say to that, man? Let's see, do I, you think I got weapons? I think it, no, I didn't get the weapons. Sounds fine. Get the package to the pad and get your ass off this planet. That was crazy. That was a professional, bro, that guy is esports. That guy is esports, man. What a shot. I thought I was safe. I was like, I'll hide behind a staircase. You're not going to be able to shoot through the slats of a staircase. And he's like, haha, bet. See, that's the proper use of bet. Oops. Oh, crap. That was such a bad checkpoint. I accidentally squirrel wheeled. I squirrel wheeled. Uh. Oof. Okay. And we got one more. Look at that. Three free bullets. I had four free bullets from the looks of it. Moving into position. 
Alright, now I just gotta wait. I'm gonna kill the few rock guys, the only one I really have to worry about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Reload. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I don't remember the timing. Oh, dude, uh, is there anyone Halo 5? Anyone know the Halo 5 run? I gotta remember the timing on shit again. It's all, it's all about timing on certain things. It's alright, I just take extra time. It's like 2 minutes and 10 seconds or some shit. If I don't do the... I don't remember. But like this one, I don't remember the... I think it's a minute and 14 seconds or something. That's the thing I have a hard time remembering. Numbers. Did I say I haven't seen Deadpool? No, I definitely. I just gotta rewatch it again. I wanna I wanna rewatch it. Alright. Should be right now, yep. We're good. Hey. We're good. Hey. One hour and, uh, I gotta eat my food. Oh my god, this is a big-ass burrito, I just realized. Jesus, he stuffed this thing. Hell yeah. Huh? Mm. We're done. Alright. On to Halo CE. Am I happy with that reach run? It was fine. Um, I've had a lot better reach runs. I'll say it went well. I will say that overall the reach one... I'm, I am happy with that. The reach run went really well. Um... I just had a lot of really bad respawns. I got really screwed over by checkpoints pretty much the entire game. I had, like, the deaths that I did have, some of them were annoying. But some of them were just... Yeah, that was just a lot. No, hold on. Oh, hold on. We can check in a second. Cash. We'll have to do some fudging because it will be... We'll have to figure out exactly because, again, pausing and stuff. Don't count too much, but we can check in a second. Oh, shit, I don't have this. Oh, I don't have the game on my... Oh, dude, the load times are going to be ridiculous on this. This is why this matters. All right. No. Not an hour and 15 minutes. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. So I was just barely off of it. But for this one, hour and 50. Or 45. It's up to you. Oh, the... The problem now is... It, oh, it's going to be brutal. Because, uh... Yeah, time... Pausing timer and stuff kind of F that up. Dude, yeah. Can't you end the prediction? You could just click it and end it. What do you mean it doesn't allow you? It definitely allows you. I like I don't I don't understand when you say it doesn't allow. I I can't even. Oh god damn it! Choose outcome prediction. No. Not complete prediction. I 
I don't like I, I just I don't understand where you're you're saying that you can't do it. Like if you make it, you can, you have access to finishing it. I'm guessing you just don't know how to do it. But you can't have one and not the other. That's not how that works. I like the old, old school uh, look of the the shields and stuff. I kind of like that's back. Thought the result was yes. No, it was no. Again, it's the pause timer that that screwed it. So I, it was close, but I don't think it was. I don't think I pause. I I know I didn't have the timer pause for an hour and a half, or or not an hour and a half. Sorry, I didn't have the timer pause for fifteen minutes, and that's that's how much it was for the. Uh, it was, there was a 15 minute, over a 15 minute gap between what it was and what real time was. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay. Kind of got lucky there. I don't have any health, so I have to be really careful here, actually. Not a lot of grenades I'm picking up, either. Did get a checkpoint, which is nice, but yeah. Excuse me, brick wall. Well, the actual timer on screen is—it's not incorrect either, but like it, as I said, because of the pause timer, it kind of throws off the whole prediction. So. light again? It's four, right? There it is. I was like, I don't remember what my light... Okay, Jesus Christ. A lot of lag all of a sudden. Getting a lot of frame rate issues. Bro, what is going on with my frame rate? I don't want to risk dying, so I'm gonna take it. More grenades? Uh, I got a few. Okay, there we go. Yeah, like having a lot of frame, man. I think my, I think I gotta get that new PC, man. I gotta do it. I gotta pull the trigger, go for the buy. We should hurry. Warning, the glass door is closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. We have to use the ship's maintenance access way. Follow the nav. Yeah. Lead you to an opening. All right. Trying to eat my food as I go. I've got refreshments. I've got an entire set of just like drinks and food and extra food just in case. And I'm dead. Ooh. Ooh. I'm like literally one bullet. I will die in one bullet. Man, I don't know how I've been living. I should have died 12 times over on this mission. Maybe this is the good thing. Maybe this is the good luck now. Now that Reach gave me a lot of bad luck, now this will be good luck. Right? Right? Or is this going to be a situation where... I oh, no, I'm getting a checkpoint. I was like, I don't know. It Maybe this will be the situation where I haven't got a checkpoint yet.
done. Yeah, dude, they were on my ass. I don't know how I lived that. I'll be honest. I should have died three times over on that mission. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, worst missions... Right, I never answer that question. Worst missions in each Halo game. Jeez. No, the one I'm most worried about is Two Betrayals. It's not the worst mission. I actually really like the Two Betrayals run, but it's the scariest one that can kill the run. Because, um, it can use up so much time. Um... Halo Reach was the package. Halo CE. I don't know. What's the worst mission in Halo CE? TNR, maybe? I, I'm not a big fan of this mission. I guess it's got to be two betrayals, right? Two betrayals, probably. Yeah, it's probably two betrayals. Halo 2. Uh... Regret might be? God, I don't know. What ones? It's the ones that I have the most trouble on. Oh, I hate high charity. I hate the mission high charity. I don't know the skip all that well, but high charity is my least favorite. And then Halo ODST, uh, Kazingo. Kazingo is just, excuse me. All right. All right. I had, I picked up no plasma nades. Good. There's some nades. All right. Um. Hey, yeah, Kazinga. It's gotta be Kazinga. Kazinga's always scary. I don't like. Ooh, but I mean, Sava. Uh, I mean, the highway too. Whatever the whatever the damn final mission is, it's probably that one actually. The final mission of that is terrible. I I still need to learn that skip. That skip's crazy. It's a really really cool skip though. It just seems so hard to do. Probably because it is very hard to do. Um, Halo 3 Covenant. Level Covenant. Or Ark. Uh, I used to love those missions, but because of speedrunning, I hate them. Halo 4... Infinity. And... Oops. Halo 5. Battle of Sinion. And then Infinite. Foundation, I guess. Just for just because of the boss fight. <laughs> Data Hive? Yeah, I mean that's kinda I was thinking about Data Hive as well. I was like, do I stick Data Hive as the worst mission? But I, I don't hate that mission. It's long. It's just a long mission. But I don't I don't hate it. It's not an overly difficult mission. Um it can be frustrating at times, but yeah, it's definitely the highway man. Man, it's been a long time. I'll be honest, what's not helping is the fact that I haven't played Halo on mouse and keyboard in a while. So I've been, since I've been playing Infinite on controller, I'm a little little out of practice on mouse and keyboard.
Good joke. Good Royal 2 joke, by the way. You son- get over here. You son of a bitch. Hey, 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 run, run. Uh. All right, where's the jackal? There he is. Thoughts of the plasma missile no longer disabling vehicles in infinite? Bro, with the grapple hook and everything else, and dynamonades, it's irrelevant. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I do think they I, they do need to buff the plasma pistol. Its tracking needs to be better. The fact that it can't disable vehicles means that it's a weaker weapon and has less utility, so they need to make it better. And it's not. It is not great. And it's, yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I hope, I hope they, they update it or something, but, uh, yeah, like, the di with, like, vehicles are kind of useless in Halo multiplayer, to be honest. Although, you do see people go on tears. Like, they're not terrible because I see some people just go on ridiculous tears with them, you know? But whenever I use them, they're paper thin. But with all the dynamo nades and the shock rifles and the disruptors and the skewers, which is basically just an insta-kill Spartan laser, vehicles are paper fucking things. Hydras and everything. It's it's so easy to kill vehicles. So But I don't mind I don't mind that it doesn't disable vehicles simply because there are so many Oh grapple hook too. Let's not forget grapple hook also makes vehicles just ridiculous. So. And yeah, and like Dynamo Day, like Shock Rifle and stuff does real, da real strong damage to vehicles. It's not only does it shut it down, it fucking rocks them. Like two Dynamo Nades can kill a chopper. It's kind of insane. If you just stick a Dynamo Nade so it perfectly lands on the chopper and you hit another one, it will basically blow it up. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people doing that. Mm. Mm. I just made a mesh. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. Seeing people do like max speed, low gravity, infinite, uh, bottomless clip skewer, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of hilarious. Well, luckily I won't accidentally... So the reason why I've been accidentally pausing my timer, by the way, is I have my pause as my tilde key, which is right under the escape key. And my pause button is the escape key. So whenever I'm trying to quick revert, sometimes I... The bottom of my finger accidentally presses the tilde key. So now I've switched it to the other side of my keyboard, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh shit, I meant to grab the sniper. Damn it. Do I watch Ackman? I don't watch any. I was talking about it earlier, Yak. I don't watch Halo YouTubers. I don't, I don't watch any any Halo YouTube. I'm friends with Ackman. He lives. He doesn't live that far from me. It's He's one of those guys that I, I don't know why I've never like asked to like be like, yo, you want to go do something? You want to chill? Does Infinite have chapter names and missions? Yes, it does. The two... Yeah, there. Is that better? Just have the mic at completely in view. I realize my, my sound has been really quiet recently, so I don't like what this is, though, because I, I'm overloading my... I'm, I'm blowing out the gains, supposedly, but when I actually hear it, it's not... Oh, God. It's not too loud. 
I love the old CE UI. It's great. It's just so simple. I actually really like the Halo Infinite UI too, though. I like that they just got rid of all the fluff. I didn't mean to do that. Not great. Hello? Oh, I forgot about doing the other way that I you do the this area. No, guy, come in. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. What are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Okay, what the hell? So if you don't, so if all the marines don't die in this section, it's going to lock the game. It doesn't soft lock it, it just means I have to actually come back to this area. Oh my god. Yeah, it just means I soft lock the game, and, or I don't soft lock it, it just means I have to come back to this area and actually complete this section. And we don't want that. That takes time. So, that's why I gotta make sure all those guys are dead. Is there a switch button in this game? There is no switch button. There's no switch seat button until Halo 5. It's one of those features you didn't know you needed until it was you got it, and then you're like, this is the most amazing feature ever added. You see where Mario Donald was mad? His name wasn't in the credits in Infinite? I mean, he didn't work on Halo Infinite, I don't think, right? What? Or is he saying he's mad be. What? Oh, I guess, like, oh, I, okay, no, hold on, I see what he's saying, because a lot of the music, a lot of the music and stuff was, it, that's the thing, it's not, like, yeah, okay, I, I, I can kind of see where he's, he's able to be mad about that, like, it's not his music, because they're all, they're all remastered and redone by other people, but he was the original composer of the original music, even though they've redone all, all new music for it, he was the original four. Yeah, it, my point is, I, I get it. I, I see. I see why he could be a little upset. I, I, I think they should have, but again, also he's a fucking psychopath recently. I, like I don't really. After the last few years, I'm not a big fan of Marty. So. No, we're done. New traffic on the Covenant Battle Net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held by the Covenant Cruiser. The Truth and Reconciliation. A ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 Yeah, he's been, he's been getting a lot of shit. So, on his YouTube channel, got you. What did it, Marty, do at this point, man? He's, uh, he, here's, it, I'll, I'll put it, I think the best way, I think I actually accurately put it, he's the Chevy Chase of, of gaming music, of, of gaming composers. Like, Chevy Chase was the top, one of the top comedians 
uh, movie movie comedians of his time. And as he got older, he just became a salty, angry little man who just complains and bitches about everything. That's what Marty is now. And it's just like, it's just sad watching, you know, Ch he, he just complains about everything. And that's, that's what Marty's at now. He's the Chevy Chase. He just became a salty old man who uh, des thinks he deserves some crazy... Like, I'll just say, like, he would have gone down as one of the greatest gaming composers of all time. He would have. And then he started to open his mouth and start bitching about everything. That he's not getting enough credit and blah, 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 this and that. And now it's just like, oh, God, I don't want to listen to you, man. You had an amazing legacy, and you've just been throwing it away by opening your mouth. Made a video about not being able to distribute music he made in Destiny, but I didn't see anything about Infinite. What if he, yeah, I mean, there's there's all that, man. Yeah, I mean, that that's what he is. It's just like... He's, I mean, again, and I understand his perspective. He's coming from the perspective of he's the original creator of said objects. He should be... It's his property, right? It's, it's the old argument of if you get contracted to build something, do you have ownership of said thing right like he didn't just make it just because he was hired by bungie to make music for the thing and he's not allowed to give it out to people it's a whole argument that a lot of music creators have right where they create music and then you know people get dmca'd and they're like it's fine you guys are allowed to stream my music whenever they want but then they still people still get dmca'd and shit for it and then their creators are like, well, that's stupid as shit. But it's because their label controls their actual... The label that actually published the music are the people who are responsible for distribution. Right? It, it's it's a whole argument. It's been one a conversation. It's been had a lot of recently is... Do people actually own the things that they create if it's owned by somebody else? Just because you create it if it's owned by someone else, do you actually have any rights to distribute or do whatever you want with, with said product? I think so, but at the same time, I'm also just like, I don't care. Like, it's how I feel. It's like, if you want to use my, if you want to use my videos for whatever shit, then use it for whatever you want. I don't really care. I was pretty okay. Wasn't exactly as good as it could have been, but it was okay. Yeah. W wasn't as good as it could have been, but... He make a fuck ton off of his thing, but that's... I understand that, but... 
he already has made a fuck ton of money off of his music, right? Now it's just a uh, idea is it, is it just greedy at this point? Like Hello? Oh my god. What the hell? That happens on MCC where it like instant teleports the hunters down. <laughs> I get it, people like money, but that's- my point is, like, does he have rights to it, and that's- that's the conversation. Does he- should he actually- Long story short, it's- I don't know, right? But the thing is, is, like, he was commissioned by 343 to do a job. And do, does he have rights to it, and I- I can't tell you. I don't know. Wh whether he should or he shouldn't, I could just give you, like, how I personally feel. It's like, I don't care enough, but- 343 and Bungie are the owners of said music. So they they control who gets distributed and not. And if they don't want the original composer to do it, right? It's like being, I built this building. I was the foreman who built this building. I own the building now, right? That's kind of the concept that they're going with or at least using. Does it make any sense? God, no. But, you know. Welcome to copyright law. Uh, I need... I have a lot of... A lot of sniper ammo. I barely use any. Alright, last wave. We got no... We got basically no elites this whole time. Which isn't necessarily bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is it without the background, I don't know what the contract was and stuff like that, but you know, all the metals are in the part is very satisfying. Yes, it is. I've not been to sleep. I'm hoping to make it at least a Halo Three before you shut down, Bailey. That's a long time, baby. That's another three. That's another at least three hours, man. If you're making it to Halo 3, I guess. Ow. Okay. Elite spawns random? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's... You get one of three rooms. You get a Sword Elite... You get a gold sword elite and two grunts, or I guess it's technically four. Uh, you get a sword elite with two jackals, a sword elite with two grunts, four grunts, or two grunts and two jackals. Those are the possible spawns that you can get, and it's random which ones you get. So. Saw my name in the credits of Halo Infinite. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it was uh, it was really cool. Oh, that's what someone asked me. I I don't know if you're still here. Who who asked me? Someone asked me a question of like, how do I get part of the Forerunner program? If you're here, I I'll answer that. Shit. I gotta wait on my. I throw the frag grenade too early. Napped all day. Good. Hell yeah. Bro, the snow in Washington has been nutty. Damn it. I did it again. I keep throwing the nade. I throw... I gotta bounce the nade off or something. Because I, I throw the nade way too early. The frag grenade. So. Won't even make it to two. Pretty tire cannon. You'll make it, baby. You can do it. Gosh, shit. 
now the nade was too low. Yeah, we've had we've had snow all this week, and it's been great. I've been sliding around in my Prius. It's been a lot of fun. And I mean that, like, legit. I'm actually okay driving in the snow, so. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I I drive okay in the snow, and I mean, even, even in a Prius, I'm like, ah, this is no problem. Okay, well, that's awesome. I forgot, don't crouch, so. But we we get like we get one or two weeks, we might get two because this is pretty early. We always get like one randomly in like February, where we just get a giant Seattle just like freezes over. Jesus Christ, that was so bad. So uh, we're getting snow, ah, dude. See, these are the kind of tricks that like this is why I know I'm a bad speedrunner. Is like these are the kind of tricks that I've done hundreds of times, and I still. I still can't do it first try, you know? Like, these aren't tricks that I should be messing up at this point. These these should all be second nature to me. So, it's okay. I don't mind it too bad. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but... But yeah, I can't remember who asked, who, who asked about that, the, the whole Forerunner program, because uh, you can't. Sorry. Um, you can. Uh, my... My solution is become a content creator and be very involved in Halo for like eight years. You know what? I'm gonna actually just. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna grab the ammo and the health. I just want the nades and everything. I sometimes don't get these recently, but hey, Kaikas, how you doing? Yeah, dude, I love the little beep boop beeps on this mission. You hear it in the background. Space music! Saw my stream, guys. Yeah, just got up. Well, you got plenty of stream to watch. That's been cleaner than I in a long time. It's clean as I've had this area. I struggled in this area recently. I don't know why. More ammo. More grenades. I love that I just got killed by my teammates. Oh, buddy. You're cool. No. Like it when he's here. Double collats. Okay. Ooh, I saw that explosion happen. Come on, guys. Come on. Yo, let's go. Jesus Christ. Alright. I'm just gonna keep going. Do you have your favorite skull from the entire franchise? 
It's Grum Birthday Party, of course. Damn, uh, Grum Birthday Party Skull. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. I like that I tried to collat them, and I messed up the collat, and then I hit the collat on keys, of course. It's Joker luck for you. It's that Joker luck! Well, that's not bad. Not great. Is that 16 minutes? 16 minute TNR? That's not awesome, but, you know. I don't know why, that was, felt like a pretty good run. The Covenant believe that what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island. I'm trying to munch my food. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map. Make it a mess. Burritos be messy. 1455? It might be. It might have been. Still pretty okay. I mean, ideally I want like... I don't even know where I messed up. I mean, I guess I messed up on the launch, but like... The grenade launch wasn't bad. Like, hmm. I didn't sit there for 10 minutes trying to do it. I got it like 5th or 6th try, so it wasn't bad. So I don't know where I lost a lot of time. All right. Still your favorite mission ever? This, yeah, this is great, man. This mission is this. This is the embodiment of Halo. This mission here. And this is why, like, again, this is why I think I love Infinite so much. Is again, it's it's hearing. Hearing, um, oh my god, why have I just blanked? All I have in my head is Marty. Um, Joseph Stan, Stan being like, this is the halo that we envisioned 20 years ago. That's what this was supposed to be. And I mean, he's not lying when he says that. That's not him just being like, oh, that's just some media thing. No, no, no. Like, they talk about it. There is records talking about how, you know, remember when Halo was a Mac? It was supposed to be a Apple exclusive. It was a Mac and remember when a Mac computers were supposed to be gaming PCs. Halo was supposed to be the introduction to really like having Macintosh go into uh, gaming. You, y'all remember that? Well, back then they talk about it. Halo was a third person. Halo was going to be a third person open world shooter. That's what it was. So it was supposed to be open world from the start. So th it, like that's what the idea the, from the beginning was. Okay. was clean all right uh this is the one that like again i could get the six nato but i'm not gonna overly try to get it i'm just gonna go for it Oh shit, I didn't even pick up the overshield. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They blocked the door. Don't have an Interesting. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They blocked the door. What nade is doing that? One, two. Three. 
what Nate is doing it. Very first nade. God damn it, man. Is it the very first nade? Hold on, what the hell is going on? I underestimated the covenant's understanding. Oh no, it's the second nade. I'm not throwing it high enough. I underestimated the covenant's understanding of the low subsystems. Mess that one up. It's fine. We're just gonna go now. Think we'll see different biomes in Infinite? I talked about it. Of course they are. Why would we not get different? But well, I mean, it depends. I don't. I don't know, man. Sure. I can't tell you. I can't speak on behalf of three four three. But yes, my assumption is I don't know. Like they have an entire Halo ring to explore. It seems weird that we're not going to explore the rest of the Halo ring. You know? So, yeah. But what the hell do I know, right? It's good to know I can get a checkpoint right there. Yeah, it'd be a real waste to have an access... Like I said, real waste to have access to an entire Halo ring and we decide to just stay in one area, so... Yeah, I assume we'll get a snow biome. I bet we'll get a desert biome. All that shit. Oh my god. The elite dead? Just the elite's dead. Yeah, those jackals are annoying. But yeah. Since we're trying to get a legit time, I'm not going to focus on just trying to do this 6 and 8. I got to practice. I'm out of practice again. I never really got... I never got decent at it to begin with. And so, you know, me attempting to... After taking quite a long break, because I've been doing Halo Infinite, and just hoping that I'm going to magically get it again is not going to happen, so... Oops. Oh. Could be a four minute mission. Instead, seven minutes. Munching on my food, making a mess. It is already almost ten o'clock, baby. It's gonna be a nice long night.
Come on, man. Are you serious? None of you are going to die? I'm dead. Okay, I don't know how I lived. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't have a lot of health. I'll try and make it work, but this might be a mission restart. I should be okay. We'll find out, though. Oh, first try, baby! Let's go! Oh, this game's easy. That was clean, baby. I was worried about my health. Sometimes the bad she does like to rail into you, so... I gotta get, I gotta get the, uh, man, I gotta, I do, you know, go back to the little conversation about, uh, me watching, like, Halo streamers and stuff like that. I really do need to watch just more YouTubers in general. I used to do that. I actually, like, it used to be a really useful thing where if you watch streamers and stuff like that and good YouTubers, you pick up a lot of their, their good habits. And I need to do more of that instead of watching reruns of, uh, I did, again, I mentioned, I rewatched all of Always Sunny recently. Like, as in the last, like, two weeks. I watched all 15 seasons of Always Sunny. It's eight episodes a season, so it's not crazy. But, uh, maybe it's three. So whatever it is. Point is, I gotta get back. Start building some good habits again, streaming-wise. I don't know, I think I found, I found my groove. I think I found my groove as a streamer, and it's, I think, I think what it is is as a YouTuber, though. As a YouTuber, I want to be... I just watched... Someone sent me a video of it. It was, like, the history of speedrunning. Like, how, how did speedrunning even come to exist? And it was uh, Nakey Jakey is his name. Is, is the YouTuber. I don't know. I've never heard of him. But, like, watching that video, I was like, man, see, I wish I was funny like this. I wish I had. I'm not. But I wish. Because it's good. It's good content, and it's much better for YouTube. That's why, like, I work a lot better as a streamer. I think I'm an interesting streamer, but as a YouTuber, I'm boring as shit. I'm too low in I'm too chill. I'm too laid back. Lucid's video and getting into some other videos? Yeah. I gotta watch more Lucid, man. That man is a monster. That man is nutty. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even go for the Banshee teleport. That's my bad. Well, too late now. You know what? Once again, trying to have an actual decent run. So I don't want to... <laughs> I didn't even... I'm... This is this is the state I am. Now, this is the problem that I personally struggle with as a, as a runner. Is like... I have been doing so many of these runs by pure muscle memory. That whenever I learn something new, I forget what it is. I forget that I learned a new trick. And I'm like, oh shit, right. I was supposed to implement that into the run. But, like, I start meshing. I'm like, wait, do I know all the tricks? Do I know how to do it? Do it? Like, I keep forgetting what's what tricks I've learned and haven't learned and implement. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So, um. Showing the legendary guides on YouTube I do? Well, thank you. That was all live. Again, that's the thing. is like I, I, I do fine guides if they're live because it's live and I have interact. It's a little different, but like, as said, I don't know. Maybe it's just the state of YouTube. It's just I realize, like, the way that I am as a YouTuber, it will it just can't be that successful on YouTube these days. I have to add more. I gotta have more edge. I gotta have more flair, more, more energy more pep more something i just need more oomph you know yeah of course i've seen golden ice speed runs that was really good that was a good aotcr yeah dude lucid is like top tier in infinite you, no one is even close to him right now
Pistola is doing pretty damn good too, though. I look like an idiot. I was talking about Snipe Down. Snipe Down has always been my favorite pro, and it's largely because of how consistent of a player he is. He's one of the he's one of the players that no matter what he's 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 just so consistent. Like he never has a bad game. But this last tournament, it, he was bad the entire tournament. Snipe Down played so poorly at, at uh, in rally. God, I, I was sorry about. I was like, I like Snipe Down because I think he's the most consistent. He never has a bad game, and he always makes good decisions. And then he goes and fucking shits the bed, man. He uh, and I, I get he's got Apex brain. That's the like I noticed it. I know while watching it, I'm like, he's playing Halo Infinite like he plays Halo, he, he, like he plays Apex Legends. He's been playing Apex Legends for the last few years that he's forgotten how to play Halo. But you could tell. He was just overly pushing, overly aggressive, chasing kills and everything. And I'm like, this isn't the snipe down I know. Snipe down never, like, chase kills or anything. What what the hell is happening? Nice. Oh, dude, I love this checkpoint makes this so much easier. Getting getting this uh, safety checkpoint, oh, it's amazing. Now I need to... There we go. See, but it makes... Man, come on. All right, you want me to do this one? Damn it. There we go. How is how new is this trick? Oh, it's pretty old. It's a few few years old at this point. It's not that new. Yes, yeah, Sipe Down was on phase, yeah. But it's, uh, it's a few years old. I'm trying to think. I think it's older than the Banshee. Doing the Banshee trick there that I did on the last mission where we get we just convinced the, the elite to jump out of the Banshee, I think is newer than that trick. So, than that skip. I might be wrong, but I believe so. How much has... How... how choppy has the the stream been by the way i've been noticed every time i look i almost feel like it's been choppy a little bit here and there uh i just i need a new pc man that's the thing oh my god why am i why am i struggling on this i hate this jump i hate this jump i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it jump crouch thank you All right, I don't have a plasma pistol, which is kind of a shame, but it's okay. Nothing noticeable for you? Okay, good to know. Okay, as long as there, if there's a few here, there, I can live with that. It's just like if it was chunking a whole bunch, I'm like, ugh. That guy's got a plasma pistol. I could have picked that one up. Oh, 
Oh no. Not great. Am I building my own PC? That's the plan. I've already got I got it all already spec'd out. It's it's building it's pre-built. I'm buying a pre-built. I am buying pre-built, but it's a pre-built custom. It's pre-built custom. <laughs> custom pre-built. I guess that makes more sense. Um yeah. All right. Damn it, man. Seriously? Son of a bitch. Because, I mean, the problem is, is you just can't get the graphics cards. You know, graphics cards are just impossible to get right now, so. Come on, man. It's our hardest trick for you to pull off in any of the Halo games. Uh, there's a few tricks I just don't do because I just don't know how to do them. You know, so I guess those. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, one more one more attempt and then we're just gonna go the normal way, I guess. Why is this mm! It's very frustrating. Alright, I'm over it. Said, I'm not gonna stick my life. I already wasted two minutes doing that shit, so fuck it. I don't care. Uh, I don't know. What's the hard two betrayals? It's the two betrayals trick, devils. I think I think it's that one probably. I mean, it's it's just the hardest one because if you mess it up, you're effed, right? So you have one chance to get it, and it's is a lot of precision, a lot of like knowing and just memorization involved in it that you need to know. So it's probably that one. But I'm not, you know, I'm not great at a lot of stuff. I'm not great at sword flying. I'm not great at prison skip. I, you know, I don't do the coastal highway skip. I, you know, there's, there's a lot of tricks I just don't do or things like that. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, done. <sighs> well, could have been worse, I guess. Ugh. Not super clean. 
like, overall the road's not super clean, but hey, this is the very first, uh, very first one ever done of Reach Through Infinite, so, uh, you know what, it's okay. We, we need, you know, we need room to improve, and this is just a nice baseline. It's a baseline to put a number down on a piece of paper. That's what it's for. That's what this, the idea for this run is, and that's it. Giorgio, I haven't used them, but yes, I got I got three sets of the uh, the Halo Anniversary cards. Um, we play a game that uses two sets of cards, so that's why it's like I bought. I knew I wanted two, and I bought an extra. I don't remember why, but yeah, I bought I bought the Halo 20th Anniversary. They're they're good. I mean, they're they're good playing cards. They they look nice. Um. Oh shit! What am I? Okay, hold on. Damn it. Shit. I guess I, I could have just... Fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Alright. We're gonna give it a go. If I don't get it, then... We'll just skip it. And just do the normal door. Where am I? Does anyone know? Anyone actually speedrun Halo CE? Where am I supposed to shoot the guy to knock his arm off? I assume I have to shoot him in the arm, but that didn't work, so. I think I'm going to still get sub-15. Dude, I didn't think I was going to get sub-15 to begin with, so. And it's it's way too early to tell, man. We're three hours in. We're, we ain't even a quarter of the way through this run yet. Facilities are most impressive. Perhaps we have time to see them later. Nice. Good deal. Round. And here we go. But yeah, I don't. I got no idea. It's too early to tell if we get sub 15. I hope, but as I said, I, I, I honestly did. I was gonna get before. I think what was the last. The last run I did it was like 15 hours, 15 and a half hours. So, and that was without Halo Infinite. So, I'm hoping for a sub one hour on Halo Infinite. That's all. We'll see. Super ideal. A 12 hour Halo CE through 5 run? 
Well, yeah, but this one is including Halo Reach and Halo ODST. That's another, that's another four hours on top of that, right? I don't think I've ever done a, a, a Halo CE, Halo 5 run that's under 12 hours, though, either. I haven't done one in a long time. Yes, it is Flight of Skull. That it be. That it do be. I want to get sub 12 hours for that run, but... Again, I actually think I, I'm considering trying to go, like, trying to submit some for a Guinness World Record, one of the gaming gaming world records. Um, again, I don't really give a like I've talked about. I don't really care about so much about being the record. It's more just as a goal to have something to, to you know, attempt try for. But I want to try and do all of the games in under 15 hours if I can, like. Honestly, 14 maybe. I don't know. Watching like Sorks and stuff, I do an actual run and it, them just like, again, beat. Sorks did Legendary. He did Halo 1, 2, and 3 in four hours or something like that. Like, man, I don't, I ain't nowhere close to that. He's like two hours ahead of what my time would be. So, that's crazy. I didn't pick up extra grenades. That sucks. What was the spark for me? Uh, boredom. Honest to God, boredom was the spark for me to get into speedrunning. I uh, was at a point where there wasn't any new games. I wasn't really playing much gaming in general. Um, I didn't really have anything else to do. And I was watching my buddy who, from the Griffball community. Okay, cool. Thank you. I was watching my buddy. Oh, um, speedrun the Sly Cooper series. And I was like, oh, you know what? I could do this. This seems like fun. And so I did it. And I was just going to do YouTube stuff. But then Twitch really kind of became a thing. This was literally like right around the time that they switched their name from Twitch to Justin TV. Twitch kind of became a thing. And I was like, oh, this is a much easier way to upload videos because... Back in the day, you know, we had garbage fucking capture cards and exporting and everything took freaking forever. Yeah. Exporting and shit took forever. And so I was like, oh, I could just stream from Twitch and directly upload. And that would be way quicker than me doing anything else, so. Directly upload from Twitch to YouTube. So it was out of laziness. Ow, fucking shit, really? Fuck off. Uh, why I started streaming. <laughs> That's it, I guess. Like, yeah, it was boredom. I had nothing else to do. I wasn't playing any games. I wasn't enjoying any games. I didn't have any new... I'm sure I had new games, but nothing was really holding my attention. And so I decided to try this out. And it held my attention for like two years. And I still do it, so... Don't have a lot of grenades again. That's fine. I should get some here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. Oh, yeah, I guess I initially wanted to speedrun Spyro, Ripta's Rage. I actually practiced. I actually had a run where I did a 100% run of Spyro's Ripta Rage. Yeah, that was whatever I just said. Spyro, Ripto's Rage. I did a, I did a, I actually did just on my own time. I did a speedrun of it. Um, uh, and it was 100%. And it was, uh, four and a half hours is what I think I did it in. The speed run at the time was like an hour and a half, so, you know, slow compared, but it was my first time I'd ever done it. Um, 
But then I realize I don't have a capture card that can do... Yeah, I don't have a capture card that does, uh... Um, I might be screwed here. I might have moved up too much, so I might be, I might be screwed here. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Anyways, though. Yeah. Is I initially wanted to do Spyro... And then I realized I couldn't really do, I couldn't capture any footage. And I was like, okay, Sonic Adventure 2 is what I'll do. And I also didn't really, like, I couldn't capture that either because I didn't realize it was on Xbox. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to spawn the enemies. I forgot about, once again, I forgot another skip. Um, and so then I finally, then I was like, I could do Wind Waker, but that shit was way too complicated for me to, to want to do. Oh, yeah, and also the speed run of what I wanted to do for Sonic Adventure 2 was, like, eight hours, and that was way too long for me. I was like, who would do an eight-hour speed run? That's ridiculous. That's insane. For 100%. And I was like, that this shit, like, there's too much There's too much for me to learn with Sonic Adventure 2. I don't want to do it. And then, uh, you know, now I do 15-hour speed runs. So, you know. Look at me, Mom. Did I not kill that dude in three shotgun blasts? That's cool. Let's see. I'm guessing the shotgun guy? Oh, shit. I did not realize I was close enough. He didn't die anyways. Okay, so... Turns out it's the one plasma pistol guy. Jesus Christ. Good luck. Good RNG right now, mate, baby. I should do it. Yeah, there we go. Just woke up after another three-hour nap. Dang, Grey Wolf, am I boring you that much? Blue walls messes with your lights. Can't even have orange, lol. Oh, my, my bad. I just hit the microphone. <laughs> Starving yourself for sleep? What? What? Wait, how are you starving yourself for sleep when you just took a nap for three hours? What? what man, what? Man, uh, man, uh, man, what the hell you be saying? What you be saying? That stuff's whack. Mm. Less than five hours each night? Oh, yeah, that's fun. I know that feeling. Ugh. I just, like, as I said, I don't mind having... I wish. I wish I was someone who could run off less hours of sleep. I really do. Sleeping is such a waste of time. <laughs> 
but I like as I said I really like I've been having trouble staying asleep which is sucky because then I have issues staying awake as well so it's a lose-lose I lose everywhere everywhere I lose True, sleeping do be a waste of time. Oh yeah, I mean, I can I can run off, you know, if I need to, I can run off like two hours of sleep for a day, or I can run off five hours for a day, but as I said, like, I do fine, but then it catches up to me overall, but I do have trouble staying awake, is the problem. Falling asleep in cars and things like that. Don't like Halo Panda? Yeah, neither do I. I'm with you. I feel, I feel you. Halo is Garbo. Point. Hey oh, now we got the scary mission. This is where the run dies. It either lives or dies. We have to make the decision right now. Do we go for the skip or do we just say no skip today? Because if that's the decision. We either do the skip or we don't do the skip. <sighs> and then we... Not doing the skip will give us... It's been a while since I actually played this mission normally, so... It might be rough, but... Do the skip. Done. Alright. Well, if I mess up once, I'll lose, what, 20 minutes of time? So... How's the infinite speedrun coming, Vanilla? It's good. I mean, it's been... It's, uh... It's already, again, the, they've already beat on easy. It's already down to 32 minutes. So, hey, Anno. Hey, Anno. Here we go, baby. Not a great start. Took you nine hours in Heroic? Yeah, it took me, I think, what? What did it take? I mean, I had played it, you know, I played it, I got the preview, and so I think it took me about that long. I think it took me ten hours on Legendary, first time. That's a lie. It took me eight hours. But I also was trying to speed through because I was trying to do it so I could do that review. Which, again, really, I shouldn't have done the review because no one wanted to... No one even gave it... I got a lot of compliments, by the way. I actually got a lot of people who were like, yo, that was a really good review. Like, a lot of people are like, it made me actually want to play the game. Like, they were like, I wasn't planning on buying the game. And then they were like, oh, yeah, now I really want to. And I was like, oh, that's, that's good. I mean, that's the purpose of why you would do a review. Um, that being said, nobody fucking watched it, and I should have just done the guides instead. I could have, I could have spent the time making actual legendary guides instead. Where's that guy? Oops. Thank you. Okay. And that's what really, I guess I could have done both. Ah, the problem was, is I was playing damn Halo multiplayer. Took you two minutes on Lasso? Yeah. Yeah, I know there is that, that glitch that you can do. Alright. Going for it. So what is it? I just shoved two rockets at it, right? That's it, I think. I just go... One. Two. Yeah. 
a glitch you can do where you can unlock all the achievements, all the campaign achievements. I don't exactly know how it works, but I just know that it's a thing. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the monitor or his sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. Oh god, wait, hold on, what's the, uh, how do I Banshee Bomb? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to, I don't really how to Banshee Bomb on a, <laughs> on mouse and keyboard. <laughs> oh my god. Cool game. Thank you for that. It's the second time I've done that this run. I did it on Halo Reach as well. Oh, no, I blew it up. That's ah, shit. Okay, so don't do... I think it's... I don't... I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. One. One. Two. Three. There we go. Tank gun on lasso, so much fun. That's yeah, alright. I don't know, as I said, I find I find tank gun kind of boring. That's why, like, again, I'm doing it right now out of just ease because it's really about practice, but it's convenient. Is It's a convenience thing more so, but I definitely am going to be doing speed runs that don't use the gun, so just because that's what I want to do for it. There we go. Pro is Joker Esports jersey? Well, I mean, I am Esports, so... Uh, sadly, I'm not going to get the extra checkpoint, so. Didn't I use invincibility in my guide? What, lasso guide? I haven't made the lasso guide yet. But if you're talking legendary, I, sh I did to show it off more so than anything on the legendary guide. Yeah, I did it. Okay. I oh, I didn't pick up the goddamn health pack, did I? Unfucking believable How did I... Whatever. Um... I did to show it off, and then I just talked about how you can go to different areas and use it. You know, just like, this is the time. I'm going to use it for Lasso for all the Spartan cores. You just get all the Spartan cores during the uh, excavation mission. You just do every Spartan core, and then that's it. Yeah, that's just what you do. So. Okay, cool. Cool. Again, I've only done this a few hundred times by this point, and I still don't know how to do it. Awesome. I love this. Love this. So good, man. What the fuck, man? Can you please? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I'm gonna break my mouse already. Brand new mouse, and I'm already gonna smash it. Jesus fucking Christ. Please, man. Just flip and up. Oh my god. This is the easiest part. This is the easiest part of this entire trick, man. Oh my god.
very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Dude, I don't, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What the fuck am I doing wrong? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh my god, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. Well, guess we shouldn't have done this. There's no rant time. I'm not. There's nothing to rant about. I'm just fucking bad at video games. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't. I don't fucking. I don't, I don't even fucking know, man. I don't know why. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up with this. I don't. I don't. Wh what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Uh, it's just frustrating. Jesus Christ. See, that's it. That's all I needed it to do. Okay. Round and around. And down. God fucking damn it, man. Well, you know, I was hoping to have a good run today, but, you know, I, I was hoping to set a good baseline for what a full series speedrun was going to look like. I was really hoping for it, but, uh, instead we get this. Have you ever played? I'm not a big fan of the Mass Effect games. They're fine, but nah, just like... You would think they, like... I, I said this was the mission that I was most worried about in this entire run, was just for this one fucking trick, and here we are. So. But yeah, I you would think, like, for me, Mass Effect seems like a game that I would be really into, but I just don't like the Mass Effect games. I think it's because I don't like the, the whole story. I don't like the make-your-own-decision games, to be honest. Like I said, for me, I like being told a story. I don't like making my own story. That's what the fucking writers are for. I'm not playing video games because I want to create my own story. I want to experience a story being told. Same thing with, like, reading books and stuff. Don't get me wrong, on the occasion, the whole, like, make your own story books are fun and whatnot, but they, they were fun for me when I was, like, 12. And, you know, I just, like, seeing other people's creativity and stuff like that so i don't know i just i don't i don't like uh i'm just yeah i'm just not a fan of of make your own store games like uh like mass effect or anything that has multiple endings i hate it i hate any game with multiple endings multiple endings is stupid as fuck you're trash you're trash yeah i'm aware I just, I don't even know why I can't even get out of the, the, I, I don't know why I can't even get out of the map. This is the easiest part. It's the easiest part of the entire trick. We're not even on the hard shit. It's just, it's just getting out of the map. I don't even know. Do I have to go lower? Maybe I have to aim lower. No. I don't, like, I don't know why, why this is doing what it's doing. I, I, like, I don't know why it's struggling so much. What the fuck, man? Please, just trash. turn and up. You're trash. I'm gonna make You're sure. Trash. 
All right, I'm giving it like 10 more tries and I'm out. Trash. I'm just going to play the normal way because this is ridiculous. You're trash. I can't even I can't even get the fucking trick started. So, it's fine. You trash. We wasted 10 minutes and there, you know, this You're is why trash. like this is why I wasn't careful with this run. It's just You're I trash. I was worried about this mission to begin with, and that's what I said. This is the one I was most worried for, and sure enough, my luck is always gonna just fuck me when you it trash. can. So trash. I can't even get out of the map. Can't even get out of the map. I'm okay. You guys can keep spamming you're it. Trash. Use up all your points. I know you got plenty. You trash. trash. I can't even get out. I'm even getting the direction now, but I just can't even get out. I'm okay. No, nope. yeah, we're done. We tried. You trash. I I haven't played this mission normally in so long either, so I don't even know how this is gonna go horrible too. But yeah, it's not helping that I I don't I didn't pick up my damn shields. I didn't pick up any health, so now I have to get through the next like six sections without any health, which is awesome. So, you not trash. only did that not work, you but trash. also it's just not going to do it, so. You trash. So, now I got to get through the next four sections without having any health, which is awesome. So, but yeah. I, I don't even know. I can't I can't even get out of the map. And as I said, I'm not I, I really want to avoid not wasting all my time because I actually want to have a decent run. So I don't want to spend two hours working that trick when I can't even get the trick started, right? Like it was gonna be a thing if I messed up, that was it. I would have to go back to the beginning. But uh How long does my grenade take to explode? So, I uh, I can't even get the trick started. So I can't I can't do it. Like, it's once it was one of those things that I had to decide early whether I was even going to attempt the trick or not. But if I can't even get the trick started, doesn't matter. I can I can quickly. We can uh, reassess. As I said, I haven't done this the normal way to do this. I haven't done this in. A year, probably, at least. I haven't done the normal, I guess, the, the quote-unquote normal way to play it. Jackals won't die, and I have no health because I didn't pick up the med kit. So, whoops. So, this is awesome. This is... It's all bad. Uh, it looks like two betrayals is going to be the mission of the day. Uh, there's always one mission. There is always one mission that, for whatever reason, in any of these runs I've ever done, there's always one mission that just decides to shit in my mouth, and a mission that takes all of five minutes to complete for some reason takes 30 minutes, and that it looks like Two Betrayals, which is already a 20-minute mission, is going to end up taking seven years, so... Jesus fucking Christ, man. These goddamn jackals. Nah, Halo Reach was already the game. Got brutalized by the checkpoints, so. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Yeah, Kai, because we already played through Halo Reach. That's why the timer's at three hours. Took us two hours to do Halo Reach. There we go, that's better.
All right. Well, now we'll get some health. Forgot there is a health pack. At least we get to enjoy this music for a little longer. Normally, we just bypass the music. Covenant dance, baby. I gotta shake it off. Shake it off. I've been in a. I've been in a. I, I don't know, man. I'm not in. I'll be honest. I already knew going into this. I was like, I don't know. If this is the right to do, day to do it. I didn't know when else to do another one of these runs, though. But I've been in a weird Trash. zone, you know, weird zone all day. L last week or so. Maybe I'm just beat from work. Who knows? Who knows? Don't care for the color blue aliens? Yeah, who does? That's okay. Don't give a shit about the color blue. What do I care? Out of things I care about, that ain't high on my list. But hey, yeah, it's thanks for the resub. all these guys come from <clears throat> just realize I probably used too much ammo but that's okay save a bullet there shit. Oh my god. Oh, this ain't gonna work, man. Well, this is gonna be a shit show as well. We might have to, man. Yep, so far, so not good. Yep, that's how this is gonna go the whole time, so. All right. Unbelievable. I never get tagged. I never get tagged by the fucking spuds. And of course, the one time that I actually need to not get tagged by them, I get tagged by them. Eh, what's new? Two betrayals as being a real right bastard. Rat bastard. Right bastard, too. But. Ah! Cool. That went well. Wonder how the flood will be balanced. If there will is trash. flood, we don't actually know if we're even going to get flood. We're just assuming there will be.
Well, you know, I'm trying, but, you know. Cool. That was all bad grenades, so I'm dead. There it is. Ah. <sighs> Maybe I should use frag grenades. I don't know why I'm using. See, it's just that easy. can get away with how the flood look i think uh, i think they can get away with doing even a i mean it, it, with keeping the look pretty similar because like again ratings over time have changed right so i don't know though. who knows i'm not uh i'm not a ra i'm not a i'm not a esrb rating raider you know Seems like a waste of the lore, otherwise bringing back in Halo Wars 2 and then never touch him again. Yeah, no, there's more than likely going to be Flood in Halo Infinite. Well, they just don't dismember him. I think you could pop him, right? But, but you could just do it where you shoot the arm and then the arm goes limp and it doesn't dismember it. I don't know. I'm just trying to say they can make it happen. That's my point. Can you re-rate a game? Okay, let's take care of the next is that a thing? I'm sure. I'm, I guess I'm sure it is. I guess if they decide later on that a game is worse, they can jack up the rating. Would they ever like lower the rating of a game? But yeah, it's got to be right. Are you allowed to re-rate? I don't even know. Can't DLC have different ratings? I don't think so. I think it has to be like a completely different game by all functionality in order for that to be allowed. I don't know though. Once again, I'm not a fucking... I got no rocket ammo on the bridge either, huh? Wow, this is... Oof, this... Literally everything that can go wrong in this tube betrayals has been going wrong so far. So, but like I said, it usually, it gave me a little while. I'll, I'll warm up. As I said, I think I'm already, I'm already getting to the point. Yeah, I'm already 25 minutes into this mission. So, you know, this is a, this is a sub 20 minute mission is usually what I go for. So I'm already effed beyond uh, repair. So, you know, we're good. Um, so much for having a decent run, but you know, whatever. But there is, there, there comes a point where I throw in the towel. The, the thing is, is, like, there comes a point where I throw in the towel of actually trying. And then I just let the run be whatever the run will be. And then we always have way more fun. And that's why I just gotta get there. I just gotta get there. And luckily, Halo Reach punished me enough with garbage checkpoints. And now with two betrayals that we're already heading that direction pretty quickly here. So, shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, wow, that killed. And I got none, okay. Okay, hold on, you know what? Give me that. I need, I need more ammo. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I need ammo. That did it. The pulse generator And I'm falling. Couldn't carry. Don't see why DLC couldn't carry different rating because it's still using the base game, right? Like, 
I understand if it was a completely different game, but it would... It's still using what the base rating is. I don't... Like... I, you're right, I guess. I guess I could see it where they could just... I guess... I guess they could, but I, I just don't... I don't know. I don't know. Because then it starts doing, uh... Different things. It's like, what if you get one DLC, but not the other DLC, and that DLC was rated T, but that one's rated M, and then that one, like... It becomes too much to manage, right? Like, I understand if it's, like, one DLC, sure, I guess. But, like, once you start adding in a bunch of different DLC, you then create an issue of, like, what happens if you buy one and not the other, but you had this one, and then this one also is T, but then this one's not... Like, just sounds like a lot to manage. So, I just assume they wouldn't. Can carry as long as they are optional downloads. Okay, well, there you go. Hey, now we know. More you know. Like I said, I'm not an ESRB raider, but yeah. Come on, man. Ah, oh, more garbage. More terrible fucking shit I gotta deal with here. Ugh. I'm not going to hit a single trick. This I don't even know. I, I'll be honest. I don't know why I'm going for this trick. I already know I haven't been able to do a single fucking trick this entire Two Betrayals run. I don't know why I'm thinking that I should also try to do this one too. I don't, I don't know what... Come on, man. Just get the wing over. Can you just get the wing? You're trash. I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Oh, come on! Three more tries. And then we're out again. To be honest, though, all things considered, the fact that I'm at 29 minutes, <laughs> I've had regular runs where I don't do tricks or anything. Or, you know, I do some of the skips, but, like, I do, you know, I do actual speed runs and regular, and I've had worse missions than what this is going to end up being. So, all things considered, this ain't, this ain't the worst. <sighs> this is again one of those tricks that I'm just like I don't understand how people do it I don't understand it and there's clearly something that I'm just I just don't know how to do and cause like it doesn't it's like get the banshee into the crevice that's it and then have it skate towards the door and then you're good that's it that's the entirety of it but no for me no I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. Just one of those things. Doesn't matter how many times I've successfully done it. Doesn't seem to make a difference. to actually live is the the second part i got the spawn um, oh that's decent amount of health that's okay i can work with that 
Oh, there's there's still a, a good chance I'm going to die, because we don't get a checkpoint at all for this. I wonder if I can force a checkpoint. Is there a way to force a checkpoint? I like, let's say... Oh, hey, checkpoint. Yeah, fuck me, never mind. <laughs> I guess we're going to get a checkpoint. Hey, at least we got one good luck in this. this and then we come around and we go through yeah dude first try oh dude i gotta rewatch the lego movie that's another movie i gotta rewatch as well i uh that was a good movie another checkpoint Oh, okay. Well, you know, as I said, actually not the worst two betrayals I've ever had, which is sad, all things considering, but man, rough. Rough mission. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh, it could have been a lot better. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's all right. As I said, it's, uh, it's slowly putting me into that chill, fun phase where we more enjoy the run than we do MLG try hard the run which I still do I plan on submitting this no matter what time I get I think I'm gonna submit it unless it's like a 20 hour run Ugh. but man mm. Mm. Well, I was hoping for the checkpoint, but that's okay. Finally learned flood bump for keys. It's really easy. Nope. So am I going for Halo 4 world record, pig? Eh, eventually. At some point, maybe. If I ever care again. Could have been out of bounds first try if we actually got a reviver like that. Hey, here we go. Now we'll see. One, two, three, four. Oops. And we're good. How do you know it's a reviver? You just overcharge him once. A reviver will die to one fully charged, uh, a reviver will die, will, will die the first time to one fully charged plasma pistol. Mm, okay. Any shotgun? No shotgun. Okay. But yeah, one fully charged plasma pistol will kill will kill the reviver. Uh, or two shots with the magnum. Five shots kill a regular flood, two shots will kill a reviver. That's how we use it in library and how we do it on this one. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. Grunt using FFZ? Nah. By the way, how you doing, Grunt? I don't get to see you too often. It's always good seeing you. Oh, nice. Checkpoint. Ooh, yeah. I knew that was happening. Luckily, we got a checkpoint, but... I saw I saw a chain reaction. If you see what I see, there's like a chain reaction of grenades right there. And I'm like, oh no. All right, no shoddy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, 
We don't need it. 360. God, I'm so good at video games. Woo! I love the sound of the banshee. <laughs> I like the anniversary graphics. But as I said, I'm a positive person. How do people find these glitches? Uh, lots of trial of er try and error and a lot of, uh, what's the right word? We need to get to the bridge. Just a lot of, a lot of, uh, copying, right? Like it, it's a lot of the tricks, a lot of the tricks, uh, pig, uh, you, uh, you know, I thought I didn't like you, which, you know, it's, sometimes I don't, but then I realized, how could I not, is Pig, you know? Oh, God, Jesus Christ, Sentinels. Like, uh, I'd seen a man like you before. In fact, I'd seen a million men like you, Pig. You were, I was like, this is just another dude. He's just like everybody else. Literally not a single thing about him is standout or special. But then, you know, as time went on, I realized that... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Not only are you the specialist, but... Where the hell did that shotgun go? Hello? Oh, no, not shotgun. I saw a rifle. There it is. Not only did I realize that you were a magical person, but... You were a good person. And that's what matters. Mass, you're the only one that uses the emotes? Yeah, pretty much. That's why I, you know, it's like, it's one of those reasons, it's like, it's the same idea with, like, Big. I don't ever go out of my way to do some stuff for the stream because, oh, shit. Ah, fuck it, we're just gonna go for it anyways. Oh, shit, I gotta actually. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, fuck it, I'm gonna just go. I guess technically I could do it now. Nah, I'm good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did I really have to step on the grenade right then? That's a real shame and a half. Don't do it. 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 Ugh. Um. But yeah, pig, point is what I was saying. Uh, you're great. You know, I love you. All right. Um. None of these guys are dying. To bullets. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, all of the tricks are, most of the tricks are found, a lot of them are found purposely, but it's just trying things out. Yes, there's a lot of tricks that are found by complete accident. It's like just people stumble upon certain things. You know, I mean, a good example, I mean, a good example is the, uh, the ground pound one, right, in Halo Infinite. It was just like, people found that because people were accidentally phasing through the floor by running into walls with the ground pound, you know? So that was an accidental thing. The, evac the excavation laser being invincibility... That was probably an accidental thing that someone just noticed that they like try they wanted to go into the laser and see how quickly they could die or something they wanted to reset and then they ended up not dying and it was like what the hell you know those kind of things are accidental but a lot of this stuff like the banshees like doing all the crazy banshee teleporting stuff and it's it's a lot of trial and error and it's a lot of people just trying different things out um Jesus Christ Fucking hell. Alright. 
Um, I'm trying to think. I'm 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 forgetting the word. What's the? It's it's not copying, but conceptualizing. Eh, it's not the right word either. But it's basically we just take ideas from other speedruns, right? Sequence breaking and stuff like that is not new. Um, wrong warping. I mean, a lot of the a lot of the the Halo Two, all the crazy offing and stuff like that. A lot of that initially was a concept that came from Legend of Zelda from Ocarina of Time speedruns. Is is that's what you you know? It's very similar in how they do wrong warping. Um, well, actually, it's probably not from Legend of Zelda. It's probably more from Pokemon. It's probably from doing the the Pokemon. Um, Yellow runs where you beat it in like 10 seconds or something like that all the, like in in like three minutes or something Pokemon yellow where they basically do item overloading to access different parts of the game to access the credits they do the exact same thing in Halo right now in Halo 2 and that wasn't something that was stumbled upon that was something that was the idea was thought of because of something like Pokemon we know that these are how games are created. We know that this is how games are built. We just have to find ways to manipulate them and actually affect those parts of the game. Flood bumping was a... Flood bumping was a iteration. That's probably the right word. Iteration of shield bumping. Shield bumping might have been an accidental thing. Someone stood on a shield. You know, maybe it was for fun. They're like, I want to stand on this shield and see what happens. Like, will it kill me if it... If it, uh, if it, if, if I stand on it and then it regenerates, and the answer is like, no, oh shit, it just pushed me through the ground. Interesting, right? Might have been on accident, but it was probably like someone was just messing around and ended up finding that. One, two. Um. But yeah, flood bumping was really an iteration off shield bumping. So it was something that it was like, well, we know how shield bumping works. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Maybe you could do the same thing with the Flood. Animation clipping? The Halo 4 ghost clipping through the wall was something that was also based on how clipping works in Halo CE. Stuff like that. Is We just take ideas from other games, other franchises, and other, other Halo games and just try to implement it into the new game. Or the whatever, these other games. And see if it works. Try and make things that happen. So... Am I credited with any strats I found? I mean, there's a few things. I don't know. I who, I don't know who's credited for what these days anymore. Um, there's just so many things and there's so much iterations. But I mean, uh, you know, mostly, you know, the only things I'm really credited with is like the very first initial speed run was something that was a, again, and I can't even fully be credited. That was really a combination of three different other speed runs. Well, three different playthroughs. It was a lasso guide, legendary guide, and easy guide. It was three of those combined into one. Is I just made the most optimal route because of that, right? But then stuff like... I didn't find any major tricks. But I, like the suicide banshees was something that I accidentally discovered. And I didn't even... I'm not necessarily credited with it because I didn't even realize it happened. Someone else noticed it and they're like, bro, the Banshees just all killed themselves. What the hell just happened? And it was like, oh shit. And, you know, we went in and found it, right? But muscle running was a concept that I thought of at the beginning. So I, that would probably be the biggest is muscle running in Halo 5. Uh, sorry, Halo 4. That's, that's about it. I think that's the only one I can get some credit for. Everything else is just, it's, it's weird. It's gray area with everyone, so... I'm not a trick finder. I'm a I'm a router. So Favorite trick is drop skip for some reason. Thomas, nothing wrong with that. I get that.
flying under the flood? I fucking hate. I don't want to do, man. I don't want to. I hate that. I hate the whole flood, flood melee shit on Halo 2. Halo 2's gone off the rails as a speed game. In a good way. But, gone off the rails, man. That run is insane. All the ops and everything that they do now. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Devs are probably making it way harder to find tricks and shortcut. Vanilla, not really. They don't really care, right? Like, when they're making a game, yes, they want to make as few glitches and stuff like that, but they're not... Their goal isn't, let's try to make as few glitches so people can't speedrun the game. They don't give a shit. That's not what they think about. They do, I mean, they do, I mean, somewhere down the line, they do think about speedrunning. It's why they put in achievements and stuff. It's like, they want to make sure it's still a thing. They want to make sure that people can still do it. They don't want to make the game so speedrun... You, you know, my point is, is but no, they don't design any areas and be like, okay, let's make sure we patch this out so speedrunners can't do use it, right? That's never, never is ever thought about, ever. Their goal is let's make a game and make sure it works functionally and well. That's what their goal is. Everything beyond that is all secondary. So, and I mean, as much as devs try, games are so much more complicated these days. The way that we do animation and the way that we build games now is so much more complex that it's impossible. It's why games are now more broken than ever. It's why Halo Infinite is a 32-minute speedrun. Now, that's a byproduct of open world. And yeah, I mean, again, if they... And that's, that's a good example. If you want to know... All right, and we are done with Halo CE. Done. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta... There we go. That was good. That was fun. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to... Halo Infinite is a great example. If they were actually trying to prevent speedrunning, they wouldn't have allowed the road to have... Uh, whoops. They would not have allowed the road to be accessible from the beginning of the game, right? Like, all you had to do was break through a kill barrier. They could have... Basically, they could have coded the game in a... Like a checklist, right? It's the same way that, uh, like I've talked about, is... Uh, the Zelda Wind Waker. Wind Waker has a hard point where you have to get certain items because you need to get every single piece of the Triforce until they found a way through the wall, which, again, sequence broke the game as well. But pretty much the easiest way to stop speedrunners is being like, this part of the game doesn't load and can't be hit until you do these other parts of the game. If they program it like that, then yeah, they can prevent speedrunning, but they didn't because that's not how they think about these games. That's not how they think about when they're when they're creating these games, you know? So, all right. Halo 2 Anniversary missions take forever to load. So, this will be fun. Anyways, though. Don't understand how people remember every strat for every game? We don't. We have a wiki Wikipedia page that keeps track of all of it for, of a, for us. Hey, 343 patched out the crouch boost thing? Right, but that was not a thing in campaign. They did that because of multiplayer. Any glitches that are patched out of Halo are patched out because of multiplayer, not campaign. Yeah, that's what I mean, Thomas. Is they most uh, the IGN dev reacts to speedrun is such a great series, but they talk about it all the time. And some devs scare me. The Doom one, when they did the Doom Eternal one, the devs were like, well, we know how to fix that. Do you guys want us to fix that? And they're like, no. See, speedrunners like to have it. And the other guy's like, no, I would think that they would want us to patch it, right? So that they can try to make, find, it's the challenge of recreating a new run again and trying to figure out how to, how to break the game again. And it's like, no, 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 very wrong. Please don't do that. Our goal is to go as fast as possible, not let's break the game so that the devs can fix it so we can have a break the game, but not as good this time. What? No, I don't want that. The hell? So, yeah, that one that one was a little bit, but that's just coming from perspective. But yeah, they talk about it. It's like, there are a lot of times glitches and stuff are left in game just because they're fun or stuff like that. Some are accidental. I talk about, I, you know, I always reference the shutdown. The shutdown skip was an accidental thing. 
they thought they patched it out, but then just the timing of how things shook up, they ended up unpatching it by accident, and then they never repatched it again. So that's an accident. But at that point, they don't care. Game's out. What are they supposed to do? So. Oh, every mission. Every. Cash, every mission in Halo Infinite. After the first three, which. I think we found ways to get out of the, those worry, missions as well. It's just not there. useful for the speedrun. Um, is all out of bounds. As soon as you can get the ground pound, you can out of bounds everything in Halo Infinite. Because you can out of bounds anything that has a little corner. You can out, you can go out of bounds. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him an invitation. But yeah. Haven't seen it in years. When I shipped out for basic, the orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put around clean through a Covenant capital ship. Well, yeah, I mean, there's the kill barriers in Infinite, but we found a way to bypass the kill barriers in Infinite, too. <laughs> from the Athens and the Malta, so. getting past this battle cluster in one. Well, again, Dragon, this is why they do different... They do different... This is why different categories exist, Dragon. Go look up Doom Eternal no out-of-bounds speedruns or something like that. Right? Like, I don't know if they have, but those are the kind of runs that you would be interested in. Because I agree. Like, I... The Halo Infinite any percent, it's a cool run, but I want to actually play every single mission in the game. It's fun, but I, it's not the run I, I personally want to, like, try super hard at. So, I want to do... And the fact that we can out of bounds literally everywhere is kind of meh for me. So, so armory didn't start, huh? Armory's not counted in the run anymore because the timer didn't start there. Yeah, hundred percent runs. I love hundred percent runs. Whenever I watch Zelda runs, I always opt for a hundred percent. Way more interesting to me than watching Ocarina of Time any percent. It's really cool. There's a lot we can learn. Again, like I said, we use some of that stuff. We use some of the tricks that they use in Ocarina of Time to formula, try to form tricks in Halo. It's good if you're you're someone who's a trick finder and stuff like that, you know? All right, well. So it looks like armory just don't work, but. How's it going, Malta? Yeah, 100%. I mean, they take longer, right? I mean, that's the thing, is you're asking speedrunners who are all about going the fastest possible, trying to do runs that are slower. That's what you're asking. So. But, I mean, it's it's why, like, I personally, when we get in, when we get more into Halo Infinite, once, once we have some time... And we found the initial... People are going to start routing 100% runs and stuff like that. And I am so down to do 100%. But who knows? 100% could be like a 20-hour speedrun. So. fucking prediction jesus christ what was it i don't even know what it was uh well it definitely wasn't it was what two hours it was bad it was all bad hour and 45 minutes wasn't even close oh jesus christ okay uh the answer was no uh this one do two and two two hours ten minutes i think For 
Hey, check it out. What am I checking out? Delta, what is your status? Over. I don't Almost all rounding You're tricks. I know they do massive skips, especially C, but there's a good mix. Well, that's what I mean, Dragon. I don't. I'm guessing you haven't seen the latest Halo 2, like the the any percent runs that they now have. Halo 2 now has an any percent category this is bad. Real bad. because of the ridiculousness that is Halo 2. I mean, I guess they don't skip entire. Well, they kind of skip entire missions now, but yeah, I guess we're not. You are seeing at least the entire mission, but yeah. Halo 2 has gotten ridiculous. Halo 2 is currently, currently the most broken. I mean, and that's even considering Halo Infinite is the most broken game right now. Well, again, there's two different runs, right? And it's why it's the category. It's it's whatever category you choose to do. Or I guess, you know, in Halo 2, the you know, in Halo, the most run categories is legendary and easy. That's it. You know, the lasso is still considered a speedrun category. Uh, not officially by Halo Runs, but again, that's all bullshit too. It's only official because we've, the people of Halo Runs have, is the one place that have the record of all the things, right? There's nothing, it's not like it's sanctioned by 343. It's not like they're over here like, you guys are the official hey, speedrunning, right? Is You're going to make whatever you want. You're going to make whatever meme category, whatever speedrun you want to do. It's up to you to decide how you wanna how how you wanna play the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, can I heal at some point? What did I just get I just got hovered in the air. What what did I just get Unbelievable, dude. Would have been nice if I healed at all during that entire fucking sequence. Yeah, they also follow me on hey, uh, they, Halo also follows me. So, what does that mean? You saying that if I just start being like, if I start keeping a word document of times, it's all of a sudden official? So, but it is. I mean, it's it's the uh, quote-unquote official place. But again, you know, there's also speedrun.com. What makes speedrun.com any more less any more official? It's just we've we've just determined as a community that Halo Runs is where we keep the official official real times. Nothing wrong with that, but again, just because it doesn't have legendary or lasso runs doesn't mean you're not allowed to do lasso runs. I think Halo speedrun.com has a might have a category for lasso. I'm not sure on that. That might be untrue, but I know we, they do, they did uh, add some categories for some stuff. Admin. So Cortana, assessment. That explosion came from inside the Athens, same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them, a bomb. Then they sure as hell brought one here, Chief. Fine. Don't I have to do armory? Eh. It's a full run! I'll do armory. I'll sit through it. Mess up the sword fly. <laughs> We're gonna attempt sword flies, but again, I'm not gonna spend 80 years trying to do sword flies. That is a dead body. Everyone talking about how they're gonna get messed up because of the outline system. They can't tell who's friend or foes, and I'm over here shooting a dead body. Orders have 
have breached the fire control center. They have a bomb. Can you defuse it? Yes, but I'll need the chief's help to make contact with the detonator. Chief, get to the bomb. Double time. Cortana, prioritize targets and fire at will. First echelon, you're with me. Blanket those cruisers. Take them out one by one. Second echelon, keep those carriers busy. Registering all hostile vessels inside the build house. Thirteen cruisers, two assault carriers. I'm going loud. Everyone, form up. Follow my lead. Yeah, they patched sword flying back in. Again, once again, many n another another good example of like why would they unpatch tank glitch? Or sorry, why would they patch tank glitch? In a uh, tank gun, I should say, tank gun. I just don't think it that much of a glitch but uh why would they why would they patch tank gun in halo infinite if they're literally taking the time to re-patch in glitches why are they gonna f start fixing glitches and again they could i'm not saying that it's not a possibility they you know who knows maybe they change but isn't tank gun intentional i think it is but other people would disagree with me there so There are quite a few elites guarding the bomb. You may need to get creative. Well, I mean, you could always sword fly an MCC. It was just a lot, lot harder. But then, they made it slightly easier. They, they, they repatched it in to make it work. But yeah, technically, you could do it again solo. Mono has a video. You could go back, like, right around when MCC came out. Like, two or three months after. There's a video of Mono doing it where he specifically got to work when using a needler. He used a needler, and he was able to get get a sword fly to work. But it's yeah, it's frame perfect. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the tank gun is a placeholder weapon for the artillery strike on the base, right? It's for an Easter egg. We know that that the tank gun is uh for the uh it's it's a placeholder for the artillery strike. That's an Easter egg in that part, if you haven't seen that Easter egg on Outpost Tremonius. But, my whole thing is, like, why are you able to pick it up? That was my one big thing that, like, everyone's like, well, no, it's it's part of an Easter egg. That's why it's a glitch. And I'm like, okay, I get that it's an Easter egg, but why would you be able to pick it up and carry it? That's what makes no sense. But I, my point is, is you shouldn't be able to pick it up at all. That's what I'm saying. Why are you able to pick it up at all? I'm not saying about its placement. I'm not saying about anything like that. Why is it a weapon that is equipable? That's what makes no sense. I had to refresh Twitch enti entirely, Mess? I ended the prediction. I thought I ended it. Did I not end the prediction? I thought I ended it for you. At some point, are you guys going to separate Master Keyboard and Controller in the speedrun? Uh, Noble, I can't tell you. I, I I can't speak on the behalf of the community. I personally could tell you I don't really care. I think I think you can kind of do both. Um, we, you know, there was there was talk about separating Master and, key, mouse and Keyboard and Controller. I don't see happening. You know, there was talk about separating Xbox versus PC. But because we don't worry about load times, right? We take load times out of the equation. Um... We don't, we don't worry about, yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't, um, we don't track load times anymore. So the way that Halo is timed now in most games 
is RTA minus loads. Meaning, you time the game like you normally would, like I'm doing here, but then you go back into your run, and you time every single load zone that happens, every single load screen, and you take that out of your time. Add that all up, and then you minus it from what your overall time was. And that's how we time games. So, load times from PC and Xbox is no longer a problem. So. Sergeant, I need you on that bird. My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements in this city. Still need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. My guy, please. Oh, I was like, wait, did I pick that up? But yeah, you know, they got that's sword canceling and stuff's back, but yeah. I agree. What did Sketch say on Twitter? Did Sketch say something about the tank gun on Twitter, I guess? I don't know. Loot blue? No, I don't I I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't think they're removing it. Yeah. Sketch said it was a glitch. Gotcha. So Sketch did say it was a glitch. Okay. That's fine. I guess I guess I could see that, but yeah, I mean, Sketch saying it's a glitch doesn't mean they're gonna patch it. What the fudge? All right, well. Refresh, I get start ending predictions and stuff. Okay, good to know. But no, uh, who knows? Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't think they will. I don't know why they would. Like I've said, they've never they've never patched campaign glitches before. The only again, the only time. The only times that they patch glitches is if it's, like, causing c game crashing or it's being abused in multiplayer. Those are the two occasions that they are... Well, I guess, again, the carrier just launched the people launch. falling the out of the world, the, the whole ground pound. Like, I think the most... In Halo Infinite, the most likely glitch, if they were to patch one, would be the, the out-of-bounds ground pound. The, the, the Falcon... I call it Falcon Punch. I don't like Ground Pound. Uh, the Falcon Punch, is, uh, getting out of bounds with that, is the most likely thing I think they would patch. Because reason being is, like, it's causing regular players, not just speedrunners, but it's causing regular players to fall out of the world and it breaks their game. And then they have to restart the mission. So it's causing casual players... Uh, strife, I guess, or just, yeah. Pain and suffering casual players are suffering because of it that's when they they might fix it because they're like well yes it is a speed run thing but this is affecting normal people and causing them to have a bad experience that's what they don't want. so they don't yeah they don't but they've never patched stuff again they've tried to re-patch things into the game if it's broken now they've inadvertently patched stuff you know, uh, recent with the, what was the Halo 2? There was a whole thing with MCC that was causing it so people weren't able to do the melee canceling anymore on Flood. You couldn't get Flood to stand and melee cancel it. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly, but there was a whole, whole, uh, whole thing that happened with Halo 2. I don't remember exactly. I'm sure you guys know better, but... I'm out of the loop. All I did was help push it. I, I made sure I got it to Unishek and Sketch and made sure that they, they heard the complaints that they patched something in multiplayer. They updated Halo 2 and Halo 3, collision and multiplayer and stuff like that, and it inadvertently affected speedrunning so that certain glitches were no longer able to be done. And again, it wasn't them trying to patch the glitch. It was them patching something else that happened to affect speedrunning by accident. So they didn't try to. But yeah, they've never purposely patched out glitches. After the game's come out. Beforehand, sure. But, yeah. Alright, I'm behind on chat. I have my chat pause, so. Hey, Roy! Good seeing ya. Good morning to you. Oh man, it's already 11.30. Yeah. We had the one bad death. I was going to say, Halo 2 is going okay. We had the one bad death, though, I realize. This is where I get catch up, because 
I actually don't mind this because again, we do RTA. Load zones are taking forever in Halo Two because I I took I took Halo MCC off my my SSD. It was taking up too much space, so I need to get. When I get the new computer, it'll go back on. In-game loads? Uh, not that I know. All the in-game loads are pretty similar between... With the Xbox Series X and stuff, the loads between PC and console are pretty much the same. Why do I shoot the pistol there? Uh, you empty the clip out so that when we start this next level, we get entirely new weapons. So, it depends on what. If you're someone who's good at the video game and sword flies to the race at the end of Metropolis, then you don't want to do that. But I like to have the other set of weapons. So you do you you keep the battle rifle and then you you would keep the battle rifle and then you'd use the sword to sword flight to the wraith. This one, this just gives me an entirely new set of weapons, and more specifically, it gives me grenades that I can use for the scarab skip and stuff. So Nobody played Breakout anyways. Mistake, it was being used in every map in Halo. It was being used in Warzone. It was being used in uh, in pro matches. It was specifically, I think the worst one was uh, was a Plaza. What was? Oh, I don't know why I waited for these guys. I usually don't take these guys. Was what was it Plaza? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my God! It's not Plaza. What the hell was that one? Strongholds. Everyone, uh, everyone. It was Strongholds on that is the one I think of. But people were using that to like instantly grab the sniper right at the start of the match. Like it was patched not because of Breakout, but because of all of the multiplayer stuff. Now, once again, they did change later on. Again, to give another perspective, they actually patched the sword. So in multiplayer, they patched the sword so it doesn't give you... It used to give you a 15% speed boost. But they patched it because they thought that was too overpowered. They patched it so it only gave like a 5% speed boost when carrying the sword. Now, they, they made an entirely new system. This is what I mean with 343 is the lengths they go to preserve speedrunning. They made an entirely That's new weapon awesome system buddy. in the game so that they could do that. They had to, they, they specifically created a new system that separated campaign weapons and multiplayer weapons from each other. That wasn't in the game before. They had to add that system into the game so that they could patch the multiplayer sword, but it wouldn't patch the sword in campaign. So the sword in campaign still gave you that 15% speed boost or whatever it was. Um... But in multiplayer, it was now a separate sword. So, they, again, they do they do stuff specifically for speedrunners. Now, that being said, people play on the unpatched version of Halo 5 anyways because of the super sliding. Which, again, maybe, maybe if this was, maybe if it, they patched it later on, maybe we could have kept super sliding in Halo 5 campaign, but then they patch it out in multiplayer. But that's not how they did it. So, which is a shame, but eh, you know. Is how it be, how it do, I guess. Oh my god. Stepped on. Big Daddy Scarab step on me. Oh my god. Uh, listen. If you guys... There is an... There are... I don't know of anyone. I know I've been talking about it a lot. Uh, I know I've been talking about Always Sunny in Philadelphia a lot. And that's because it's that amazing of a show. Um... But let me tell you. If you haven't... There's a fucking... Oh, one of the funniest things I've seen. What the hell are you doing? Since when? One of the funniest things I've seen in television recently was a whole bit that goes on with the show where there's a whole episode where they make Thunder Gun 6, I think, or is it 7? They make Thunder the Gun 7, which is basically their equivalent of... Uh, it's the lethal weapon, right? It's kind of... Well, no, they actually do make lethal weapon six or whatever as well but wait no no yeah lethal weapon six that's what they make so they they have a whole bit where they make they they continue the lethal weapon series but there's a whole bit about the reason why dennis is doing it is he's trying to understand this the uh millennials he's basically he's trying to sleep with a bunch of millennials and he's trying to figure out how he can connect with them so he was trying to like go with people who are liberal and people are a little bit more conservative and he <laughs> so and long story short really fucking funny bit about it and it was goddamn hilarious that ends up with him using the word daddy issues and it's great 
right. Grapple launch with the cores. That works in both multiplayer and campaign, yes. That being said, it's not that useful in multiplayer because you, you hit invisible barriers all the time and it launches you out of the map. So, like, yeah, you could do it to get, like, on a big team battle. You do it, and then you might be able to get, like, a single snipe off. But with all the barriers and stuff like that, you will... You are more than likely going to end up dying when doing the, uh... Doing the grapple coil trick. Because it's... It's, it's not causing anything. It's, right? It's not a widespread thing that every single person in the world is doing it. In multiplayer, you have to go physically get a grapple hook. And then you have to be on a map... That also has a fusion coil, which is, right now, is not that many of them. It's, uh, what? Fragmentation has it. Um, and then the, uh, the damn, uh, one flag map that is always fun. The, I don't even know what it's called. Launch site? Launch site has it. And then there's a few other, there, there's a few other ones, but those maps not, might not even have grapple hooks. So it, it's such a specific edge case in multiplayer that they wouldn't patch the, the, the coil trick. is because... It would be, yeah, it, it, it's just not that useful in multiplayer. It's cool. Like if you hit a snipe shot off that, but you get a chance to hit one and then you're probably either going to fall off the map or you're going to die from the timer up above. So you can technically face through walls, but once again, even if you do clip through the wall in multiplayer, you can't shoot through the wall. So there's no way for people to like sit outside the map with a sniper and shoot into the map and kill people. So there's... No real way for it to be abused, per se. What's the world record in Halo Infinite? 32 minutes. I don't know what Legendary is, but I know I know there's a run that's 32 minutes, I think. So. Who are the real heroes who beat in the Halo Infinite campaign last without the wieldable tank weapon glitch? Sketch words, lol. I see. Well, I'm going to be doing that. I'll be doing that soon. I'm still planning on making th this next week. I'm probably going to be working on the lasso guide for Halo Infinite. Should have done it again. One of the many things that's like, man, maybe, maybe when, maybe instead of streaming Halo Infinite mul multiplayer like everyone else was doing, maybe I should have taken the time where I had a preview build of the game, creating legendary and lasso guides, and then I could release it day one and get a million views. I don't, so that's the thing, is you can't get the achievement. The 10 level skip thing, you can't even get the achievement. You can do all the out of the map stuff, if you do like out of the map on every single mission, you can do those. But the, because you can change, it, infinite works weirdly. You can change the difficulty of your game at any point. If you go back to the menu, you can actually change the difficulty of your, of your current game. Um... Of the current current load that you, I guess, you have saved. Um, which is interesting. So, for that reason, the achievement specifically requires you to hit the end condition for every single mission. All 14 missions with all skulls on. So, I guess one thing you could technically do, potentially, is you could actually play through the mission all the way up to the end of the very last checkpoint, pretty much. Then end the game, go to the menu, turn on all the skulls. I bet you could do that. I bet I bet you could do that. So. But yeah, I don't believe you can get the checkpoints from just doing you you, you can't, as far as I know. There is a glitch. I will tell you that uh, I think we found a glitch. We as in they uh, found a glitch that allows you to skip. Or it allows you to unlock all of the campaign achievements in like 10 seconds. It was just a weird bug that allowed you to basically hit the tra to, to hit different achievement triggers. So, oh Jesus! But yeah, that was I don't know I don't know what that was I don't know how that works I have no idea on that is I just heard that there was a way that you could unlock all the achievements without doing anything. That was kidding when I said like thirty seconds like it was it was I don't know it was interesting. Yeah, I think Destiny should do that too. PvE, PvP, is they have certain things that work in PvE that don't work in PvP. So what would make Destiny PvP actually a video game? Shit. I was trying to time that out. I didn't have anything. 
Damn it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Timing is bad on it. Whoops, that didn't work. Damn it! Son of a bitch. Seriously? No, they haven't. They've been doing that? You're telling me that that in in Destiny they have weapons that specifically they have the same weapon that does one thing in PvE but a different thing in a does a different thing in a PvP. Oh god. Shit. I actually had it. That was going really well and then I Assume that the enemies were alerted. I, I, I made a few. I made a few wrong assumptions. That's that's what happened. So. Oh, I see. I okay. No, Dragon Slayer's idea was something different. I'm just saying that they should have weapons do different things. They should have... It's how they could maximize their also efficiency of, of weapon use instead of always needing to create new weapons or, you know, reusing the weapons like they are. How they just reprint the same weapons and then they make people seem like it's a new gun. It's great. I love it. Destiny's very creative. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ, man. Ah! Just had bad luck all day long. But, you know, it could actually be like this, the, this, uh, gun in, basically they just do it where they has PVP or PVE specific bugs. It, it, in PVE, this weapon deals 15 extra shield damage, but in PVP, it doesn't. <laughs> Haven't had to use that in a, like... I don't think I've had to use that strat in a... I don't know. Four years? At least. Jesus Christ. Man, my luck has been definitely a thing today. I'm so far behind the chat. Look, well, long story short, Destiny has garbage PvP. Worst PvP of any video game I've ever played. That's all that matters. Shit. The heretics are mobilizing their air forces. Ouch. Get after their leader, but watch your back. It's been a thing for like five months. Oh, okay. So they have been separating. Good. Good. Fucking good. Alright. I'm behind on chat, obviously. So. I'm catching up. Don't worry. Vaulting content? Um, I don't care. I'll be honest. Like, it's, it's ones of those. I don't even play Destiny anymore. I don't care. Yeah, I paid... So, I've spent so much money. This is what I was talking about. Is like... People think Halo Infinite's store is bad, which it is, 
But then they look at Destiny and you're like, wait, are you okay with how Destiny charges its shit? Because it's way worse. Because, yeah, they vault shit that you paid for. But, I mean, I will say, I got my playtime out of it. It's not like I was playing that content anyway. So, if they get rid of it, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I mean, you paid for it. So, I get why people are upset about it. But, it's not like I was going back and playing whatever raid it was. So, I'm not even playing the game to begin with. Well, all the non-Forerunner YouTubers had... Many many of the non-Forerunner YouTubers had preview builds as well. You know, that's why, like, there was there was multiple people on YouTube who came out with guides day one. Oops. Who came out, yeah, day one. Um, came out with guides and shit. And it's because they did have preview builds, but... Yeah. You would not get the speedrun achievement because once again you're not be uh no you you don't you don't or no because you're not beating every single mission I don't think yeah I remember I don't know I'd have to do a new account and then do a any percent speedrun and just see what happens it wouldn't be hard I should do that maybe maybe one of these days I have other accounts that I can I have access to that I can just like just hop on my brother's account. But yeah, I mean, as I said, I think Halo Infinite's store is honestly, it's not, I'm not saying it's good practices, but it is just what the practices of the gaming industry are these days, right? Like, I'm not saying Halo Infinite's store is any good or anything. I'm just simply saying, like, what Halo Infinite's store is, it's not really much worse than what any other game company like Apex or Destiny or anything is doing. It's kind of the same. Now, certain aspects of it is worse. Yeah, I think their pricing is fucking insane. Again, they already had precedent for some of it. Like, I can't believe they're making you pay $20 for the Mr. Chief AI. First off, I didn't even know if I was going to use the AI. I like my little AI. So, I was thinking about buying it even. Because no one else will own it. That's why I am. See, I've got that. I've got that rich ass Twitch. I've got those Twitch bucks, yo. So like, I'm a I'm a celebrity streamer. So you know, I can spend all my money. So when no one else buys the AI, I buy it because people are like, no one would ever spend money on like that. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm a rich dude. I've got the rich Twitch money, so I can spend it all, and then I'll have all the cool stuff that you guys won't have. And then you're like, well, you're supporting bad practices, and I'm like, huh? What do I care? I look cool, nerd. Shut up. You're just jealous that I'm a, a famous Twitch streamer with all the monies. Nerd. And then, uh, anyways, though. Um. <clears throat> no, their pricing is ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. And they already had precedent with it with Halo 5, where it's like, you sold five, you sold three announcer voices, buck, yip, yap, and, uh, something else you sold all of those for ten dollars and you're selling one for twenty dollars now you you've done something wrong. what do you think it'll snowball into dragon Oh yeah, I don't know why. Like, I'm I'm in agreement. I I miss some of the strikes and raids and stuff. It's why I haven't hopped on Destiny in a little while. It's like, it's just not enough stuff in there for me to care about. But yeah, like, Scourge of the Past, why would they take that away? It makes no sense.
removes something from the battle pass, but that's all cosmetics. That's like, I don't see them. I don't, I mean, they could, I guess it's true. They could, but I don't see them necessarily doing that, right? Like Destiny has this case where it's doing, I think they're dumb. They should just make a fucking Destiny 3, you know, stop with this bullshit. But this is them being like, trying to maximize efficiency and profits, so. Scummy, yeah, but. <sighs> Tokyo Revengers. Hypothetically, oh, Dragon, you don't even want to know how much I've spent. I spent, I have spent buying Destiny probably over $500. Because I bought it on Xbox, I bought it on PC, I bought it on PlayStation, I also bought the DLCs up to Forsaken on each one. And then on PC, I actually bought both of the, uh, I bought both the, oh no. That was Halo Infinite, I would have fallen. Um, I bought both of the, what was the latest one? The, the latest, the, the snowy thingy, snow thing thingamajigger. Um... Darkness, whatever it is. I don't remember what it is. Darkness Below. Who cares what it's called? Um, I bought that as well. So, yeah, I've spent a ridiculous amount of money on DLC on it. But, like, I don't really care because, like I said, I'm not fucking playing the game. <laughs> like, I'm not even playing... I don't, I don't play Destiny much anymore. And all of the DLC stuff, I didn't really do anyways, even when I did play it anymore. Like, I had stopped. I had stopped playing a lot of said things, so... Okay, cool. That's, uh, awesome. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I love getting double hit. I love double hits. One of the bad things about the, uh... bad things about them patching the swords and shit is now I do all this stuff. You go like sailing past all the enemies and you end up getting yourself in bad situations. Anybody else? There he is. Is that it? No, not yet. And hello, where you at? Lock the door. 
Is Halo Infinite in the speedrun list? Yes, it is, big. This is every Halo. Doing it all. What do I think about... What do I think is next for Halo Infinite? Nice, that was good. Like, DLC content, it sucks that Halo is a bit underwhelming in terms of content. I don't know. You know, I think there's plenty of content. Like, this is the thing. I mean, I... Some people... I know some of it is repetitious. is a little repetitive, and I get it. But that's the kind of open world... There's two kinds... So there's two kinds of open world games. There's, like, Skyrim open world... And then there's Spider-Man open world, right? There's two different games where, like, in Skyrim, they just do a better job at hiding you doing the same thing, right? In Skyrim, what's a lot of the quests? Go here, kill this guy. But then they hide it behind the fact that they're like, ooh, there's some story attached to it. You're getting some character and some dialogue. Ooh, but it is. What you're doing is you're going to play, you're going into a, a dungeon you're going through a cave, killing some people, and then killing a boss at the end. And that's that's that, right? They just do a better job of hiding it and how expansive the world is. It's a lot more expansive. Spider-Man open world is a lot more tight. It's a lot smaller, more narrative-driven game. But then, the optional side objectives are just that. They're side objectives that you can do as a completionist. But what are you doing? You're doing time trials. You're web swinging through the city as fast as you can and then once you complete one you go to the next one and do you know what you do you web swing across the city as fast as you can it just doesn't it's time trials and that's the same thing halo infinite is more like the second one where it doesn't do a good job of hiding its side objectives where it's like it is you're just clearing out an outpost oh i don't know why i'm not blowing this up to begin with i gotta do that first you're destroying an outpost and then you're leaving and then going to the next one and it's very repetitive but it's the same thing as most open world games they're all very repetitive certain games just hide it behind story and lore right um but i'm just saying like again most people are talking about it's like you you're saying you did 20 hours did you 100 percent the game in 20 hours because, like, it's so funny. People are like, I'm so bored of Halo already. I've put 100 hours into the game and I'm bored. 100 hours for a game is pretty damn good. You remember when Halo 5 had an 8-hour on Legendary Campaign? And that was taking your time. And you beat the entire game in 8 hours. Certain games were like that. Halo 3 was kind of like that, too. I think Halo 3, first time I beat it, was 10 hours. Halo Infinite has a much longer campaign than any other Halo game. It just doesn't hide its repetitiveness sometimes, right? So. Oh, no! So, you know, I, I just... Yeah, I don't know if I fully agree with the whole, like... I, I don't think I agree that it's underwhelming in terms of content. Because, like I said, it's just... The state and the way that we play games has changed. We, we're all older. I think a lot of people who are very big hardcore gamers, many of them were younger when it happened when you had parents or you had stuff going on in your life that made it so you couldn't play games 24-7. Nowadays, though, we hide from the world and we play games 24-7. So we play Halo Infinite for a month straight and we put in 200 hours into the game. That's a lot of fucking time. That is a lot. A hundred hours? That's literally how many, like, if, I don't know how many hours I have in Infinite right now. But it's a shit ton. My point is, it's a shit ton. And yeah, you might have experienced everything, but... I think there's plenty, plenty of you know, starter. Again, I wish there was a few more multiplayer maps and things like that, so... Now, no time now. Felt's right, exactly. And so that's a good example. Have you been playing Infinite? How how much how much Infinite have you gotten, right? Because I'm over here about to be playing video games for 17 hours straight. I'm just saying, 10 years ago, if there was a campaign, I mean, I'm playing like eight campaigns, but if there was a single game that that you were able to play the campaign for for 17 hours, that would be considered a top tier game. But now we're like 17 hours. That's not enough content. You know, 
<laughs> and so I, I think our mentalities as gamers have just changed. Um, I'm getting way too deep with this. To answer your question, though, it's uh, what I think is next. I think we're either going to visit different parts of the ring, or I mean, has anyone seen the uh, the cut the cut uh, cutscene? I just want to say I put it on Twitter. I made a joke about it, and now this is something I don't even know. Like, again, I didn't know any of this stuff. Like, yeah, Forerunner Group, but it wasn't me, like, sneakily trying to, uh... Shit. That's not gonna work, is it? Oh, it did. Okay. Nope, it didn't. Shit. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, getting top rank in a game is different than. Yeah, it's it's a little different. But uh, as I said, I think we're gonna visit different parts of the ring. I think the flood are gonna get introduced. We're gonna talk about different UNSC forces, like. As I said, I don't know who saw the, the cut, uh, mid-credit cutscene that happened. If you don't want me to spoil, because we're, we're assuming, at least I'm assuming, it's actually gonna be what opens the next, the first story DLC. So if you don't want, I won't say it, but if anyone is opposed, I guess shut your ears now. But pretty much, I'm saying it, I don't even care. You know what? Fuck you. I'm talking about it. Uh... The, uh... Uh... Well, I have... Oh, yeah. The, the mid-credit cutscene that was cut was a scene of the pilot. He wakes up again. It looks like the beginning of the game where the pilot wakes up. And he hears a, you, you know... He hears a signal, like, distress call. He hears a distress call and he he puts on the headphones and you're like, wait, what is, is this just the beginning of the game again? You look at it initially and then he goes, chief, you got to see this. And then chief comes in from the back and then it says uh, like UNSC signal or, or uh, tag U friendly tag designation friendly UNSC. So I guess the idea is that they are maybe in space again and they might have found another Spartan or somebody who is considered UNSC floating in space so people are thinking lock maybe arbiter there's a lot of lot of lot of theories going around but yeah there's basically a mid-credit scene that was cut from the game and maybe that's because it's not it's something they're not going to do maybe it's yeah maybe it's spirit of fire people are talking about but it's something that they're not going to do at all maybe they they plan that was initially what they were going to do and they decide to cut that all in its entirety and go a different direction that's a possibility so but I think it'll it'll be the opening of the next story DLC. So I assume we're going to be visiting other parts of the ring. The flood will get involved. Um, I, I think we'll see our we'll we'll run into the arbiter. We'll figure out what the hell happened to what actually happened to Locke and other other characters. I don't know. They can go a lot. We'll start see. We might start. They might start building out what the hell slowly. I think they should. They should ease out what the hell the endless are. And then just start dropping hints throughout or start seeing how it affects uh, how they affect the world a little bit. But they don't really have anything until like five DLCs later. Like four years, three years later and then they drop this massive fucking expansion or some shit. That's basically the equivalent of an entirely another new game. That would be, that would be hype as fuck. And it's all about the endless. But yeah, I mean, I imagine, oh, there's the beam rifle. I imagine the, the first story dlcs aren't gonna be crazy large i mean it's one of those that i know people want open worlds take a very long time to make that's that's all i have to say is right like they can't just in one year remake the entire open world of halo like the halo infinite open world in the next year if they i don't know when they plan on dropping story dlc if they're gonna do one every three years or one every year but if you think that they're gonna be able to make a world as expensive as the infinite world in one year you're insane there's no way they can do that. In three years, maybe. They already have a lot of the base groundwork there, so they really just have to work at designing the map, creating it, 
change it, you know, changing how it is, creating the, the story, the lore, all that stuff, and that takes a long as time. But they could do that in three years. But one year, nah, that's crazy. So. Halo is being handled by the Ubisoft's old, Assa old Assassin's Creed team. I'm a fan of that. They do need a, th uh, a roadmap. I think that would actually help a lot so people see what the hell they're doing. Yeah, I'm totally down. Totally down for that. But yeah, I'm I'm assuming they're not going to have story. D well, well, I'm my assumption is story DLC once a year. Now, Assassin's Creed did that. I mean, Assassin's Creed had if you if I if it's the old team. I'm thinking like Assassin's Creed two. They had they did have story DLC that expanded, and it would have like one city, like one small city would be the open world, and that's how I imagine they they might do it as well for Halo Infinite. Is like it will be. A small area. We might see get like a canyon. And it'll be... Take one of the islands. You know how, how Halo Infinite is fractured into the multiple islands? Take one of those islands. They could do that in a single year. I bet. If they really push themselves, right? Like, I think they could do that in one year. And make something around it. So. But they could still do stuff in the current world. Stuff like that. We'll, we'll have to see. I'm, I'm really excited. We'll have to see what they do. I don't know what direction they're going to go. As I said, we better get some snow environments. I want to see some desert biomes. I want to just get different biomes, right? And that's that's the good way to do it. It's like they just create an open world that's the size of two betrayals. Jesus Christ, really? Maybe expanded a little bit. Maybe expanded a little. Size of two betrayals, but expanded a little bit. You know? A little bit more open. More areas to go. And they just plop that in. That's the, uh, that's the, the story deal. It totally worked. Please don't pump out reskin open worlds once a year. But do I own a Switch? I do. I own a Switch. It's plugged in. I know. It's probably on still. Can the weapon replace Cortana? She already has. What are you talking about? Literally, she's taking her name. I love new Cortana's great, man. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of new Cortana. Massive one every few years. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Dragon. Is like, they'll have some small mini open world sections. Kind of like Spider-Man, what Spider-Man did. Is they kind of opened a few little areas. GTA even has done a few where they have like these outshoot. Like they had that island or whatever. That was a weird DLC though. Uh, I didn't really play it, but I saw it. I was like, this is weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, they could still do stuff in the world as is. I think there's unused areas that they could do. And even just reuse certain areas. But then, uh, yeah, small, I, I imagine Halo Infinite's DLC will be, like, small ones for three years, small little, little expansions, and then one massive one every three years, so. Joker luck at... Joker luck at its finest. I'm so happy I got a checkpoint. I didn't think I got a checkpoint. That's what that's what I thought was gonna happen. So 
Yeah, it's just a safer route text on uh, on Legendary that I've started using because, man, I'm bad at the... Like, the other route just never works for me. So. Pew. Okay, well, you know, I was trying to meme, and apparently I got memed on, so... In amber clad. It's odd. The Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us a very serious threat. Why are they in Watch yourself, honor guards. Not great. Quite a few mistakes, but that's okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Not great, but we're doing okay. I'm having fun. As I said, I got past. I got over the hump of just garbage time. Just being like, uh, let's fucking run. It's not going perfect. I'm not hitting every trick perfectly. I'm not getting perfect RNG. And I'm not playing perfectly. And I'm getting mad about it. And now I'm just having a good time. Just having a nice, relaxed run. Let muscle memory sit back and do it. Do I have Smash Bros. Ult? Yes, I do. I actually think I uninstalled it because I needed space for Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. I got Ult. Smash Bros. Ultimate. I, uh, God. I miss actually playing Smash. I used to... I used to every, uh... Every, uh, every year during the summer, I would, with my buddy Dea. I mean, I did a stream. We did a Smash Bros. Melee stream somewhat. Uh, it was a while ago, but at this point. But, yeah, we've done, we've done, we've done a little smashy streams before. Hell, when Smash Bros. Ultimate came out, we streamed it for, like, oh, two weeks straight. Shit. You son. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for killing my frame rate there, buddy. Where you at, bro? Where you at, bro? Son of a bitch. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to know, you know, I talk about TV shows all the time because, uh, you know, I'm cultured like that. Oops. Um, so I've been talking about, you know, I rewatched all of Always Sunny, which the latest season was fan fucking nominal. Like I said, two moments. One moment that is scarred in my brain forever. It's another one of those Danny DeVito moment moments that is just like, oh my god, are you serious? Did they actually just do what they just did? And the answer is yes. Yes, they did. And... Okay. All right. That's not gonna work. Dude, why am I not getting... Ugh, this is... Ever since they changed the physics of Halo 2 and shit, it's just been, uh... Damn it. Man, it's sucky. My point. I can't make the jump. They changed the goddamn physics, and it's just so much harder to do. Ugh. Nope. Nope. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, see, you, you, I just can't bounce. It's not giving me a bounce. Who's my main? Uh, I was a Jigglypuff, Fox, Falco, Captain Falcon, uh, Link main. 
And uh, who was the other? I was learning one more character. Um, there it is. Well, that's ideally how I wanted to go every time, but yeah, I think that I think those were all my mains. I've been slowly. I think my two favorites. I mean, I was Fox for a while, then I picked up Jigglypuff, but I've been really enjoying Captain Falcon. So again, I haven't played in a very long ass time, but. There it is. So playing on PC? Yep, we are going to be playing on PC all the way through Halo, uh, all the way up to Halo 5. Say that with four sets of dice and a tablet I just bought. Yeah, I think I have three sets of dice and I have no idea where any of them are. I don't want to give away my position, so I'm rerouting a few back to you. Oops. I apologize. These pelicans are all the support you're gonna get. Understood, ma'am. But oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I started rewatching Castle. I just watched the first episode of Castle again last night, so I needed some Nathan Fillion in my life, you know? So, but yeah, I started rewatching Castle. Main is Joker. Oh, yeah, I have not played since the first, I think, since they had Piranha Plant. A gondola is launching from the far towers. Big surprise. It's full of Covenant reinforcements. Yeah, I just love Captain Falcon. He's just so fucking flashy. Big fan, big fan, you know. kill any of them. Ah, now I see. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Have I seen Dexter? I have. I have not watched the new season, The First Blood, or Last Blood, what is it? New Blood? New Blood, that's what it's called. I haven't watched New Blood yet. Again, those are the kind of shows I'm like, man, I hope it does well. I know I'm not supporting it, so, but I hope, I hope it does well. I'm really, again, I'm, I'm still pretty livid they actually canceled Cowboy Bebop. Like, yeah, that first season was not amazing, but I, really, all they had to do was go back, workshop a few things, and man, that show could have been a hit. It's, it's just a shame that they just decide cut and run. When in doubt, they cut and run. So, will Eli ever make a comeback? No, he will not. transmission from regrets carrier to something called high charity it seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy Heh. apparently regret jumped the gun when he attacked earth yeah, damn. he's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival arguing that no human presence was foretold that explains why there were so few ships in his fleet but it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's home world Sorry, wait, Tex, did you ask me, do I not like the Dexter reboot? Because I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I got no idea. I just haven't taken the time to watch it. I'm saying that's one of the shows I hope the reboot, reboot is doing well. 
I hated that ending. God damn, what a garbage ending. I will say, Dexter is one of my least favorite series endings of all time. No, or, oh, fucking hell. No doubt. God, it was so aggravating. It was like, uh, you know, it's it's around the same way how I feel about the Luke Cage season two ending as well. It's around that where it's like they're, you know, the writers are like, no, it makes total sense. Like, if you paid attention, you would know this makes total sense to the character. If you you just have to rewatch the show again, and you'll understand. And then you rewatch the show, and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, this is a garbage ending. Who came up with this? What writer came up with this? Because it's not. If you thought this, like, what what are you talking about? That's how I feel, Luke Cage. It makes no sense to how they wrote the character. Zero sense. That's how I feel with Dexter's, the way things were going, so. I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't know on that. What happened with all that anyways? Um... He moved on with his life. I always like to emphasize, once again, Naked Eli graduated from Stanford. Regrets Carrier just received a response from High Charity. You think, a very well as smart as that man is, you think he wanted to waste his life being a YouTuber? Your Hell no. Jeopardized the fulfillment of our he now works at Amazon, as far as I know. Design. Last time I texted him, which I actually, I texted him just, uh, I wished him, I think I texted him on Christmas. Um, Truth, mercy, regret. Three profit hierarchs. He's still at Amazon Prime Video. He's a lead engineer. I think he's a team lead at Amazon Prime Video. Probably making 200k a year, more than likely. Um... And he he got engaged, so he's been working at playing a wedding, and so that's what he's been up to recently. And he also has a lot of back issues. All his time spent gaming and stuff has now caused his his bot dude. And Eli's body is falling apart on him. So the reason he stopped pl again, I, I I've mentioned this before, but everyone thinks it's like oh naked, e probably because it makes for a better story. It makes for a better story that Naked Eli quit streaming and being a YouTuber because Xbox killed his gamer tag, which is such a fucking lie. No one in the history of ever would do that. But I will say it was a straw. It was one of the, the, the straws that broke the camel's back for him. But the biggest thing being... Uh, the biggest one being uh, the fact that he... Uh, he... He has to go to a speech therapist now. Um, long story short, he has, because of all of the videos and yelling and everything he does a, as a gamer and as a content creator and all the shit he's done with that, um, he is, uh, oops. Okay, well that wasn't... He has, uh... Created a bunch of scar tissue in his throat. And so he's only able to speak about two hours every single day. Before it physically pains him to talk. Just to talk. It physically hurts him to actually talk anymore. So, it's why he doesn't make videos anymore. Is he literally has two hours of words. And it, oh god. That's number three. I've done it every, every, I think that's the meme for t today. Is me blowing myself up on randomly i did it with the banshee twice and now i've done it on a with the rocket launcher here so but yeah so he he basically has a limited amount of words he can say in a single day before it starts to physically pain him and it's due to all the video making and content creation he's done and everything in just general and also it just sounds like his body is falling apart on him um yeah he's a. Uh, Oh, come on now. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, he's, uh, unable to, uh, really do make content because he's barely able to talk. It's pretty common. He says that it's, it's similar to what, like, people who are in heavy metal, heavy, heavy metal artists, uh, screamo artists and stuff like that. 
he has kind of the same problem that they have. Is It's just a bunch of scar tissue built up in his throat. So, not taking care of his throat. So. Oh my fucking lord. Come on, man. Seriously? This is getting insane. You know the four rockets that I shove at the gondola are supposed to kill something. I would appreciate that. Hitting me with so much damage. Okay. But yeah, so he's got that, and now he also has some back. He has to go to physical therapy for his back now. He now has a lot of back pain and shit like that, so. Point is, yeah, Naked Eli's body is falling apart on him. All right. Before we continue, you must know, bless this run and give us the RNG we need. Beam Rifle Fishies, use this offering to further your purposes and bless us. Enjoy, Fishies. Use it to in the way you please. Oops, I was like, I was looking for, I was trying to, I was gonna sword fly. I was like, where the hell's my sword? He's your age? No, he's he's older. I think he's what? If I'm How old am I? <laughs> I'm 26. I think he's like 31 or something like that. He's he's a little older than me. I can't I can't remember. I actually don't know how old Eli is. I think he's like 31. I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. That no that might that sounds me. Mm, 29. I don't know. Watch your back. He's 17. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Really? That was bullshit. The Covenant fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track. We don't have much time. There are honor guards all oh. over this place. Watch your back. 42. Yeah, he's 42. There you go. There's the target. Take him out. 96. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. All right, well, I mean, that's just too tempting. Come on now. Ha! Oh, we'll reset. We'll reset. Reset. That was just too tempting, man. There it is. Remove this vermin from my sight. Woo. Bad news. The phantom You okay there, buddy? Around. The fleet is preparing to fire on our position. We need to get out of here. Yeah, not bad.
But yeah, basically Eli moved on, did bigger and better things. You know, he he's he he's a smart man. He knew that his career in streaming and YouTube was kind of ending. He didn't want to do it forever. He knew he could be a lot more successful doing other stuff. And in fact, he had other goals and aspirations, right? He wanted to start a, a whole school, and it was, it was a whole thing, and that sadly didn't work out for him. But uh, you know, he had a good idea, just didn't didn't go as planned. And so yeah, I mean, he went over to Amazon, and he's killing it. So he lies fucking killing it. <sighs> we had him on stream, uh. Less than a year ago, he actually stopped by. He uh, hopped in. We were gaming. We did some MCC together. Hopped in stream. We were talking. Had him speak. Gotta get up at a decent time and get your 5G booster. Hell yeah. Get that 5G. I can't believe people believe that shit. It's fucking insane to me. And even if they did, what the hell's wrong with it? They're like, I don't want to be tracked, bro. You got a phone in your pocket. You're fucked. You keep a, a an electronic device that is slowly neutering you. And you're complaining about getting a 5G extension in your arm? Crazy. Ludicrous. I just, I don't, like, I don't understand the, like, yeah. I actually, I got, I got a friend who's, uh, she's, uh, anti-vax as well, and, uh, guess who had COVID over the, uh, over Christmas? That's a fun one. We actually had, I didn't meant, I don't think I mentioned it. But uh, we actually had the fir our first death in our family over uh, Chris on Christmas Eve. God, I feel so bad. Like, I wasn't close to them. I'll tell you, I didn't really know them. I don't think I've even ever met them. But we had a cousin. He was uh, like 34 years old. We had a cousin. We we had a cousin on I think my dad my dad's side of the family who ended up passing away from COVID uh, Christmas Eve. So it was a real shame. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our, that's our first death in the family from it, so. Last year to COVID, yeah. Well, as I said, I didn't know him so well, I just, you know, my heart goes out to the family, and, you know, I mean, our, our family, I guess, but, like, I just can't even... Just right before Christmas, man. Like it's just, it's just one of those that that's that's a downer for life, man. Like <laughs> having anything horrible like that happen during, like right on a holiday, is just every time that holiday comes around, it's just a reminder, man. It sucks. anti-covid facts that's true i mean the the I, I don't i don't disagree with you there pops there is a difference there but i don't know and as i said i, I understand what people are saying there, there's a lot there's a bunch of people i know who are uh i do it i'll be honest like i would like to be i would like to to, to have I would like to t say honestly, and if you ask me, I'm going to say it, but I can tell you guys the honest truth. The vaccination thing, I, d I don't care. <laughs> shove it in my arm, don't shove it in my arm, I don't really care. I have it, I don't have it. You know, I was a, I've been essential, I've been a, an essential worker since the beginning of the pandemic. And I was okay. I mean, I, we might have had, we believe we actually had COVID right before, like, the whole quarantine thing started and we just didn't know it like before people really knew covid was a thing i think is when we had it um so i think it may it help build that immunity for me for the rest of the actual quarantine that being said man i just got the damn vaccination out of the convenience i want to fucking go to movie theaters like i'm gonna be straight up like i got it not have some 
like, I would like to be like, oh, it's some more obligation and blah, 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 blah. Excuse me, what? Are you kidding me with no checkpoints? So... That was my symptom text. No fucking checkpoints! God damn it! God damn it, Dutch! Wee. Oh no. Alright. Anyways, though. Yeah, I mean, yes, there is part of me. It's like, just get it out of convenience for everyone else. I am still an essential worker, so I am going out every single day. I'm comfortable going out. I'm not letting the, 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 I'm not letting the, the disease scare me, right? I'm not letting it scare me in any way. I don't think too much about it. I wear my mask every single time. I do, I, you know, I'm vaccinated. I'm planning on getting my booster shot next week as well. I do, I'm doing all that shit. And it's, it's honestly out of convenience sake, so I don't have to worry about anything. As I said, our area requires... King County right now requires a, a proof of vaccination to do anything. Yeah, to do... In order to do anything, you need to have proof of vaccination. So, just get out. Like, if, if you're someone who's an anti-vaxxer for just, like... You don't really care. It's not like, oh, it's gonna poison me. It's just like, you don't think it's necessary. Just get it out of just a pure, like, get it out. If you're not gonna do it for other people, get it out of a pure convenience sake. So you don't have to worry about sitting in restaurants or whatever. Because that's what happened. Like, I've now had it twice where, again, one person that we're with, who she's not vaccinated, she keeps talking about wanting to hang out and, like, go to dinner or breakfast or something. And we keep telling her, like, we would love to. We can go. You can't. You're not vaccinated. <laughs> You're not allowed to sit in restaurants right now. <laughs> and then we had someone else who didn't realize, you know, only eight months, didn't realize that you needed to be vaccinated to do so. She didn't bring her vaccination card. And we are like, well, uh, what do we do now? So, my and Callie know uh, Washington State. But yeah. actual chip implants for your vax passport be a bit more over the top ah dude shove it shove me arm plug me up make me a beacon i don't give a shit man let people use me as a wi-fi antenna i'm all for it what do i care when i die just throw me in the trash one I've seen both sides of the argument I just like personally I'm just like yeah would have just just fuck it just fat vax vax and plug chip me up man just do it wait I don't have to have arguments with anyone anymore I don't I'm, like I said, I'm doing it simply out of a way that I don't have to have arguments with anyone. If you don't want to have a vaccine, don't do it. I don't really give a shit. If you don't, I am. And then when people are like, why don't you get... I don't, I don't want to have the question, why aren't you vaccinated? I, I don't care. You're trash. I, don't, I just don't care. That's what it comes down to. I'd rather just not have the conversation to begin with. So, you know, chip me up, baby. Shove your 5G right up, right up my asshole. Plug me up with it. Oh, God. Nope, that wasn't a sword fly that I needed. Damn, I'm getting murdered. They got a curfew in Quebec? Damn. Well, that's not working. I'm gonna land. Oops. Man, that didn't work. 
Grunt, I have no idea if my behind is 5G compatible, but I'm all for it, honestly. You want to make my ass? Oh, no. Shit. Want to make my ass 5G compatible? Go for it, man. What do I care? I want good cell reception, man. I play mobile. I play mobile games that, like, I gotta be online for. What happens if I enter an area that doesn't have online? I'm fucked, man. I cost myself a match? Bro. I just lost, like, 20% of my points or some shit, you know? Jesus, I can't have that. Hello? Jesus. Arvin, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? We must hold this camp until reinforcements. There was another guy, I saw him. There he is. Jesus, what? I'm a bad shot. Hello? Hello? Is my sleep better? Still a bit off. My sleep, uh, it's honestly, it's been better the last few days. Um, it's still not great, but it, it's been a little bit better, I think, the last week or so. I don't know. I think, honestly, I think I, my body's still recovering from just all the shit that it has been putting up with that I think my body is just finally tuned out and it's just like, I'm out. So... Bro, where are all of the enemies? Hello? Why is this going so slow? Hello? There's another wave. Jesus, what is these waves, man? They are slow as shit. One, two, three. Pop. There's always a dude hiding there. It's not this time, though.
Insta kill. Shit. Uh. It's been going slow. My checkpoints were fine. It was just really slow. Oh, shit. Well. Uh, yeah, dude. Recently, those sacred icons have been really slow. I don't know what's been going on with the loading of that area. Just the enemies are just taking forever to load up. Alright guys, I think I'm done for the day. It was fun. We'll finish this run another day. Yeah, dude. The load times are so bad. As I said, ever since ever since I moved it from my SSD, it's garbo tier. The load times are forever. So I add like 30 minutes and just load times to a run. Forward warriors, and fear not pain or death. Well, sadly, I uh, didn't empty my ammo, so. Cool. What is this? Halo 4? Halo 4 physics? What the hell? Nah, baby. Uh, uh. Oh, man. It's almost 1 a.m., man. Ugh. Going into the wee hours of the night. Well, we'll be done with this run in 12 hours here, so it'll be good. Oops. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's okay, though. And, uh, yeah, do Bay... I was gonna say, spin to win Beyblade. Let her rip, yo. Oh, that's not great. Look like the ghost from Curse Halo. Dude, I've been loving. Oh, shit! Of course, I get double shot. That's what they call me. They call me Johnny Double Shot. Because I shoot. And then I shoot again. Pew pew, bitch. Uh, yeah, dude. I've been loving the Rooster Teeth, the, the Play Pals. Okay, everything about you and everything you've ever done in your life is actually amounted to nothing because you're all garbage. Oh, 
All right, place your bets. This is the time I'm gonna go run use the restroom. This is the time to do it because I, I won't I won't take another bathroom break for the rest of the run. That's a lie. I will. But uh, this is the time. Place your bets. Who do you think? Who's gonna live the longest? We got four contestants. It's shiny blue gun guy one, shiny blue gun guy two, pink needly boy, or pointy stick man. Place your bets. My boy, shiny blue gun guy one. That's two. Pointy needly guy and stick boy. Place your bets. Who's gonna live the longest? Let's uh, and then I'll let you guys figure it out. After I eat this shit, yo, I should make myself food. That's fine. I got, I got. Oh, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Who lived? Did Stick Boy win? Stick Boy never wins. We do win sometimes. Sometimes Stick Boy do win. All right, it's time. I'm, this thing is completely melted. So. Mm. I opened my fridge and I'm getting my soda, baby. Delicious. I love it. Bam. Bip. Bap. Boom. Yeet. What up, tartar sauce?
You remember we where we saw tartar sauce at the end of the Halo Infinite credit scene? I was really excited about that. Oh, I was gonna rocket jump my way in, but it's okay. <sighs> what was I gonna say? I had a thing I was gonna say. I don't remember what it was anymore. Uh, oh, hey, guys, guess what? It's officially December 31st. It's about to be, it's New Year's Eve. You know what that means? You guys know what that means? It means it's officially the last day to submit your Rockstar Energy Drink Halo double XP codes into the website. So... I think, right? I believe I believe today is the last day you can actually do the Rockstar promotion for Halo. Halo. Eh. Brutes. The faster you can kill those brutes, the better. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Yeah, do you serious? Brutes. Hey, that could have been good for my 100% damage list run. I didn't take any damage right there. But take them out before it's Bro, where are you going? What? <sighs> All right, well now where's the needler? Jesus Christ, what's going on, man? Has infiltrated the council chamber. Protect the hierarchs. Seal the exits. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Gotta just hang out, hang out. Oh, yeah. Carbine. I was like, his carbine went flying, didn't it? Let me grab the ammo. Mizio grabby. Carbino. Grab this one. And then we go with this way. And we go here. And we go here. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Go away. Uh. Oh god. There we go. Put me down on one of the pedestals nice. near the door. Well, you know, not super ideal, but like, you know, not terrible. I had to fight that a little extra wave, but it ended up being like the perfect set for it. He has the index. 
Door looks sad. What what does it look sad? How does it does it look sad? Go. It'll be easier to track truth if I stay in the What may what looks sad about it? Oh god. A smaller door? Hmm. And I'm dead. Cool. Thank you. Right this way. Where is the bit jar? What you talking about? Oh, the, the, like, oh, yeah, that thing. I remember that thing. It's still there. I think, I, I, no, I think I've deleted the scene off, or the screen off, but, like, I still have it. I can just quickly add it back in, but I won't. Do, do, do. Just like the swear jar. Beeping up their patrol. Yeah, Brave's cookie jar is gone. We ate it all. She didn't protect it. You know, she didn't come back to protect it, so, uh, she was done. It was taken from her. Alright, so, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, well, interesting. No checkpoint. Um There's another lift in the oh, next room. I mean I can I can do this still but Here chief jump in No. No, why was there another one? Damn it. Ugh. No. Shit, there had to be another one, man. Ugh. Damn it. Okay, hold on. How do I do this? No, I don't mean to... If I can... There it is. Okay, hold on. 
Ah, shit! Urgh. Dude, this hurts my fingers. I can't I can't do this. Okay, let me try. Ah. Ha. Huh. I don't know how to do it. I don't think I could do it on this this mouse. What the hell? Oh, come on, man. God damn it. Bro, on my hand, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like, control it's so much easier, but I, I can't. I can't do it on this, man. <sighs> Son of a bitch, dude. Why? Why? Why did they have to... F why do they have to... Why do they have to send another dude? Huh? What the f fucking hell? <laughs> this is so frustrating. This is so, like, I I had it, it was gonna work and everything, and then they decide to fucking throw another goddamn brute on top of me. I like, oh, okay, okay, hold on. Damn it. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. But like, I, what am I supposed to do? It's not like I can, I can, I can't just kill these guys anymore. I, I my, my hands cannot hand. Okay, hold on, give me a sec. I got a different idea. What the hell? Damn it. Hmm. You trash.
Okay. Well, I can't do prison normally. That's the problem. Is like I can't do it normally right now because of these guys coming down here. I can't even make it down to the bottom of the lift. So you're right. Yeah, I could just do it normally, but I... The other thing is I can do this. It's just my hands are getting way too fucking tired for this shit. Man, fuck! God damn it! Okay. Oh! God, my hands hurt. Shit, man. See, I, I can't do anything, right? Fuck! I can't. I mean, maybe I can try to just not. I'll have to fight extra enemies here, but. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Really wish I had my goddamn bun to do it. Dude, I, I'm so goddamn mad. Every time I do this, this is what I mean by, like, the differences between me and other runners. Motherfucker, dude. Whenever I watch other runners, they never get anyone coming. And they never get another fucking brute or anything collapsing on top of their head. Ever. No, not me, though. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think this is it, I guess. Maybe. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I can't, I can't, I don't think I can, maybe this will count, maybe it will, I don't think I can kill myself five times fast, either. I, I don't know what to do. I can't, my hands can't handle doing this anymore. Like, uh, okay, all right. Jesus, all right, we're gonna do this normally, but God, it's so goddamn aggravating, man. I now have to kill two extra brutes that I normally would never have to kill. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Whew, dude, my hands hurt so much. I, oh god, that it really hurts, man. That's why I wish I had, if I had my old mouse, I should have just kept my other mouse plugged in and I could have just quickly swapped over to that mouse. That's what I should have done. Would have been the smart idea, but. Whoops. All right, I think we get we we made it work. We made it work. Come to the middle level. The Marines are just inside. Be careful of the guards. Okay, will you please die? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. 
I am on mouse and keyboard, yes. Didn't die somehow from that. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Actually forget I don't even know how to do this area anymore I think I grabbed the brute shot here right why do I grab the brute shot here I think it's so that I can rush kill these guys right right something like that I go down? I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. How do I shut the lift down? I don't remember how to do this anymore. Oh, there it is. It worked. Okay, you just have to stand. There it is. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I killed the other guys. We're good. Fudge and berries, man. Okay. Um. Never seen anyone do Halo 2 with massive keyboard. There, uh, quite a few people do, I think. Uh, well, if you if you play MCC, a lot of people do. But uh, yeah. Fear not, my brothers, the sacred icon. It just, I will say, like, man. <laughs> using uh, trying to do the prison skip hurts, man. It's the only way I was like. Yeah, I was frustrated with that trick not working, but man, it was really just like it it hurt, man. It really hurt my hand. My I'm not I'm not a PC boy, so hitting hitting the keys spread out the way that I have my controls laid out and trying to hit it a few hundred times, like hitting it a few hundred times a minute plus the space bar all in one is just too much for me. Too much for my my new PC hands to handle. I'm sure someone who's actually played PC all their life wouldn't have any issue, but like, God, I, my hands cannot handle that. That's why I like, again, just use a macro is way better. Okay, that's chill. The elites have failed to protect the prophets, and in so doing, oh. all our lives at risk. Let no warrior forget his oath. Thou and thou. I've got a fix on truth just outside this tower. There's an exit nearby. Hurry. I keep clicking the I keep clicking too soon. The covenant just destroyed two of their own ships. And I wouldn't believe the number of purifiers the covenant are throwing down around here. I actually think so what I believe happened is I think I got super screwed because like the brute that was on top so like this is this is that joker luck coming out is the brute that was that came down second he only had one melee for me to kill him so I believe I actually stuck him with a grenade and he lived the grenade so he actually survived the explosion but it made him weak where if I mess up and I hit him once he dies 
So I think I got screwed. Like, it would have been one of the two things. If he died, would have been a problem. I could have just taken that guy up. But then the second dude, if he came down, if I didn't hit him with the grenade, he would have been full health, and I would have had, a, you know, a few extra chances that if I mess up and I don't hit the reload quick enough, it wouldn't damage him and it do it, so. Um. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Why did you go that way? All right, we're going to come... We're going to go over. They're going to come that way. What's the record for a Halo 2 Legendary speedrun? Uh, what? Hour? I don't even know. I mean... If we're talking about the run that I'm doing, it's like, what, an hour and 34 minutes or something like that, right? I think. At this moment, the council is gathering on me to see the eyes. Rise, Pack Brothers! Cast down the elites! There are those who said this day... Oh, that prison skip really effed me, man. Again, just been bad luck all day today. Halo Reach went... Halo Reach. Halo Reach, I just got brutalized by checkpoints. I got... Fucking hell. I got really bad checkpoints. I just, like... It, the run overall was okay. I had decent luck. There wasn't anything, like, super horrible. But, yeah, I just had really bad checkpoints that if I did die, I went back so far. I, I lost, like, two or three minutes every single death. And it was just, like, additional minutes on top of, you know, the regular attempt, too. It's just, like, shit. I've been getting that a lot. I mean, we've had... We had, what? Sacred Icon had some garbage checkpoints. Didn't even give me one. Too bad. What's the goal I'm looking for to the new year? For what? My life? I don't know. I have no goals. I have no goals in life. I don't know. I, like, I, I gotta sit down. I think I have... I have a million goals, but I, uh... Oh, for speedruns? Oh, I don't really... I don't really have... Again, I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a casual speedrunner now. I don't go for world records anymore or anything like that. So I, uh, I don't really, I don't know. I guess ideally I would like a full series run. I would, I would like to get a sub 14 hour full series every single Halo game. So I do want to try and get under 14 hours for an entire run. But that being said, that is a very long way. And it's not something like, yeah, speed, speed running is not a priority for me anymore. Sorry. For those who want it to be, but it won't ever be. Again, I said it before, and I still feel the same way that I did seven years ago. Six years ago when I started doing less speedruns. And I was like, why? I remember when this used to be a speedrun stream. Man, if I could actually be a full-time streamer off doing Halo speedrunners... Uh, sorry, well, being a Halo speedrunner, I would. But, y'all stingy about opening your wallets. Which is okay. It's not. That's not a complaint. I'm just saying, man. They they ain't enough people. They ain't enough. They ain't they they ain't enough sugar daddies or sugar mamas looking looking at Halo speed running, uh, to support someone going full time street content creator for Halo speed running. I wish. Who knows? Maybe one day. But that's the wrong thing. I don't know why I picked that up. Hey man, you take that. I missed. Game have a micro stutter. That's the stream. I apologize. There is. I've been having a little bit of frame issues. I think my computer's finally like it's hidden. It's it's hidden. I mean, it's nowhere near hitting its lifespan. But when it comes to gaming and streaming, it's hit its lifespan. I need that new PC, man. I need to get that new PC. sitting this one out that's exactly what we're gonna do sort of no oh, shit he turned on me What's my setup currently? Uh, man, that's a... I gotta go look. It has been a while, but I got, uh...
Oops, that was not enough ammo. Oh no. Okay, unnecessary, just unnecessary. I don't know, do I have it down below? I thought I had my FAQ and then I realized I think I deleted my Amazon blacksmith thing, so. What the hell am I using? Uh, this is... I'm gonna pull up my damn, where's my phone? Where is my phone actually, now that I mention it? Not in my pocket, where did I put that thing? Where's my phone? Give me one sec. Transponders. Where is my cell phone? I find that. It's a useful thing to have around. Did I put it upstairs? I might put it upstairs somewhere. Don't do it. Ah, I didn't get close enough to him. Okay, we're good. Not great. Uh, once again, though, I've had grave mines that are legit that are a lot worse than that, too. 27 minutes. I mean, I'll be honest, my average for this is like 22 minutes, so it's not great. All right, let me go see if I can find my damn phone. Let him be. The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you. That damn thing. Where the hell would I put it? Am I just blind? I think I'm just blind. That's okay. We'll keep going. Oh, it's fucking right here. Goddamn idiot that I am. Hey, Sergeant, thank you so much for the resub. You beautiful, you sexy, I love you. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Insane Asylum. I should probably pause my timer. Who cares? Uh, all right, uh, PC specs. I got a GeForce GTX 1080. Uh, GI, I believe. Risen 7 1700. Asus VG 248 QE 24-inch. HyperX Fury Black 32 gig. Uh, it's, uh... I've got actually 64 gig. I got two of those. So I have 64 gig. So I have four, four cards. Uh, M.2, 512 gigabyte Samsung. Uh, my motherboard is uh, the Aces Rock Hero. 
And then I am using the Death Adder Mouse and then a Razor Black Widow, which is actually a Corsair version of that now. So, but anyways, that's that's what I'm running. Message requests. What's going on? <sighs> yeah, I gotta get that new PC, man. That thing is, I'm excited for that. Probably already talked about this, so feel free to keep it quick. I was wondering what you thought about the new Spider movie. You finally got to see it. I love it. It's great. I uh, I talked about it. Is like I I did talk about it briefly today. I tried, you know, I tried. Okay, I was trying not to do too much for spoiler reasons, but you know, a lot of people I've been seeing who are like, I'm not a big fan of this. Like, and that's I think I think this Spider Man was. It's the first time we actually saw Tom Holland's Spider-Man grow up, and it's a culmination. I mean, it's it's the perfect. It is it's a the 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 latest Spider-Man is a culmination of all the Spider-Mans before it, and very much specifically Tom Holland ones. Even um, there there was a awesome progression that happened in each of the movies that you can see, and it all came out finally, and uh, to you know. That there it being a key moment, there was a key moment that happened, and I think it was important. And uh, yeah, I think I think as overall story is awesome. As I said, by itself, like again, if you're not a Spider-Man fan, uh, and if you hadn't seen the two, and you don't even have to see the other Spider-Mans, but just specifically the Tom Holland, if you hadn't seen the Tom Holland movies, it would not be as good. You 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 have to see. All the Spider-Mans work in unison with each other, the the latest ones. Each one individually, I don't think is as good, except for the first one, obviously. The very first one is by itself a, its own movie. But yeah, um, yeah, there's 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 some good. It's it's good. It's good. I love it. I love it. It's very very good. I think it might be my favorite Spider-Man. I don't know though. It's hard to say. Okay. Might be my favorite Spider-Man movie. I'm not sure on it, but I've still been thinking about it. I'm letting the honeymoon phase roll off, then I'll then I'll do it. So, yeah, the plasma pistol is just to lure the enemies out so that they uh, don't get me later on. Oh, thank you. Cool. Now I got the extra ammo. I mean, I grew up on the originals, too. I mean, I don't know what you're... <laughs> that doesn't mean nothing. I mean... Again, I think if you go back, Spider-Man 2 is the only one that I think kind of holds up. If you actually go back, you, you are doing the nostalgia thing. But, like, it's like... I guess the best way is you remember when the first X-Men's came out and we thought those were the greatest movies ever? Those were, like, the best superhero movies of all time? That's because they were the only superhero movies at all. That was the same thing with Spider-Man. It's like, Spider-Man at the time was the only superhero movies that were out. So, we loved them because that was all we had. But if you go back on them nowadays, I, you know... Yes, there is obviously the nostalgic flair of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man and stuff like that, but I don't think there was anything, like, crazy about them. They were good movies. They were, like, the greatest movies of all time, though, you know? To the first Spider-Man movie? Damn, Yellow Box? Hell yeah. So. I mean... I'm not, like, a giant comic nerd either, but I know enough about the comics being like, yo, Tom Holland is... He, he, he's Peter Parker. That's it. That, that's it. Like, he is he's the perfect Spider-Man. It's great. Never was an X-Men fan? That's fine. As I said, I think it was. Like, you go back, you go back and watch the old X-Men movies, and you're like... Are you telling me I used I used to watch the X-Men? I used to watch pretty much the entire X-Men series, the first three, like, yearly. And now I go back and watch them, and I was like, fuck, was I really that into these movies? Because, goddamn, these are bad. <laughs> I 
And it's just because we're been spoiled with. Ah! Okay. That creature beneath the library, that I mean, I still think Nathan Fillion should have been the only choice for Nathan Drake, and it's ridiculous that they went with anyone else. Um. The movie already looks like it's gonna be bad. I think the best thing I could say is that you guys... I don't know. Did anyone watch Red Notice? That was the uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Rock, and Gal Gadot movie. I think the best thing I can say is I think Red Notice is a better Uncharted movie than the Uncharted movie is going to be. <laughs> I think that's, that's what I could say. That's how I feel about it. I love Tom Holland, don't get me wrong. And I, I think I think he's fine playing Nathan Drake. I think there are just better choices. And I think he, it's I think that movie is gonna get screwed over by Hollywood, right? It's Hollywood people trying to cash in on the video game industry and not actually doing it any justice. So it's gonna be one of those movies that I think is gonna hurt Tom Holland's career. Not that that boy has any trouble. Like not that that not that it will matter in the full scheme of things. He's set. Like, with the other movies he's done and being Spider-Man, dude, he's the most marketable guy right now. And, uh... But, that being said... Oops. Where'd you go? There's one more. I know there's one more. Um, that being said... It's one of those movies that if a lesser lesser star than Tom Holland was in it, it would kill their career. Cause uh I think it's gonna get screwed over by just garbage tier writing that uh once again just the Hollywood Hollywood folks trying to think that they can write a good story and then of course writing a garbage tier story. Oh come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Shall we let the flood consume our homies? Ugh. Come on, my charity. No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the flood sequence. Alright, now that we killed that one dude, we should be good. Fighting back. Are we excited about the Halo series? No. <laughs> I want to be. I so badly want to be. But once again, it's just like... Ugh. I so badly want to be, but... Hard to see anyone, someone hit a blockbuster to another blockbuster. I don't know. I mean, again, I think that a lot has to do with the roles that get picked, right? Like, when a, when an actor is as, is as hot and as marketable as Tom Holland, he kind of just takes all the roles. And, I mean, Uncharted is not the latest movie he's done, right? I mean, he did... He did, uh... From Spider-Man, he's also done a bunch of other stuff. He did that movie Cherry, which I never watched, but I heard was very good. Um... And he played, like, he played, uh, uh, just pretty much a soldier with PTSD. So it was a more serious drama. Um, he also played that Chaos Walking that didn't do well, and that was with Daisy Ridley, too. Um. Uh, I don't know what else he's been doing. But, you know, there, there's, there's, he's, he's been doing a bunch of other stuff. Other than Spider-Man, so. But I, uh, I don't know. But yeah, I just I I Uncharted movie is is going to be bad and it's not gonna be Tom Holland's fault. I'll just that that's the best way I can put it. <laughs> Rocket Oh no, I need those. I need those. Rakitas! 
My Rockitos! That actually played out really well for me. Pokemon is a card game first, video game next. Uh... Yeah, no, it's a card game first. Wasn't the entire anime created to promote the card game? I'm pretty sure. I think so, right? But I mean, there's a... What was it? This crisis will not be the, the uh... The Sonic movie was pretty good. They had the Sonic movie. That was actually pretty good. That was fun. They did a good job. Um, there's a few. The uh, Tomb Raider movie, I know some people didn't like it, but I didn't think it was all that bad. Although I think, was that, technically that was a movie first, wasn't it? The game was made to promote Angelina Jolie. It is um, but one last hurdle before the journey and salvation. But it wasn't, I don't know, not Blockbuster again, so. Assassin's Creed, no, the Assassin's Creed movie was goddamn terrible. That's what I think the Uncharted movie is going to be. I was going to say that. I was like, if I had to compare how bad I think the, uh, the Uncharted movie is going to be, I was going to say it's probably as bad as the, uh, probably as bad as the, uh, Assassin's Creed movie. Cartoon was made to promote the game. Okay, I thought it was made to promote the trading card part of it, but either way, whatever. Angry Birds movie is number two. I never even saw the Angry Birds movie. I have no idea. It could have been good. I don't know. Again, I got okay. I got no idea. Could have been good. Woo! Great journey. Here we go. Man, bad run. Uh, what are we at? We finished Halo CE at 410. So we are already past the 2 hour 15 mark. So it looks like we didn't do that one either. Man, this is what it looks like a washed up, what a wash up speedrunner looks like. Yeah. No, but, uh, you know, going back really quick just to fit, wrap it up, I was going to say is like the Spider Man movie, the latest one, they did some interesting stuff that was better than the Matrix movie. So I think the latest Spider Man movie is a perfect example of how to actually do a nostalgia grab, a cheap nostalgia grab in a movie. Because, like, they did nostalgia in a way. They did, they did nostalgia in a few ways. But specifically speaking, one thing that people didn't realize, they redid a lot of the fights from the other movies in the latest Spider-Man. You just couldn't tell. But you could actually tell by like certain, some of the environments and stuff were made specifically to look like scenes from the original Tobey Maguire and the, and the Andrew Garfield uh, scenes. They did the Doc Ock train scene, this time just with Doctor Strange, right? And they, they changed how, kind of how it got. Oh, okay, I just got run over by my eight. thank you. But like, it, I, I praise that, I'm gonna praise that movie a lot more for that kind of stuff than I am anything else, because that's just, I think that was cool as shit. But they did that in a bunch of areas. They actually just redid the fights from the other movies in No Way Home. Uh, just made it better, I guess? Okay, that's... Interesting. Okay. So, anyways, though, that's my, uh, that's my whole thing, is, like, I... Once again, I think it's, it's the biggest thing, is nostalgia and stuff is great. Just don't make it obvious. Hide the f The better you are at hiding the fact that you're doing a cheap nostalgia grab, the better the movie is. That was the problem that Matrix, I think, had in a lot of ways. 
is that it did okay. It wasn't bad. Some of the nostalgia and stuff that it poked at wasn't bad, but they also focused on the wrong things, in my opinion. But it wasn't a terrible movie. Don't think it was a good movie either. A great movie, I should say. It was a fine movie. Matrix was fine. But, yeah. Ouch. Good old Wizards of the Coast, baby. At least I got a checkpoint. I would have been really upset if I didn't get a checkpoint there. One of the few times I actually got a checkpoint when I needed it. Alright. Card break! Okay. Give me a sec. I just saw that you made me do a card break. Uh, what do we got? What do I got here? I got a uh, Rebel Clash, just Sword and... You know, I've never opened a base pack Sword and Shield, so we're going to open a base pack Sword and Shield. We can take a quick break. Uh, what's my least favorite Halo to play, though? And what's your favorite Halo? Sorry if I've answered. No, little yellow box. I Trust me, as a streamer and stuff, you get used to answering the same questions. I never get tired. I never get tired of answering the same question over and over and over and over and over again. So never, never, you never have to apologize for asking a question because you're new and you don't know, right? The only, there's no such, th I don't believe in the idea that there's no such thing as bad questions. I think the only bad, there are bad questions. The bad questions are ones you already know the answer to. But if you don't know the answer, it's not a bad question. And you don't know, because this is the first time being here. So, all right. Um, anyways, though, my least favorite Halo to play is Halo 3. And my favorite Halo to play, oops. One, two, three, four. Favorite Halo to play is... Oh, God, I don't even know these days. Halo Infinite might be up there, man. I'm just saying. Um, it's Halo 2. My favorite Halo overall is probably still Halo 2. I'm waiting until Halo Infinite, until my, my honeymoon phase for Halo Infinite goes down, and then I'll decide if Halo Infinite's my trash. favorite. So, it's not in consideration. All right. We got an energy. All right, I'm not going to turn on my green screen. Galaventula, energy search... Quick ball. Yamper. I know we're talking Pokemon, so I'm always down. But I'm always... I still got six boxes of fucking celebrations. Ghastly. Rosalia. Gossela Fleur. Again, I've never opened a base pack. Sorted Shield. Ooh. Ooh. A more Peko VMAX, baby. I don't have... I mean, I've never opened... I'll say... I'll just... That's great. That's a great pull. For me, never opening a base pack sword... What's actually the good pulls in Sword and Shield? I don't know what base set Sword and Shield good pulls are. So, it's literally, like, it's literally, literally base. Like, it's no, no, no side thing. These came from the tins. It was one of my Christmas presents. I got a bunch of those Pokeball tins. Eevee Pokeball tins. And, uh, well, I got one, I should say. And that is, uh, it came in that. So, it was kind of cool. I'd never opened one. And we got a freaking more Peko VMAX. So, you know what? I'll take it. I'm going to take it. <sighs> Apologies. If you guys are like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, I know. It's a Halo stream. But I have, uh, I have a whole thing where you can actually get me to open up Pokemon cards. I actually, I've started doing Pokemon pack breaks on stream. So, anyways. I actually kind of enjoyed the Halo movie. I enjoyed the Halo movie too. But let's not lie to ourselves and act like the Halo... You're talking... Wait, which one are we talking about? Are we talking Nightfall or are we talking Ford Unto Dawn? Because Ford Unto Dawn was good. And it was very fan-heavily written. And th there's a lot to it. But yeah, both of them are... I didn't mind both of them. Nightfall though, let's not fucking hide the... Let's not try to lie to ourselves and not say that they just fucking did uh, the first Chronicles of Riddick movie. 
They just did Pitch Black. Go watch Nightfall and then go watch the movie Pitch Black, which is the first in the, the Chronicles of Riddick uh, series. And you'll be like, this is the same movie. <laughs> That's what it was. And I love, I mean, I love Pitch Black. I love Chronicles of Riddick. So I was all for it. But yeah, man, it was also not great. But All right. Silence. Oh.
Sludge. All right, we just hit the the 15 minute mark. This is ODSC, so a little yellow box. What we are doing is we're doing a speed run of every single Halo game, Halo Reach, through Halo Infinite. So we're also doing ODST. We're doing Halo 1, 2, 3, well, Reach, 1, 2, ODSC, 3, 4, 5, and Infinite. All in one go. All on Legendary. It's great. And that was the silence, but instead... We're gonna have to switch it up a little bit because uh, someone else, someone else is uh, gotta come out to hang out for a little while. You know what I mean? So uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to see. I just realized because I don't have my contacts in. So uh, maybe I'll put it over my glasses. We'll see how this looks. <laughs> Our good pal. You know, your friend Joker, he's got to, uh, he's got to, you know, take a little break. I I'm a little tired, you know, me. I'm a little tired, so I'm a, I'm gonna go get our, our boy. He'll take over. You just let me finish this mission and he'll, uh, he'll take over. All right. <laughs> oh, baby. Why, hello. Welcome back. It's your good friend, your pal, your flavor of the time. A player named Joker. Normally, a player named Joker would be uh, dropping some chill jams for you, but uh, huh. we're playing ODST, baby. The chill jams is all you need from the ODSD soundtrack. Now, a player named Joker might not be able to see too well right now because of, uh, you know, on account that he's not wearing glasses or contacts right now. But uh, <laughs> let me tell you, will there be an ODSD prediction? That's probably a good idea. Does anyone know how to do predictions in here? But enjoy, sit back, relax. Player named Joker is taking over and he's taking you a journey across the inner highway to uh, relax and uh, kick back. It's nice and early in the evening. Night's just started. <laughs> Might be ending for some of you, but for us, it's just beginning. So enjoy the nice, soothing tones of a little pew, pew, pew of Rookie's death, or no, Buck's death. Mm. Nice, soothing sounds of the ODST world. Halo's first open world game. What time do you want to set it as? Oh, well, huh, let me tell you. Play name Joker? He's in no rush. Set it to, but regular Joker, when he's back, he's gonna want to set it about an hour and 50 minutes. One, five, zero, baby. Ugh. <sighs> 
you enjoy. Sometimes you just need a little silence to really soak in what's happening. Hang on, I'll be right there. What is a dab, Mojo? It's to, uh, flex. To, uh, show your physical prowess. To, uh, make sure people know. To, uh, represent. on everyone. Really, show them up. Just like that. That's what a dab is. You stick one arm out and you put your other hand face to your elbow. Dab on up. That was Teari Plaza. Now let's sit back, relax, enjoy the rest. Sorry to like the Halo series. I'll watch more of your streams. Well, thank you, Yellow Box. I hope to see you around. It was good seeing you. Go to Fed. Can I tell you a little... Tell your little sister to stop being... Oh, no. Yellow Box, listen. Let your little sister, let her be her true self. And let you be your true self. Play name Joker. It's all about relaxing, sitting back, soaking it in, soaking in the time. Maybe it's a little pain. Maybe it's a little suffering. Maybe it's a little flavor, but uh, just sit back. Deep breath with me. Exhale that out. All that anger. All that feeling you might have. Let it soak in. Let it absorb into you. Feel it. And let it mellow you out. But yeah, if you want, if you look at top of the chat, there is, maybe it's a bottom of chat for you, a prediction you can predict. Will I be Halo 3 ODST in an hour and 50 minutes? You're welcome, yellow box. Let me tell you, being relaxed... Life is simple. You just gotta go with it. Let it take you on a journey. Let it flow through you. Because when you try to go against the waves of time, the waves of reality, only then will it capsize you. You'll topple over, you'll stumble around, and the waves they're always going to win. You can't beat the tide. So why don't you just let it take you for a ride? Take you away. And relax. By the way, Anima Pura, I want to say happy 2022 to you as well. I hope you've had a good start of the year so far. But have a good night, Yellow Box. I hope to see you soon. Wow.
I don't know how I live that, but I might not live this. Ooh, there it is. They lost the laser in infinite? Because you got the skewer, Mojo. A nice piercing right to the soul. Something nice and powerful to us. Lift you up. We need some help in here. Look out, A nice spike right to the heart. So you can feel the power. With none of the charge up. And let me tell you, a man knows there's always a little bit to charge up. Let me tell you, DiMaggio, you don't need an ego boost. Do you know why? You got the biggest ego around. But like, in a good way. You know. You say you want an ego boost, but we all know you don't need it. Cause I know that you know that you're the hot shit, baby. You're what's powerful. You're what's new. You're what's in. People want to be you. You want to be you. And we want to be with you. You don't need an ego boost. You're just asking to add on top of the ego you already have. Because you already love yourself. And as much as I love you, I know you love yourself more. What the hell just happened? Alright, let's see. Is the game gonna be chill? Is it gonna relax? Is it gonna toss me around? Throw me through the wild? Ooh, it's gonna be nice and easy. Nice and smooth. And we all know, player named Joker likes it smooth. I know we got a little bit of time, but I might as well start saying my uh, goodbyes, because uh, by the end of this mission, I think it's a uh, <laughs> play a name joker segment is a uh, gotta take a little break. Take some time, relax, refresh, maybe come back a little later. Remind you to uh, take it easy. See, <laughs> play name Joker knows if you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> so, uh, you play for, uh, play a name Joker's time, but, uh, his time is limited. Sometimes it's alright, just remember if you have a missing somebody like a play named Joker. They're always right where you left them. Right in here. That little place 
you call your soul. Let me speak to you. Let me lift you up. Let me uh, make sure you know how to feel. Jacko tried to shoot my gun out of my hand. <laughs> or was I blocking? So tell me, before a player named Joker leaves, he's got one question for y'all. What are your goals and aspirations. I know Joker hasn't answered that question yet, but uh... Speedrun wise, you know, he said he wanted a sub 14 hour run. But what are your goals? And you know, doesn't even have to be in life. What are your gaming goals? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? Huh. Let me tell you, DiMaggio. Let me just remind you, every day above ground is a good day, so if you can make it to that axe paycheck, <laughs> that's all you need, baby. That's all you need. Where are you going? Nowhere. That might have been a little too much ammo. That's all right. All righty. Maybe I'll see you guys a little later, but uh, this has been Player Name Joker sending you one last hug over the inner highway. So open your arms and let me embrace. Good rest of your night. Hurry up. Look, you want to do this? Be my guest. Ah, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, how was the play named Joke? Is he doing all right? Nah, man, I we just keep missing each other. It's weird. Wow, I can see again. <laughs> uh, it's great. Oh man, now we got voice mod. Uh, is that gonna mess up my timer? I don't think so. I gotta turn it on. What do we want? What do we want? Voice mod. Is that... What are we doing for? Oh, we having fun today. I like it. All right, hold on. You don't let us trigger those charges in about five minutes. Your data is going to be crawling in time. Yeah.
What do we want? What do we want? That's the question. Okay, one sec. I'm loading up the voice mod stuff. <sighs> Maybe that's what I should do. What do you guys think? Should I do play a name Joker? That's my that's my YouTube Sona. My Twitch is just me, but like on YouTube, that's the that's the way I go is play a name Joker. Thought about it. Could be fun, yeah. It's not a bad idea. It'd be a little bit more interesting than just me. I'm boring, so. Much more relaxed and your gameplay is smoother. <laughs> it's just because it's the vibe. I'm very relaxed right now. I mean, it's not always, but also this is ODST. In general, it's a pretty relaxed game, you know? It's uh, the game. The game in general. It's it's uh, honestly it's very smooth. ASMR lol. What the hell? Where are you at? Reloading. Where is he? Don't let him get away. Ouch. Oh, God. Where's the, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright. I think we're done here. Oh, God, no. Time for a spike. Man down. We're on a timer, right? Okay. Oops, what did I just do? Oh, shit. Kill more enemies. Is this door ever going to open? Hello? Damn, okay. Teleport. Thanks, Mickey. You're full of needles, by the way, buddy. Uh, shotgun guy. All oh, right, that's not always the best idea. Uh, what va what what voice are we gonna do? All right, I don't want to teleport him too much. I always forget about Wait, that. More All right. Uh, let's see. I thought we were supposed to protect Voice the changer. I have orders to deny enemy access to all classified data houses. Yeah, let me. I haven't done this one in a while. Let's see. I gotta hear my sound. Test one, two. There we go. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. I am a robot. Technically, I am considered a trauma medic, but, uh. Wiggity, waggity, whoop. 
Get wrecked, you nerds. Ha ha ha. But this is my robot. I also have Crazy Clown that sounds more like Jigsaw than anything, which he is a clown, right? I have Possessed, which I uh, gobble and whatnot, right? Am I right? Uh, we also have uh, Cool Tone. I don't, I don't remember what most of these do to me. Helium! There's the Helium that I could do. This is awesome. I love when the game is really freaking stupid. What the hell? Please, will any of these guys die? This stupid pistol. I hate it. This should be easy. Never mind getting destroyed. Wow, this is very frustrating. Uh, how could I know that this was gonna happen? Never mind, piece of cake video game, so easy. Not even a challenge for a man like myself. Uh, Two for one, bitch. Hold on, Mickey, I have something for you. Why don't you take this? You know what? Give that back, Mickey. I want it. Three down. Make that another three down. Get swole. All right. I don't know if I shall do that during this run, to be honest. That's a whole other thing. I guess it's not a bad idea. Thank you, Mickey. I very much needed a rocket to my face. Okay, fine, but you owe me. He got you. You are on fire. Last bag. Gotcha. Oh, that extra nut. 
stones hold. That's the last of them, Dutch. Come to my position. Everyone take a big step. Back. Let's go. We got it. Yo. I don't have the body armor for another fight like that. Well, shit. That did not go according to plan. I was one millimeter too quick. I just saw my life flash before me. It sucked. He's dead. Everyone on the elevator. I put enough charges in the shaft to blow this building twice. All right, that's it. Transfer the detonation code to my car. If anyone's taking this place out, it's gonna be me. Just wait. He's gonna meet us on the roof. The AR is insane for killing the bugs. Easy. Finally, a good reason to blow this building up. Got him. Nobody crossed my street. Nicely done. Give me those. Wow. Nuggets, I was trying to go for a quick grab. That did not work out. That is okay. Because uh, we got, what, five more minutes to do this voice, and then we might do a get swung. Oh shit, I just realized my place is a mess. What the hell will I do? Ammo refresh, let's go, bros. Am I talking loud enough? I realize that these voice modulators always sound very quiet for some reason. I keep forgetting to do it. Evil robot, no, I am just robot. Nothing about me is evil. I am a very good robot and have no plans to take over the world. That would be something an evil robot would do, but I am not an evil robot. Dab, okay, I shall dab on them, yo. Are you ready to get the robo dab on? Wham! Let's go. Grenade! You suck, bro.
Checkpoint me, dog. Bam, full health. Let's go. You try to dab before without hitting your microphone that is in front of your face and then tell me that it needs form, bitch. I'll cut you, fool. You ain't got shit on me, dog. There is a ghost somewhere. Where is that bitch? I know he is going to kill me if I go in there. You are the one who sounds like a robot, Captain. Don't come at me with your robo-racism, bitch. I knew it was going to happen. Fuck me, nerds. Regardless, though, how was your nap, Captain? I hope it was a good one. Because it may be your last one. Where is this ghost? There he is. Come here, you bitch. Oh no, I might have spawned in the enemies. Oh, that was- oh, and I got a checkpoint. Not good. Make a mad dash, yo. Oh shit. More enemies, oh shit. Go, go, go. Alrighty. Woo! Ah, oh, man. Getting that robo disease off is, uh, you know, rough sometimes. You know what I mean? You get it. You guys get it. Right? And he didn't die from that either. All right. Dream about robot free society? Excuse me? What did you just say? Excuse me, sir. Come on over. Come on to play. Come on on down and get yourself this way. Come on over. Come on down to play. Once you want to crash, you're gonna win and make a land. Uh oh. Come on over. Come on down to play. Oh shit. Hold on, buddy. Come on this way. Oh my god, where are you going? Come on down and come on this way. Alrighty. Well, that's a new one. That's actually very aggravating. Okay. How's the run been? Oh, ODST's gone pretty well. Yeah, until just now. But, I mean, it is Kazingo. So, but, I mean, the beginning of Kazingo is really the scary part. And, uh, it went okay, I guess. Technically, we really effed up on the second part here, letting those enemies spawn in, but...
You chill out. You just blew up one of my banshees. 12 hours stream, Retro? Uh, it's gonna be a little longer than that. It's gonna be closer to, like, 17 hours streaming. This way, buddy. Yeah, right it? Okay, well, no, that's not super great. This way, yeah, right in there. Nope, nope, this way. Buddy, come here. Don't banshee bomb me, though. Okay, well, not super awesome. Where'd you go? Hey, hey, this way. Yeah, 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 this way. But come on, no, 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 this way. What is going on here? Come on now. Bro, where are you going? Hey, hey, nerd. Get your ass over here. You guys quick while you're ahead. I can take that. All right, hold on. Now I gotta actually. Line this up. All right. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Nailed it. We good. Yeah, if you don't get the angle, it would have... Ow! Ooh, 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 No, no, no. Ooh, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Okay. Let's, uh, relax. Okay? Jesus Christ. All right. Down we go, hit that, and we're good. Woo, and we're good. All right, load it in, everything's good. Q, melee, that's what's so confusing. In Halo CE, left stick is Banshee Bomb. In Halo, uh, in these Halos, melee is Banshee Bomb. And then in other Halos, grenade is Banshee Bomb. It's very confusing.24 hours stream, you pass the F out, you start mumbling a bunch of nonsense. Oh yeah, I, I hit that point. I hit the nonsense point where my thoughts... So, if you want to know why I start mumbling nonsense, it's because I actually start dreaming while I'm still, like, half awake. Ah, shit. So, I'm straight up, like, it's a splurry of my free-form dreams and thoughts just coming out in verbal form. It's awesome. I love it. So it is. It's like, and I, but the, the truth is, is I straight up don't remember what I say sometimes. Like, you guys, I'm not kidding where I'm like, wait, what did I just say? I'm not like saying that to be like, I, what the hell am I talking about? Yes, whatever I'm saying is complete and utter nos nonsense. But like, I also say that because I straight up will have forgotten what I had just, the words that I had just left my mouth. I, I mean, I barely know. Like, even right now, I couldn't tell you what I talked about like 10 minutes ago. Couldn't tell you. I have completely erased it from my memory. So. Uh. Then heard a bunch of people try to call me on Skype. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Dutch. Uh. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's literally me just like. I don't remember the last one. Some of them, I get worried. I feel like I'm going to say something that's going to be really messed up sometime when I do that dreaming. Because I start talking about people re in real life. I think I had mentioned, I can't remember what it was the last time, but I had mentioned, like, I think a girl that I was into or something like that. I said her name. And, uh, that's not something I wanted to be public. <laughs> I, like, start talking about her. Or I... 
I think it was one of those I started talking about her, but it was because I was in in my head. I was having a conversation with that person. It's like I should tell that person. I was just like, I can't remember what I was talking about, but I've had that happen a few times. It's like getting me drunk. Man, I haven't done a drunk stream in forever. Oh shit, bro. Oh god. Okay, hold on. When was the last time I did a drunk, drunk stream? Get that toss, baby. Back inside. Let's find that pelican. What about all those covenant we sidestepped on the way up? Now we get to kill them. Oh, your fire! Thanks for picking such a tall building. The equivalent there, Buck, the fact that Buck walks slower than I do is the equivalent of what Sprint versus non-Sprint is in Halo CE. Or, sorry, Halo Infinite. That was interesting. One shot for every death on Legendary? Dude, I'm... Dude, I'm a lightweight. Again. Y'all forget that I'm allergic to alcohol, so I... Like... I don't drink, ever. Uh, so that means, like, after two shots, I'm drunk. Actually, I if I get two shots, I'm tipsy. <laughs> I'm, ti I'm tipsy already by, like, two shots. So. Bat, bit, bat. Ooh, that was so fucking clean. That was, like, aimbot level. That was taskbot level aiming, bro. Some of those shots were... Mmm. That was tasty. And then you hit the railing like that. We're almost there. <laughs> Thanks, Buck. I haven't had a Buck teleport there in a while. That guy fell off the map. Did he die? Yeah, he definitely died. Could you imagine falling off these skyscrapers, dude? Take forever to hit the ground. I guess they killed everyone. Birds wasted. Lost the pilot on impact. Rest of us are okay. And rocket. Let's juggle this bad boy over right here. Hit him. Yeah, there it is. Deal, hell yeah. I was clean as hell. Okay, not close enough apparently. Spartan laser doesn't reach that far. Oh, 
not. This is going really clean, actually. There's the one. Where's the other guy? There's the two. Oh my god! Why? Oh, I was going so good! What the hell? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Come on! <laughs> it was such a good start, too, man! That's so upsetting. <laughs> Shit, man. That's dumb as hell. <laughs> oh, that was like the worst checkpoint, too. Huh, don't do it. All right, that's all of them. I don't think we got any more, so that's it. There's more banshees, but The hell? Come on, man. Oh no! I didn't mean to fall off. That's right. How's the run been going the last couple hours? Ah, oh, fine! A lot of roughness and not so roughness and then some roughness and then not other roughness. It's been all over the place. It's been a good run. Overall, I think it's been a really good run. I've just had some really bad luck when it comes to like checkpoints and other things like that. For good instances, I ha I that was going great and then I got splattered by a banshee. A dead banshee. The, the hood of a banshee came and just slapped me across the, the area. Uh, by the way, we might, what we'll do is, uh, I, I don't know who did the, the swole. I don't know who did the swole. But anyways, we'll do the swole maybe in between. We'll take a quick break, but in between Halo 3 and ODSC, we might, we might do it. So that's one will. I still, I'll do it. I haven't forgotten, but... But yeah, I knew you'd fall asleep, Bailey. It's that perfect time. You know, it's that ODST. This is the time to sleep. I actually really like the ODST run. It's starting to become really cool, too. But yeah, it's very... I mean, it's just the atmosphere of the game. It's very chill. It's very relaxing. I do hope. I will. Oh, you know, that's the other thing. Someone asked me, would I want a Halo Infinite? I would not mind. I don't mind what other people said. I don't mind if they had some changing weather, some rain. Even if it wasn't, like, even if it didn't, like, randomly rain or something like that, although I think that's what they should do. Even if they just had, like, a level or something that where it ran, did rain. Think Nagato's simple as that? Yeah, of course. 
He makes moving easy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Johnny, I can fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Well, let's well see. that's not exactly ideal. <laughs> Johnny, I can fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been years since I even ran a simulation. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. Move. Did I cut my lip? I did. Go, Mickey. Up the lift. Kill the pilot. That's funny. I just cut my lip. You want to know how much of a man that Joker is? You want to know? I just cut my lip open. Now, does that all matter? Uh... Yeah, I just cut my lip open on a uh, piece of bread. I just, just, just FYI. If you want to know how how cool and strong Joker is, what a strong man he is. <laughs> no joke. I just ate my sandwich, and I my lip, <laughs> my lip caught the front of the, what are the bread, the edge of the bread, and I just cut my lip open. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> I don't even know. Man. I don't think you can get more sad than that. Ooh. Reloading. Oof. Nice. Well, that was good. Good start. I might try and get a different Banshee, though. This thing's probably going to blow up soon. That's the way we're headed. Take him out. I don't remember which side I'm supposed to sit on. I think it was that side, right? Oh, no. It's right here. I got to sit right here. I don't want to mess this up. So I think I could do either one. But I think we sit on the inside. I've forgotten which one, so I'm just going to do each one. Sit there. And then we come around the building. Sit there. There we go. Yeah, we just got to get the door to open. That's why. Oh, what the fudge, man? Come on, what the hell was that? Screw you, buddy. Alright, 
new Banshee. I don't have a lot of AR ammo, which is worrisome. And that's okay. Oops. Ooh. Around, and then... This one doesn't have an invisible barrier, so as long as it flips that away. Oh, that's going. Oh, God. Oh, that's going. Okay, okay, hold on. Slow down. I gotta make it there. Oh, I should probably... This does get me down the hill a little quicker. Ow. Yeah, I'm heading to my Banshee. Don't worry about it, my guy. I got it. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Freaking Dutch. He's all like, I was about to be dead, bear. Give me Banshee. I was like, I, all right, I get it, man. Okay, let's chill. Listen, chill. There, go here, and we go here. Is it here? I don't remember which one it is. And then we go here. And we do the same thing over here. Drop the banshee, and we in. That was nice and easy. <clears throat> Sub seven minutes, we will take it, baby. Ooh, yeah. Don't stab myself with bread. How are we looking for the sub 150? Um, that's a good question. I'd have to check. It's pretty good. Let's see. We started, prepared to drop at 6.34. So we're at one hour right now. We're at litter. Wait, hold on. Is that right? Yeah, we're at one hour right now. So we've got 50 minutes to do the last two missions. Now, that being said, Delta Coastal Highway takes like half hour by itself. So, you know, we're looking pretty okay. But these are these are the two of the longest missions in all of the Halo games is Data Hive and Coastal Highway. I think be, with the new skip, Coastal Highway is now not as long. I think I'm trying to remember what is the longest mission in Halo right now. I don't remember. Check Halo runs, but Bet that I wouldn't? Yeah, man. That's what happens when you don't believe. I mean, I have failed every single one since the beginning, so I mean, it's totally a, a safe bet, but, you know, playing the odds, but hey. Salty bets taught me. Sometimes playing, playing against the odds is the way to go. That's what I have my salty bet thing. I have a thing that, like, auto bets for salty bet for me. Uh, and it always, it always, like, it looks for an opportunity where it thinks it's gonna, it doesn't bet unless it thinks there's going to be an upset. And if it predicts that there's a decent chance for there to be an upset, then it, uh, it'll bet, um, for the upset. It's kind of awesome. You remember where you could pick up, you, you know the, where you could pick up the noob cube and use it? That was awesome. 
I miss that. Could you imagine being able to pick up fusion coils and throw it at people in this game? <laughs> Thanks, Trooper. They almost had me. Been trying to get down to the next level, checking my team. Oh. The down tight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. Look out! <laughs> oh. 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 You go first. Jesus Christ. How much ammo did I just use against those guys? Holy shit. Where's my carbine? There it is. That was bad, man. See, that's how it should have been, but I shot those bugs like 1,200 times. What am I eating there is a sandwich from Jimmy John's. A slim Five is my go-to. Why? Because I'm trying to get slim. In reality, uh, I hate any kind of condiment, and Slim Fives automatically is just literally meat and cheese, and that's it. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind some of the others. Like if it had like a, like a little, you know, a little ladies, a little tomato, you know, I'd be okay with it. But no, I just get Slim Fives because it's a, it's an Italian. I like the Italian, you know. So I get the Italian, but it's Slim Five, so it's just you know no mayo or any fucking garbage condiment they put on. Condiments, garbage. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mayo, one of the worst for foods ever created. Straight up. Oh, well, thought they'd give me a little more ammo. They did not. Oh no. Death hallway! Okay. There it is. Okay. Running low on ammo, baby. There it is. There's more ammo. As long as I have frag grenades, I'm good. Chillin'. Alright, what do we got? I only need two. I only need one grenade, right? Oh, right. I do. I do the other launch, anyways. Now, so much easier one. It's more ammo, and there's some grenades. Excuse me. Do like me the needler, it's not bad. 
Oops, that's a bad plasma pistol, I will say that. It's an empty plasma pistol. Maybe the flying worm will die many times, then we can still win. What worm? What? Oh, the, uh, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> it's like, what? I see. You're talking about Mr. Virgil. He ain't doing nothing. He's safe. He's safe. Man, can I recharge health at some point? That'd be ideal, if you don't mind. Nah, nothing at the end can go wrong. Coastal Highway is a super easy mission. Super, super easy. Come here, Dare. Give me that pistol. Thank you. I actually had quite a bit of ammo in the carbine, but. Da -da -ba -da -da -da. All right, we are getting to the end. We, we this was a good ODSC was actually very clean. We had you know a few little minor things, but overall it was pretty damn clean. All right, clean. Don't even know what's the time for ODSC at this point. What, like the fastest time? It's short, like out, what, hour 16 minutes or some shit? I don't know. It's quick. It's a fast one. take uh it doesn't matter what i take i got the brute shot we're good we got grenade <laughs> grab one of those one two three four five six one more for good measure and then we hop up we hop up, crouch, nade. Ah, shit. One more. And we're good. Clean as we can be. And 
munch. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Maybe I should take the brute shot. It's probably a better choice, actually. Let's take him out now. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Let's take him out now. used up all of the hammer ammo. I was clean. I'm used to using the gravity hammer. Now, I don't have any grenades for the next part, which is a slightly sucky thing, but it's okay. Oh no, Virgil, you go too quick! Oh shit. Feel free to fill me in whenever. Teleport. 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 Teleport! Nah, it's all good. It's too fast for me. Virgil, Virgil the fella, is too fast. Don't worry, we have a You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You get it. All right. Of these I was gonna say, anytime you want to do your dialogue. This engineer knows what the Covenant's after. If I could safely capture more of them, I would. What they know could win the war. Oh. You haven't killed any of them, have you? No. Well, maybe one or two. Nice work. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Man, ever done. I I really do. You know what? Let's cut the stream short. After this game, we're we're done. We're done. Where it runs over, I'm gonna go watch some castle. I wanna I wanna continue watching castle. That's obviously much more important than doing this run. So that's what we're gonna do. Sound good? Sounds good. Alright. Woo! Alright, that was a 16 minute that hive? Yeah, about 16 minutes. All right, that means we got technically what? <laughs> 35 minutes to do Costa Highway. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll we'll breach the sub 150. I'm not actually. I was kidding, Sergeant. I'm not actually going to go after this, <laughs> this run. I'll stay with the asset. I'm finishing this run. One way or another, it's getting done. This is, as I said, this is going to be the baseline for the for the Halo runs to have an actual time on. I keep getting a bunch of the guys have been asking, F you. A bunch might be too many. But a few of the guys keep asking me. They're like, hey, you should submit your times to 
Well, initially they're speedruns.com, but now they're uh, now that we're at Halo Runs has it. Oh, Jesus. Um, now they're trying. They, they've been trying to get me to submit my run for a while because one of the only people who have times. So, but I don't like any of my times. Any time I've gotten, I don't like them. I'll be honest. I don't like this time either. worked need to take first for everything uh, people already got first for everything but this one and one, two, three, go! This way. Should be an elevator right through here. Sit tight. We'll need the alien to power on the switch. All right. Oh, first place and everything. Oh, that's a lot of work. That sounds like a lot of work. Nah, I'm good. <clears throat> Position. We have hot stuff. Hey, uh, Captain? Pick a lane. Kill him. He's the one. Urgh. That was clean. Why is the banana red on the top right? That is the, uh... That's because he's a, a super sub, right? That's the tier three, right? Yeah. He's a super fan. It's the Twitter thing. But it's a little Dr. Pepper logo. It's, uh, well, it's actually Dr. Joker is what it says, but, yeah, I know, it's very hard to read. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Hop on in, buddy. Okay. Alright. Now we're gonna have to stop. But, yeah, it's, uh... Unless that was the filler, I can't remember. That's a tier. That is the fact that you're a higher tier sub. So, Sergeant is an actual supporter of the stream, and uh, you know he, he. What is it? Like twenty five dollars a month? Is some ridiculous? Because he's an insane person. So, <clears throat> you know. But you know, that's what a real supporter does. You know, they don't think about it. They just blindly follow whatever I tell them to. Alright, I got max ammo. I'm looking good. You sub it six months at a time. Damn, I didn't know that. Alright, that's cool. I like that. I think I used to do that for a while, and then I, I kind of stopped, and I just do... Uh, I kind of go... I kind of do as I, I please, I guess, now. Or, like, yeah, I, I sub as... Yeah, what, what the words I said. You know, you get it. Sorry, Buck. Get back in. I apologize. Get back in. 
That's my bad. Yeah. I don't know. Is there anyone I, uh, I don't, I, I don't know how many subs I got, actually. I gotta, I should check that out. I should know that. I should know how much money is just leaving my wallet every month, but I think it's somewhere around 20. I, I think I, I, I think I'm only subbed to, like, five, somewhere between five and ten channels. That's it. Keep her standing. Exactly, Sergeant. Don't worry, Sergeant. If you keep going the path you're doing, you'll eventually make it to the next level. Uh, and it'll, you'll be one step closer to enlightenment. Okay, well, that killed me really quick. You just have to follow the steps of a player named Joker, and you too can achieve enlightenment. Using Invigoron's multi-tier system of a business system. All you have to do is if you can get five people to subscribe to the channel... All, all you have to do is get five people to subscribe to you, and then those five people, you then put that stuff up higher, and then if you get enough, you can move up to the next tier, you know? Same deal, Super. You drive, I'll shoot. Give me an angle. Joker enlightenment. Yep. Yep. You get it. You understand. So yeah, all you have to do is get, as a tier three subscriber, all you have to do is get five people, who will give you, you know. Twenty-five dollars, or or you even just five dollars for a tier one sub, and then you give me those tier one subs. Don't worry, uh, Twitch has to take their cut too. But then you're basically paying for your subscription for free, you know. I don't know how pyramid schemes work. I mean, I do, but like. I've never tried building a pyramid scheme, so I don't really know how they work, you know? You get, you get it. You get it. You guys get it. I see it. Must have dropped off one of those cruisers. Just keep driving. It has a spot in it. Yeah. Shoot him, Buck. Get him. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him, Buck. Get him. Man, Buck is going off today. I'm loving it. Damn. He cleared the damn field. Holy shit. Buck is not on our side. Oh, Buck's on my side. Nathan Fillion is my boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. Yeah, dude, he's kind of slapping today. He's kind of slapping people around. Honestly, I think sadly ODSC might end up being the best run of the day. Which... Honestly has been it's been that's been happening a lot recently. It's probably because there's not it's not crazy You know, it's it's a relatively easier. It's one of the easier halos 
speedrun wise because I mean there's not a lot of crazy Halo CE bridge prison skip tricks you know to do so it's the kill shit Dab! Huh! Okay. Ugh. Alright, alright. Oh, you can aim really high up. I didn't realize how up you can aim. How up you can aim. You know how you up aim? I love up aiming, you know? Got any up aim and then you're supposed to say what's up aim and I'll be like not much what's aim with you bro <laughs> good comedy man got him hilarious okay all right hold on okay okay all right uh, Jesus Christ I got up aim now Why can't you choose Pokemon Break time? Wait, can you not? Wait, it, can someone not do Pokemon Break? You're supposed to be able to do it every 20 minutes? Did I limit it like a day or something? I mean, we've only had one, so it shouldn't be. Do you have enough points, Mojo? <laughs> Pokemon pack break! Oh no! Uh, here we go. I got... Damn it! Rebel Clash! I'm just gonna revert. I won't die instantly. Uh... Nice work. I got... I should put a limit on an insta-kill, I realize. I think I... I don't know if I do. I think I... It, like, I don't know how many times he can be used, but... Rebel Clash. I've never... I, I've opened a few Rebel Clash, but very few. There is only... I did get a card last time, but there is only one card in the entirety of Rebel Clash that is worth anything, and it is Rainbow Boss's Order. As I said, Base Sword and Shield, I don't even know. But in this one, I do know there's literally only one decent card, and it's Boss's Order, which is a great card, and it's the Rainbow version. So... How much time do you guys need? You guys need like 20 minutes. <laughs> it might be on cooldown or something, I don't know. We're gonna keep rolling as far as we can. Get airborne, ride the fast to my feet. Alright. Whatever you do, stay clear of that carry. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
Ha! Eh. How do I, how do I switch scenes? I don't know how to switch scenes right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, I need to get the scout hog. That's okay. Guess I'm losing some time. That's right, this is a perfect time. This is a perfect time. Yeah, dude, you're getting screwed by the channel points right now. All right, go. Energy, speed, lightning energy. I don't know what that means. Pelipper, Polisan, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snover, Probopass. Oh, holy shit, a secret rare and a Rylabloom, bro. What are the pulls today? Holy shit! Oh damn, it's a Rila Bloom Rain Secret Rare! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> damn! Yo. I mean, I'll take any Secret Rare. I don't really- I don't even know what Rila Bloom is, but... Bro, I'll take a Secret Rare any day. Eh. Eh. Hell yeah, dude. So we got a Morpeko, VMAX, and now we got a Secret Rare? <sighs> okay. Alright. We're good. Damn! Alright, I have one more... I got one more pack from those those tins. I got one more pack. The other ones are in my pack sack. Oh! How many packs did we open? I said I was going to keep track of pack. We've done two, right? So every... What we're going to do is every... What do you guys think? Every 20... Yeah? Every 20 pack breaks, we go into the pack sack when we open one? We'll see how much I drain my pack sack. I think it'll take a while because people have slowed down on it a little bit, so. Dare me be wait naked from waist down? I'll do it. You think I won't? I'll do it. Area secure. Veronica, come to us. We'll cover you. You got a pistol? Oh, you got a pistol. Hold on. Hold on. Step on it. Alright. Shoved him. Yeah. Huh. Grr. Totally missed the window of time that I need to do. It's okay. Well, I actually kind of worked out better, anyways. now. That's such a fucking shame. Things were going so well, man. It was going so well! Chicken bangs! 
Did you say chicken bakes? Ants to kill. Okay. Chicken bakes. I was a bad time to do insta kill <laughs> i just got the checkpoint Alright, now we can go ham with all this. <laughs> oh, I timed it perfectly. I knew you were gonna go for an insta kill, and by that I mean I had no idea you were gonna go for an insta kill. But I timed it. I knew. I knew. I knew. Coming down to the wire? Yeah, you guys only need like another 15 minutes to kill somehow. Here, you know what I'll do? Here they come. There. We'll do one more insta-kill to make up for that, that last insta-kill. There you go. That's a better insta-kill for you. Now I don't have to give you your points back. Hello. Huh! Spin! Oh god, don't grab my headset and throw it onto the ground. This would have been a really good run. This could have been a sub. I'm just saying, this could have been a sub... 20 minute coastal high. It could have been a PB coastal highway if I didn't have to do all the damn insta kills, man. What a shame. <laughs> like, I can Again. Now. Mm. Mm. I don't even know, man. I don't even know, bro. You don't even know, bro. You, you just. You, you, you just. You just. You just don't even know, bro. Bruh. You don't even know. All right, did we do it? Wow, a lot of people said yes. Wow, people apparently know. Yes, does it. Choose outcome. Choose outcome. Did, can I beat it in an hour and 50? I did. Complete prediction. It's important. There it is. All righty. Uh, you know what? We're going to pass. On the kids wall. Don't tell anyone I'm passing on the kids wall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, where's the kids wall? Where is it? Kids wall, kids wall, kids wall, kids wall. We're gonna reject those. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're gonna complete all. We did all the others. They were all legit. We redid that. 
You did win, buddy. You did. All right. Uh, now we got Halo 3. Let's go. Halo 3. Sierra 117. In we go. Woo-woo. Let's do it. 